day one of X Games California and skateboarding takes center stage here at the iconic Ventura Fairgrounds. What's happening everybody? Welcome to Women's Skateboard Street Elimination live from X Games California. What's happening everybody? Brandon Graham joined alongside the pro Amelia Brodka and Amelia Women's Skateboard Street does not always have an elimination. This is really special because we've got 13 of the best on the planet. Only eight will be moving on. That's right. We've got some veterans and we've got some newcomers here that might be able to make that cut at the top eight. It's going to be a super exciting field today. And I'm excited to see what goes down. Yeah, we have an amazing lineup anchored by a couple of I was going to say future superstars, but they really are two budding superstars that are the present in women's skateboarding street, headlined by a couple of big names, including Chloe Covell. That's right, Chloe. Actually, Momiji Nishia is the defending gold medalist here from Summer X Games. She won last year, and she was actually trying to one-up herself last year by going for a big flip frontboard, which would be super fun to see, but she's just got great style. And then as I got ahead of myself, because I'm so excited to watch Chloe on this course, I don't know if anybody's got the technical bag of tricks that Chloe Covell has out here at Ventura. Absolutely. She's really pushing the game here. She's the only one skating switch in this field, and she's now flipping out of grinds. She's really making everybody else level up. So it's going to be a really fun duel between the two. See what goes down. Well, there's a look at our beautiful course for the day, and uh, I'm jealous. The guy who's going to be there all day, the third member of our team, Corbin Harris. Let's head out to Corbin for a little vibe check. What do we got going on over there, Corbin? Yeah, thanks very much, Brando. We are here on the platform with a familiar face, Leticia Buffoni, the most decorated X Games female athlete in skateboard of all time with six gold medals to her name. Now, I know you've been doing a lot of car racing lately and other things. How do you like the course? What's going on? Are you feeling it? Are you in the mode? Man, I've been really focused in car racing the past few months. And uh, it's amazing to be at a, a skateboarding event, which I've been doing for 17 years. So uh, it's amazing to be back. The course is beautiful. A uh, little hard to do runs, but I like it. It's a fun course. All right, we're excited to see you out there. Good luck today. Back to you, Brando. Yeah, it's so exciting to see Leticia. We really just don't see her skate in many contests anymore. Not that she needs to, but she's been the queen here for so long. But check out the start list. Who will be joining Leticia out here? Here's just the first half of our roster. We've got Mariah Duran in there, who we all know and love. We're really excited to see her skate. And we've got some newcomers. We've got Christine Cottom. We got Shiloh Katori, and they're going to bring some really new flavor to this field. But as we said, joining Leticia, two just heavy hitters, Chloe Covell, Momiji Nishia, and Liz Akama. I'm really excited to watch out here once again on the X Games stage. Liz has been really crushing it at practice, and you know, I would not be surprised if she were to win this whole thing. But we're not going to get too much ahead of ourselves. Today is just the qualifying for the finals, but it's surely going to be a battle because you've got to get into that top eight. And it's so good to have fans back in the mix here at summer. All is right in the world. We've got a packed house here at Ventura Fairgrounds to watch Women's Skateboard Street Eliminations put it down. There you see Mariah Duran, who's actually won this event twice before, five career X Games medals. She kicks things off here in 2023. Mariah's really known for a really beautiful hard flip, and she actually did it down a big three block at the Albuquerque Civic Center, which is no joke. So bringing that to the course here is going to be easy for her in comparison. So here's Mariah kicking things off on run number one. That wasn't the start she wanted. She kind of slipped into a front board as opposed to a front feeble. But the fact that she stayed on and she saved it just goes to show how masterful she is at skateboarding. Love the picnic table incorporation here. Just kind of maybe she was shook a little bit by that front feeble going wrong. Just did a couple 50-50s trying to get her bearings. But the thing about the run format is you have to be consistent. You have to stay on your board. Last 10 seconds for Mariah. Oh, that kickflip. She did not have enough speed, I don't think, to 
to really make it past. But, you know, that's going to be a throwaway run for her. It's hard to be the first skater in because you're kind of setting the stage, you're setting the vibe, and, you know, you kind of have to let the judges get accustomed to the format as well. So, oh, she kind of did stay in that front feeble, but it was, you know, maybe not as well executed as she would have hoped. Really cool to see it from that other angle, though. That's interesting. This course really is a, a throwback of former X Games street courses from yesteryear. But for so many of these skateboarders, they've really grown up in that more directional plaza style course. So it is fascinating to see how they will navigate this here today. That's right. And I think that it's going to be interesting to see Leticia in here too, because the flow is very different. And she's very much a flow skater. But next thing we've got Paige Hines starting off with a beautiful back smith. Oh, and going switch. Taking a page out of Chloe's book with a switch front board. The judges are going to love to see that. Paige Hine making her X Games, second X Games appearance, I should say. We saw her in Japan just a couple of months ago where she had a ninth place finish. Setting up for a switch flip. And Paige is from Tempe, Arizona. What is it about Arizona that's just producing so many fantastic skateboarders on both the men and women's side? I would venture to say that KTR has a lot to do with it. Thought you, might. you know, they have a really great program there. They have a lot of different parks. Oh, wow, switch 50? Okay, that is a beautiful trick. It's very hard to just get onto, but to stay locked in and the come off switch, I really appreciated seeing that. I love that there's more trick diversity going on in this field. You know, I feel like once some of the skaters started seeing Chloe doing different tricks and Haisa doing different tricks and Liz Akama bringing different tricks to the game, they stopped kind of going, oh, what's she doing to win? I'm going to do that. They started just thinking, all right, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to think of some new tricks to throw in there. And you know, that's what skateboarding's all about. So that's really good. I think it's really needed in this field. Our next skater to drop in, making her debut, also from Arizona, Christine Cottom. Let's learn a little bit more about Christine in her own words. Growing up, I skated with Deshaun Jordan and Jagger Eaton because I'm from Phoenix. So um, I was always kind of in that culture and like on that move. Yeah, 17 years young, making her X Games debut. Here's Christine Cottom. I think that Leticia has been skating X Games events as long as Christine has been alive. That's a pretty, pretty wonderful fact there. That uh, testament to how uh, well Leticia maintains her health and her ability to skate. That was a rough start for Christine, but you know, the thing to look out for with her is she's got a really cool style, and once again, she does bring a unique bag of tricks to this field. And I'm, I've just been loving to see the different flavors come out in this, just in this collection of skaters. And each skater only getting two runs. Best single run counts. And you hope that you're one of the top eight when the dust settles to move on to tomorrow's final. We'll get to Leticia a little later on as she'll be dropping in towards the end of our field. But this year is the 10-year anniversary of Leticia Buffoni earning her first ever career X Games gold medal. Wow, that's incredible because we even have some skaters here that are 10 years old <laughs> that are going to be blowing us away. So for those of you who don't typically watch vert, this is my invitation to encourage you to please watch women's vert. The return of women's skateboard vert this weekend at X Games, all is right in the world. Yes, we are hyped for that. So here's Shiloh Katori out of Tampa, Florida, also making her X Games debut, just 14 years old, Amelia. And she's gonna, she has some great things up her sleeve here. I'm really excited to see it, I won't reveal it now. She's already off to a good start with a lip slide and a smith grind. First one to be hitting this double set so far. Nice front 50, looking great so far. I've seen Shiloh in a couple exposure events, but this is her first really big debut. That, that is what I'm talking about, Brandon. I can't express to you how tall that thing is. It probably goes up to her armpit. And wow, and the crooked grind, it's looking really, really good. Welcome to Ventura. Welcome to the X Games, Shiloh. And that crowd is roaring. 
for the 14-year-old. And Amelia's giving it an awesome. Okay, I hope that we get to watch that no slide again because that, well, this was great as well. A really good way to start your run with a lip slide on the bump to bar. Nice front 50 down the double set handrail. Oh, so steezy. Officially X Games mode. This, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, that sign, it goes up to her armpit, okay? We're not gonna see a lot of people in this field hitting that sign. I've actually seen some girls get truly smoked on that thing. And for her debut, for her first run, we have right a new the leader, 78.33, Shiloh taking over first place. You know what? Let's talk to our head judge, Jason Rothmeyer. Jason, how about that for an X Games debut from Shiloh? That was legit, right? That no slide on the sign. That's what put you in there. That was the first person to hit it for that we've seen so far. So while we have you, Jason, just give us a rundown of what you guys are looking for specifically on this street course here today. Uh, there's a lot of options out there, right? So I, I feel like it's a good course. We're not going to see the same run over and over. Not everyone's going to have to take the same line. So um, there's a lot of variety. You just you got to mix it up. Amazing. Thank you. And we will be checking in with the judges here throughout the day. Aori is certainly a familiar face out here. She's already won three golds, a silver and a bronze. And she's got a really great feature in a documentary series for Monster, Aspire Inspire. And starting off with a back lip is a really phenomenal way to set the stage for your run. That is a tough trick. And she's just a, you know, unfortunately there she stepped off on a back 50, a simple go-to trick for someone like Aori, but she's a contest veteran. She knows how to shake off those nerves and keep rolling. And she also knows she has another run. And for Nishimura, remember, as you said, three gold medals from 2017 to 2019. Really, she was the face of this contest. She had sort of at least temporarily taken the mantle away from Leticia Buffoni. And we thought, this is the future. Who's going to catch Ori? And unfortunately, uh, injuries kind of have sidetracked her for the last couple of years. But it seems like every contest over the last 18 months, she's getting a little healthier and a little more comfortable. Absolutely. I think that that was definitely a bit of a throwaway run for her. She really only did tricks on the one feature, the bump to bar and the down rail attached to it. You know, but it was, a, it was a good way to warm up. That crooked grind was beautifully pinched on that front foot. And I know that she's just going to bring us way more in the second run and most likely be a finalist. But she's going to really focus on uh, doing some modeling and fashion design as well. And she's just a a diverse human being. She's got a lot of different talents and about abilities to bring to the table. So she's uh, really kind of filled her time, her downtime while she's been healing from those knee injuries. Who is going to catch Katori, who is our current leader here on run one? Could it be Kate Oldenbuving, making her third X Games appearance, 18 years old? Nice no slide by Kate. So she was the one I was talking about. Oh, nice back three. That's a fun flair to add to this. So she went for that sign the other day. She, if you see her face, it's a little bit bandaged. She fell straight to her face trying to no slide that sign. So that sign is two and a half feet tall. Wow. Go into your face from that. It's, yeah, and that means a lot when you're, when you're five foot five like Kate. That is some real estate. Seriously. So she just went for a three shove out of that lip slide. And that's going to definitely set her apart because it's a bit more of a technical trick. Anytime you're spinning or flipping your board out of a grind or a slide, that's definitely going to catch the eyes of the judges. So that'll do it for Kate's first run. And again, over the years, it's been much more directional, plaza-style courses. There are just so many different routes the skaters can take. They've had all week to practice, but it seems like that one item for them to address is, where do I feel most comfortable from getting A to Z over 45 seconds? That's right. There's a bit of a different flow to this course. There is kind of a top section that you can skate, but then you'd have to ollie in to skate the bottom section. So there's going to be a bit more stepping off, I think, than we're used to seeing in recent X Games. But, you know, they wanted to bring the true street skating flair to this course, and I think they've done an excellent job in replicating a schoolyard vibe. So here's Zhang when he making her second X Games appearance. We actually saw her back in China when we were in 
Shanghai back in 2019. So good to have her back on the X Games stage four years later. Yes, she's been really focused on just different events and progressing because she actually hasn't even been skating that long. She's maybe been skating for five years, which is incredible <laughs> to think about the level of tricks that she's bringing to the table because to master some of these tricks in such a short period of time is no easy feat. Yeah, she actually represented China at the Tokyo Games. That's right. Had a sixth place finish, so still a lot of bright skateboarding in her future. Still just 18 years old. Making it the finals of the Olympics is it's very impressive, and especially as someone who's a, a rookie to the sport in general, it's great to watch. So we turn our attention to Hina Maeda, making her third X Games appearance. We saw her just a couple of months ago with an eighth place finish in Chiba, trying to find that first career X Games podium. The thing to look out for with Hina is she's an excellent street skater. She's put out some really good video parts, and she kind of brings that street skating style to this course. And I think that serves her really well because it just gives her a different approach. She's got a whole different vibe about her. And I'm just excited to see her second run because this is going to be a throwaway, unfortunately. But she's got such a cool style. She's one of my favorites to watch out here. So she might call it. She gonna might do it, it for Hina's run one. Again, if you're just joining us, it's eliminations, but only two runs out here today. Margin of error, razor thin. And only eight will be moving on to the final. It's hard to be one of the first events as well, because no everybody's doubt. kind of getting warmed up to the whole vibe of the weekend. You know, everybody's trying to st set the stage, but they're also trying to feel out, where is the rest of the field? What do I have to do to get into the finals? And also, what should I save for the finals? It's, uh, there's definitely some contest strategy to think about here. Which makes it all the more extraordinary that Katori in her X Games debut is in the top spot. There we see Pamela Rosa, obviously a mainstay here at the X Games. Six medals in her career. She's won this event twice before. And oh, by the way, she just celebrated a birthday. What a way to celebrate. She got to skate the course. Do some big spin front boards fakie. Feliz Anniversario. Leticia Buffoni just looked over. She's like, yeah, that was good. All right. That's the only Portuguese I will be speaking this weekend. Pamela Rosa, crazy right now, just turned 24 years old. This is her 16th X Games appearance. Make the math make sense to me, Amelia. I, I can't make the math make sense to you because that's an incredible amount of X Games to have skated in in such a short amount of time. And speaking of short amount of time, this is a skater who we know can pack a ton of tricks into a run because she skates fast. She skates faster than most of the competitors out here. And I think that's what makes her style really fun to watch. And the thing about her is she has to get in the flow. So she knows like she's not going to get back in the flow now. She's she's not a fan of wasting time. So. She's just going to save it for her second run. As we said, six X Games medals, two of them gold. But she has not got on the podium since back in Norway, X Games in 2018. So it's been a minute. But she is always a threat to get on that podium because of her experience, because of the consistency she shows. And hopefully we see that shine on run number two for her. She's actually been mentored by Leticia Buffoni. Yes which is really rad to just see them competing together for years now. We talk about that torch passing, right? It what felt like Latisa took her under her wing. She's now doing that with Haisa. But here now, Liz Akama, who's just been on fire as of late. She's truly been the practice standout of the weekend. And I can kind of tell by her body language that she's already qualified for the finals because she's looking really relaxed, very composed, already has a couple tricks down. I can tell this is a safety run, you know, which is, is smart as a competitor. And the fact that a barley grind, a barley grind is part of her safety run. She dialed. That's beautiful. She's no, got one, finals. no one else is doing that trick in this She's field. got finals on the mind, Liz Akama. Get wow. to know the name, final two seconds. By the way, Liz just got on the flip AM team a month ago. The AM team.
Oh, Amelia, you're giving it a not a good, I had not to, a great. I had to give that an, an awesome. awesome, the ending of that run from 180 to switch 50 down that hubba on the double set. That is truly impressive. And I like the, her approach to contest skating because we're not seeing that from the rest of this Bats. field. She's, she's truly taken a unique approach. And that barley grind, that is a thing of poetry. Just absolutely locked in, Amelia. So consistent on that, too. That's what sets her apart as well. See, I'm telling you, her body language said, this is a warm-up for me. I've already made it to the finals. Let me just get this uh, practice run out of the way here. That was an amazing run, 76.33. Good enough to jump up into second place. So the judges know you've got something more in store. Here now, Chloe Covell. Starting off with a nice crooked grind on the bump to bar. Beautiful kick flip. Wow! Oh, kick flipping out the of that. Flip out? Are you kidding me? Now she's setting up for a switch flip up the Euro. Wow, this level of consistency and flipping in, flipping out, flipping off, and going switch on that down rail. The, it's okay. She's all. She's already landed a the lot. The volume of tricks and the volume of tech I in know. just 20 seconds. It's so good. Blows she's me changing away. the game. She's changing the game. So, Brandon. Amelia, for those watching who haven't watched Chloe skate before, wow! wow. What okay. is it about this 13-year-old that has you so excited? She's she is focused on progressing the sport. She wants to do what no one else is doing. And you could tell that in her approach. I mean, last year, we saw her switch flip the biggest stair yes. set on the course. That has not been done in this field before, Brandon. And the, the effortlessness on this kick flip down the four block, you know, anytime you're flipping your board, especially down a set of stairs, it's, it's really, truly hard to stay consistent with that. And flipping out. No one in this field is flipping out of, of grinds. I can't say enough good things about Chloe because, I mean, look, she's four foot ten. That rail's got to be at least two feet. So she's jumping half her body size onto a huge rail down the double set. Wow, 77.33, even with the bail. Jason and the rest of the judges don't care. They know that that's a finals type of run for Chloe Covell. Very interesting to me that, well, she I guess she had a fall. Perhaps that is what she can Correct. improve yeah. upon. Because Shiloh put down a run where she did not fall. And now, dropping in for her 22nd X Games appearance, the most decorated skateboarder in the history of the discipline, Leticia Buffoni. See, that's what I'm saying. Leticia is all about flow. So she's finding the flow in this course, you know, and she's using the top part of the course, which is just a really great approach. The judges are going to appreciate that. Nice back nose grind on the hubba. Owner of 12 X Games medals. She has won this event five times, plus a real street gold medal for a total of six career X Games gold. That's incredible. And that, that gap up, it's pretty lengthy. And then you have to kind of maintain your height. Otherwise, you're going to clip your trucks on that rail. So that nice front 180 definitely required a lot of pop. Nice lip slide fakey. She's putting together a solid line here. That's not surprising, though. Leticia is super consistent. She knows how to skate a contest. She knows how to fit many tricks into her run. And she's looking really solid. You know, I know she had her hesitations about this course. It's not a flow that she's used to. Oh, it's, it was a crooked grind. My mistake. But a walk in the park nonetheless for Leticia. As we said, doesn't really skate many contests anymore, but she knows this is the stage where she has shined brightest throughout her career. And a great first run, good enough for a 70, putting her up into fourth. Remember, top eight will be moving on to the final. So Leticia putting herself in position there after run one. She's always coming with the strategy of knowing where she needs to up the ante on her run. My goodness, speaking of upping the ante, heel flipping into her run and doing the casual and beautiful 50-50 into the bottom part of the course. 50-50ing that two and a half foot tall sign like it's no problem. My goodness, Momiji is here 
to win. Momiji Nishia, our defending gold medalist from last summer. She's got three X Games medals in four appearances. That salad grind was just a beautiful trick. Not a lot of people are doing that one, and it just shows how much control you have to and be able to pinch it in that way. Amelia, there's such a relaxed nature to the way she's approaching this course. There isn't this hustle of, I gotta get all these tricks in. It's just somebody who seems very methodical and very in control with what she's doing. I love just how she started off hot, heel flipping into the bank, and just transferring in with that 50-50, looking really casual. Um, the fact that she was able to add this top part of the course into a solid flowing line oh. just shows you mastery and shows you how well she knows how to put together a line. Right there. The way that she pinches that salad grind. It's kind of on her heel. It's between kind of a front blunt and a 5-0. And that just shows you how much board control she has. What an opening run. Feels like we've been in X Games mode. All run one here in elimination. That's how elevated the skating has been. An 85.33 hey, for Bovigi. Unbelievable. I'm not surprised. I am not surprised because she fit in a ton of tricks. They all looked effortless, but they were all very challenging. One run in here in elimination, and Momiji Nishia comes correct on run number one. cleansing, Bayer's facial toner is clinically tested to visibly reduce pores and smooth texture for better looking bare skin. Over 100,000 five-star reviews. Bayer's, your natural remedies. Here's Leticia Buffoni. Does she have what it takes to win her first ever gold? This is her chance right now. Lip slide, that might do it. Wow. Leticia's first ever gold medal comes in her home country on her final run. I'm so happy. Thank you, guys. I forgot to bring you. And that is where the legend started 10 years ago. How about the young Brando and Tony Hawk on that call? I guess Leticia great. and I are, are forever connected That's with true. that. We sort of earned that gold together, huh? Yeah. Unbelievable. The most dominant woman in the history of this discipline. And if run one was any indication, she's going to make some noise and uh, come final time. You know, I think she may, may be surprised herself because I saw her in practice one of the first days. She wasn't really feeling this course, but she made it flow. You know, she she put it together, and she's going to have her step up tricks in her second run. And it's really great to see her skating here. Well, for more out on the course, let's head down to Corbin Harris.
Brando, it is exciting down here, let me tell you. Obviously, we had Mamiji popping straight into first spot, but we have Shiloh in second spot. It's a first X Games ever. There's so many other skateboarders that have runs here too and complete them, like Chloe Cavell and also Lizza Karma. So there's going to be a lot of switching and changing for the next, uh, for the next heat, so uh, I'm excited to see it. Back to you guys. Yeah, we all are. Thank you, Corbin. It was just so elevated there on run number one. Momiji doing what Momiji does there on that first run. But I do think Amelia Shiloh Katori has to be the story so far today in her X Games debut, sitting comfortably there in that second spot. Honestly, she was already the talk of the town in practice because she was the first one to hit that sign. And she's been doing it so consistently that that trick alone is what makes her stand out. But she she fits it in a line and she skates fast and she's got good style and this is her x games debut and that is a huge undertaking to be able to perform that well your first run at your first x games in front of a sold out crowd here at the ventura fairgrounds the debut of x games california but now the albuquerque kid Mariah Duran, 26 years old, two-time gold medalist, dropping in, and she's sitting in that seventh spot, so she needs to give herself a little breathing room right now, Amelia. She's not giving herself breathing room yet. That front feeble keeps getting a little weird on her, but she knew she had to step it up. She, she did that kickflip front board. That is a super technical trick to fit into your line, especially after you just got sloppy on a feeble. That's awesome. Putting it together so far. Looking way more comfortable. She's got to definitely step it up a little bit because she's going to have the rest of the field nipping at her toes. She's in seventh right now, but she's got to stay in the top eight this whole run. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. She traveled that kickflip a little bit sideways. That was wonderful that she was able to catch it and stomp it and ride away and she looks surprised as well she knows she kind of got away with some little bit of sloppiness which the judges are going to see but also they're going to appreciate because when you're landing like that and you didn't step off it's that in itself is a trick and this front board the kickflip front board right after just getting away with that feeble she she made it happen there. She willed this run yeah. into completion. Love that shot. So Mariah Duran stating her case to potentially climb up the ladder again. If you're just joining us, the top eight will be moving on a 73.66. So she improves upon her first run score and jumps up into the top five. That's going to put her in a much more comfortable position. I've been loving seeing Paige Hine really progress through the contest. Last year, she showed up at Exposure. She got fourth, so just missed the podium. But ever since then, she's been adding a lot of new tricks to her bag. I love the command on that backsmith. That is just a, a beautiful trick, and she did it in the textbook way. And the switch front board. Paige Hine now sitting in that seventh spot. What can she do to potentially move up? Wow, did she just throw a blunt fakie in her line? That's It's always fun when people uh, use the quarter pipes and actually do real tricks on them versus just turn around. But speaking of real tricks, that switch flip was no joke either. Paige, front feeble. Setting up for one final trick, Amelia. Oh, she just went for that switch front 50. She got that in her first run. And unfortunately, Paige getting hung up there on that rail to end the run. I, I like that run. It was a really good run. It was maybe not as fast as some of the other skaters will be skating. She did miss the last switch front 50. But I love that she's skating switch. And I love that she's taking these other tricks from, you know, the competitors she's seen, the front feebles that are scoring really well, the backsmiths that are scoring really well. She's clearly watching these contests and she's seeing what she needs to work on. And that's probably an influence of the whole KTR scene as well, because that's kind of what they're there for. They're there for the skaters that are trying to compete on the highest level. KTR, kids that rip, the skate school owned by 
Jagger Eaton and his family. So a 71.66 for Paige. And that bumps her up one spot in the sixth. Making more breathing room for herself. That's good. Definitely good. But Christine caught him. Oh, no. I was just going to say I'm hoping for a full pull from her. But I just want to see her land a couple of great tricks because that, that ollie one foot down the four block, that's just super fun. It's got like a little, uh, you know, karate flair to skateboarding. But she also does that in a back 180, which I, I don't ever really see. So no. I've really enjoyed that. It's It's been really fun to see just new faces and new tricks and new styles. But progression breeds that, right? As the field continues to get augmented and more and more fierce competitors who become podium threats and you see different types of skateboarding enter the chat, so to speak. And Christine Cottom's a perfect example of that. Another skater who's using the quarter pipes and progressing and trying to run into Gary Rogers. <laughs> Good to have Gary and Corbin there. That's right. Running they, security. They saved her. But the frontside grind fakie was a really cool add-on as well. That's that's what I'm really liking about Christine skating. She's 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 different. Different is fun. And I think to your point, Brandon, it is natural to see new tricks. But I think this field so for so long was focused on seeing what does well yes. and then yes. learning those tricks that do well versus thinking about skateboarding as something more artistic, something more unique, and something that they can they can pick what tricks they want to do. It doesn't have to be dictated by what's doing well in a contest. Hey, you know what I love? Gary Rogers isn't even working right now, and yet he still somehow ends up on TV, Corbin Harris. <laughs> what was that? I mean, we just have to pull him in anyhow, Brando. I don't know. I want him in here. I want his first pick. Apart from running on, running into people on the street course. <laughs> no, that was your ball. No, that on me. Uh, hey, who's your picks after those first runs? So to me, Shiloh came out strong. It's her first X Games, bro. Seeing that line she put together she was focused and then momiji that style coming off with that hill right here not many people are flicking into that maybe an ollie or 180. how she just came i was like whoa it's definitely elevating bro it's stepping up this is crazy this is good to see shiloh went off well there he says that it's shiloh back to you brando in the booth <laughs> Yeah, hey, we're right behind you guys. What's happening, Brandon Graham and Amelia Brodka here. We're in the middle of run number two. Shiloh coming correct there on uh, on run number one. Excited to see what she has for run number two as she's set to drop in. Momiji really setting the pace on run number one, but Shiloh sort of playing with house money right now. She's got to feel pretty good, even though here it is, her X Games rookie, not quite sure what to expect about getting into the final, but how can she up her game here on run number two? Nice slip slide. Honestly, I'm, I'm going to say it. She doesn't have to. She's she's looking pretty safe for the finals, and sometimes you really want to Very save good point. Yeah. something so that you don't reveal all your cards to the judges before the big show. But I love that she's still fully going for Ooh. it anyway. She just missed that front 50. I cannot express to you how lengthy that double set is and how tall that rail is for especially for a young kid like Shiloh. But I love that she is not shaken by falling down a huge set of stairs. And she's going straight for the biggest obstacle what? on the course, that sign. Wow. Wow. What a way to wrap things up. Well, let's hear from the rookie out there, Shiloh Katsori. Resilient. She is absolutely resilient. Amelia I'm, liking what she saw. I mean, look, she's already in second place. She did not have to land another full run. And she certainly did not have to skate the biggest obstacle on the course when she just fell down a set of stairs. So just so much respect for Shiloh because she is here to give it her all. And I've just been loving seeing that smile on her face as well. She knows she knows she's doing well. It's great. So let's talk about it now, the dividing line for the final. We've got a three-time gold medalist. There you see an Aori Nishimura, who is on the outside looking in. 
plus a two-time gold medalist, Pamela Rosa, who we'll get to in just a little bit, who will also be dropping in, who's trying to get into the finals. We're talking about some big names that have incredible resumes that have to come out and earn it here on run number two, and it starts right now with Nishimura. She is no stranger to making it happen when it's time. And it is time now. If she wants to make it to the finals, she's got to get a full pull. That got away from her last time, the back 50. It was a little sloppy this time, but she did not step off. I love that she's doing the nose manual as well. Always fun to see a tech flare added to the course. Nice lip slide. Flowing really well here so far. Making use of all that lower level obstacle. Oh, just sticking on that crooked grind. Maybe didn't have quite enough speed. You know, I'm not sure that she's gonna be able to bump up her score with that. We'll see what the judges think. I know there weren't a lot of full pulls in the first runs. But regardless, it's good to see her healthy. It's good to see her out here and she's smiling. And as you can see on your scheme, that 55.33 right now is the eighth spot score. She would need to best that to crack into the top eight. Was it enough on run number two? A 60.66, it is. So Aori jumping up into the top eight. A sigh of relief, but she can't breathe too easily because the skater that she just bumped out, Kate Oldenbeving, drops in now, sitting right behind her in that ninth spot. Can she claim it back, Amelia? It's certainly possible. She's got, oh no, maybe not. Maybe spoke too soon, you know? She's, she's fallen her third trick in. She might be able to recover because I already did fall as well in her run. You know, Kate took a pretty gnarly slam yesterday on her face with, on that sign. She's trying to get it together here. She knows she has a chance at the finals. Oh no, that might be it for Kate. Certainly a good showing. I was hoping we would see that board side three shove. Tricks like that are certainly her specialty. Oh, she heard me. Thanks, Kate. I'm glad that you tried. So a score of 47 for Kate, officially eliminated, unfortunately. She did sit in the top eight there until Nishimura took it from her. Hey, check it out. X Games, baby. You're watching right now, watching X Games. Always makes me happy. I think we second and third that. My money is on Leticia Buffoni. Let's get that X Games gold. Well, she's done that before six previous times. No big deal. Love to see the comments in the mix. If you're watching, let us know. Who's your pick? What are you enjoying? What do you like about the course? So here's Zhang. Trying right now to get into that top eight, sitting in 11th right now. Had a throw away that score of 34 from run number one. Nice, going on that front nose grind down the hubba. Looking really solid. She's a really great skater. She actually won the Exposure Best Trick event last November with a kickflip back 50. And I'm hoping to see some of that flare here today. Nice kick flipping up and over. That is a long gap. It's hard to tell from that angle, but there's like grass in there. There's that rail and you got to go high and far basically. Oh, going for the front 50 down the double set. Just kind of leaned back a little bit, so it got away from her. Maybe she hadn't even tried that yet. Unfortunately, won't be making it to finals with that. But we've certainly seen her do really well in contests in the past. It won't be the last we see of her. Tough day for the lone Chinese skater in our field here today but good to see her out here. There were certainly some moments there on run number two.
And that score of 68 actually jumps up into the top eight, and with that, actually officially eliminates Aori Nishimura. Wow. Wow. That is surprising, but really great news for her. And the thing is, though, we still have Hina. Hina Maeda, she has an incredible style. She skates really fast, and I just hope that she can showcase us, showcase to us what her style really looks like because it's super fun to watch. Nice kick flipping up that gap. Once again, it is tall, it is long. Hard to tell from that angle. Nice feeble. She does have some first place finishes in her X Games career, but has never touched the podium here at X Games. Can she just get on into the final here today? I think it's very possible. So far, she's been a good amount of tricks into her run. She's the only one that's used that ledge so far. That was definitely fun to see. Nice back 180 up the Euro. There's a little Euro gap there as well for those of you that can't see from that angle. Nice Smith grind. Back disaster. Full pull from Hina. An absolute 180 from her first run, Amelia. Trying to climb that ladder. Zhang sitting in that eighth spot with a score of 68. See that gap? Oh. It's got grass, it's got concrete, it's got a rail. It's pretty long and it's, it's pretty tall. It's got all the things. It's got all the things. Nice little 50-50 over the flower gap. And this beautifully executed Smith grind. That was a really solid run from Hina. I Does it best at 68, though, it's and got get to. her into the top eight? A 69. Nice, getting into that eighth place with that. And with that, Hina jumping up into the top eight, and unfortunately, Zhang getting eliminated. Wow, a lot of moving and shaking here just on the last two or three runs. I hear she feebled a 10 stair double set at LES Skate Park oh on Go Skateboarding Day. My. That's lengthy. I wonder if we're going to see that. No, I guess if she's regular, she's not going to be able to do it on this course, but certainly no stranger to big handrails then. Now, can Pamela Rosa follow that same recipe from last into the top eight? Because that was Hina. Hina was sitting in 13th place, jumped up into eight. Pamela is on the back end trying to move up, and now she's got her work cut out for her. Right now, the top eight has all landed full runs. They've not stepped off their board, so it's going to be tough for Pamela to break into that. But as the fastest skater on the course, it could have been possible, except that run, that, that fall, I think. Unfortunately, we'll have to count Pamela out. You know, this is a different course than she typically shines on. Because she, once again, she likes to go really fast. Yes. So having a course that is a bit more directional, a bit more flowy, certainly serves Pamela. So maybe this wasn't really her place to shine. But ending with the kickflip, at least, you know? So that'll do it for Pamela Rosa's day. And with that, we've got four skaters left to drop in for their final runs and they're all in the top eight so our top eight is officially set we just don't necessarily know the positioning of that which can have some direction when it comes to the drop list for the finals absolutely it definitely serves you to finish with a higher result because then you get to see what everyone else did and that will kind of inform your decisions on how hard you have to send it basically. Great point. Liz Akama sitting in fourth, seemingly a, a safety run on her first run and I, I was excited to see what she would have for run two now that she knows she's in the final. Oh my gosh. Okay, Liz. Really? She started her run with a front feeble 180? Are you kidding me? Liz, you're already in the final. Wow. I, I, you know, she still seems so calm, cool, and collected. I, I know she knows she's in the final, but she's clearly practicing for the final and really probably wants to have that 
first place spot well, so she can go last. Isn't there that mentality as we watch this, uh, that mentality of sometimes it's not just enough to get in, but to, to win the qualifier, so to speak, right? That top ranked qualifier, that means something to a certain mentality of skateboarder. Absolutely. I think, you know, we've seen skaters, for example, Nyjah is one, yes. who thrive on that scenario because yes. then the pressure's on, it just counts on that one last run, and they're the one who gets to put the stamp on not only the qualifiers, but also the finals. And that that was, you know, not her best run, but seeing her throw that front feeble 180 in there, that was... That was awesome. I think that is a new one from her. We saw that in, we saw her do that in Rome for one of her best tricks. But that just goes to show how cool of an approach Liz has because to lock in to be grinding essentially backwards and then to spin out of that just Amelia, really technical. I, I can't believe it. I just feel like her skating is elevated since we saw her in Japan for X Games in Chiba just a couple of months ago. It's amazing what she's been doing and she is absolutely going to be a podium threat in that final. Speaking of podium threats. So how does Chloe Covell approach this second run? We know she has some of the most technical tricks in the field. I was gonna say, does she take it easy here? Nope. No, nope. oh my goodness. I just love seeing her do that and seeing her do that so consistently is a testament to how dominant Chloe is about to be. Again, it should be noted, when you're this good and you're 13 years old, the idea of like taking anything off probably doesn't really register. Like, what does it matter? I'm skateboarding. No, I'm she's, gonna go she for is it. full throttle, honestly. And speaking of which, setting up for that big handrail now. Nice, solid front 50 down that. And, you know, I heard that she actually learned switch flips before she learned regular flips. I, oh, that bell is functioning. I did not know that. That's fun. But, and so I didn't she learned, even know we had a bell here. She learned how to switch kickflip before she learned how to regular kickflip. And I think that that... And she broke it. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. <laughs> but... Uh, what I'm saying is, not only is her regular kickflip really good, despite the fact that she learned the switch first, but the fact that she's so dominant in her non-dominant stance as well, that's really going to set her apart and again, in this field. This big rail, for I say it, and I mean it, especially when you're four foot ten, that's huge. Let's get another replay. <laughs> <laughs> She looked Dude, so she, surprised. She didn't even get to ring it. <laughs> she had to physically hit the bell. Oh, gosh. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> I don't know. I'd say it's faulty engineering on that bell. I'm not going to blame it on Chloe. So Chloe Covell will hold on to her first run score. She will stay in that third spot. Brisa, this course is so cool with a couple of exclamation points. OMG, look at this classic X Games skate park design. I love it. It really is. It's a throwback to another year. Nina Mana just smashed her run. Yes, she did. We agree with you there, Benjamin Chapman. Keep the comments flowing here as we're wrapping up elimination. Leticia Buffoni, 30 years old. The oldest competitor in this field. The most dominant in this field. And she's moving on to the final. Oh, just stepping off that tray flip. That is an upgrade already from her last run, so you can tell she's practicing for the final, and she's transferring down from the top level of the course to the lower level of the course. Yeah, she's getting ready for the finals. And once again, she's a skater who's all about flow, so she's trying to find a way. She's like, I like this top level, but how do I get to the bottom level? I'm just going to gap into it. Why not? I love it. Full send Leticia is just so fun to watch. This is a perfect example of that. It's not just a feel-good story that she's moving on to the final. Given her resume, she absolutely expects to be on that podium and contend for gold. So taking this opportunity, even on run two, to show something outside of the box. And she almost rolls away with this. 
She's got to lead forward a little bit more. I'm sure she's aware of that herself, but that's going to be a really cool way to link her full run in the finals. Well, her skating is just so different from the rest of this field, and she's proven it time and time again, and we all win getting to see Leticia here today and then also moving on to the finals, of course. You know, honestly, I know that she's the most decorated in this field, but making it to the finals is no easy feat, even when you've done it, 100%. you know, 25,000 times before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to even research that. You, you must be correct. Momiji Nishia. Oh, just, no. Ooh, goes down uh, hard. You know, honestly, I think she fell asleep. She was like, it's too easy. I'm just grinding in the cruise, rest of my run. Oh, cruise wait. control. She's just so relaxed, she forgot she was mid 50-50. She's like, you know what, maybe this is a throwaway, but Chris Gregson, our, our uh, follow cam, is uh, still with her. So she's like, I guess I got to keep going here. I love how relaxed her style is. It's, it just goes to show how much control she has over her skating. So, Amelia, I ask you this, with that 85.33, and the bell got fixed. Momiji is showing how it's done. Throwing up the X. So Momiji is our top ranked qualifier. We have to imagine the rest of this field that are moving on, the eight others that are joining her, have something up their sleeve. But just what you saw from Momiji's first run, what's it going to take to best her for a gold medal? It's definitely going to take that flow and linking together this course and as we saw Leticia is trying to do that here right. but as you see like Momiji st starts on top she starts right off with a heel flip and then she transfers down to the bottom of the course and she's just very very consistent and that's going to go a long way fitting ton consistent tricks into your room and our top eight are set Momiji our top ranked qualifier but two other former gold medalists join her in that field with Mariah Duran and Leticia Buffoni, let's head down to Corbin Harris. Yeah, what an amazing women's uh, skateboard street elimination we had there. The real story is, this is your first X Games, Shiloh. I've been watching you on Instagram and all your social. I love your stuff in the streets. What was it like for the first time being here at X Games? Uh, it was pretty crazy to be competing with like all of the girls that I look up to and they're all so crazy good and I was really nervous and I definitely was not expecting to land my first run but I'm really excited that I did so it's just amazing to be here. Hey that was amazing what, what's your strategy now moving into the final after you got that first one done you must be feeling the pressure off. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling like really excited to be into the finals. I definitely was not expecting that. And I think I'm just going to try to do everything that I can to do my best in the finals. Hey, we want to see it. Congratulations. That's amazing. Brando, one of the best out there today. We're excited to see her in the finals. I can't think of a better preview for the final than what we just saw here in Eliminations. Congratulations to our top eight who we'll move on in the Women's Skateboard Street Final for Corbin Harris, Amelia Bratka, I'm Brandon Grant saying thank you so much for watching. Stick around, plenty of action here coming up at X Games California.
The sunshine hits a little different in Southern California, especially in Ventura, where we come to you now for day one of X Games California. Welcome to Men's Skateboard Street Elimination, live from the Ventura Fairgrounds. What's happening, everybody? Brandon Graham joined alongside my partner, the voice of skateboarding, Mr. Gary Rogers. Gary, a lot of things to like about today. Maybe yes. at the tip top of the list, we got fans back in the stands for the first time in years. Back to normal. Feels good. People are smiling, actually having a good time. The fog just cleared, the sun's coming out, so it's a beautiful day. A sellout crowd on hand to watch 16 skaters put it down here in elimination. Only eight, we're cutting this field in half, we'll be moving on. I'm looking at the list of skaters skating out here today. I don't know how we're gonna do it. I don't know either, especially if somebody's gonna have to make sure they land everything. They will be chasing this man, a three-time gold medalist at X Games, Utah Horagome. He's the one, he's the truth. Utah's focused already. He ain't talking to nobody, he ain't giving out high fives, he ain't doing nothing. Let's go, Brady. You know, just landing his stuff. But you can never count out the most decorated man in this field, owner of 20 X Games medals. He has won this one 10 times, the one and only Nigel Houston. And you know that boy pulled up dressed relaxed, got them comfy basketball shorts on, Daisy Duke size, but Trix is being landed all day. Well, will Nija get back on top? This crowd in Ventura sure hopes so. They're ready for some mayhem out here. For more, though, let's head down to the third member of our team, Corbin Harris. Yeah, Brandon, it is mayhem down here. The, the crowd is going crazy behind me. Right now, I'm standing next to 20 X Games medals deep, 13 of them gold. Not to mention he's one of the most decorated skateboard street athletes of all time. Nigel, you've had... Good to see you, of course. Good to see you, and we're glad that you're back. You've struggled with an injury. Feels like you've overcome it. Mentally, are you back? Where are you at? Like, oh, I'm back. I'm back. I'm feeling good. I'm confident. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously the ACL is a serious injury. It's a mission. And uh, that was my first surgery ever, first, like, real serious injury. So it definitely took a toll on, like, the confidence for a second there. But, you know, after a lot of PT, a lot of hard work, we're back. Feeling good. Dude, we're so glad you're back. Congratulations and good luck out there today. I'm back. That gave me chills like the MJ press release he when he like made Tiger his return, Woods. man. That was wild. That was good. Nigel Houston, who is joining him on this list. That's just half the field out here today, Gary. That's ridiculous. That's heavy dudes, man. Good footage, good tricks. And now they get used to the contest thing for real. So that's one through eight, nine through 16, anchored by Nija Uto. And how about Shane O'Neill, a gold medal in this event last summer? What'd you say, brother? So who will move on to the finals? We're going to find out today. Uh, here's a nice IG post from yesterday. X Games athletes blew our minds at practice day one and it's just getting started. Finals weekend tomorrow, tomorrow being today, and the finals for this event is Sunday. Try to keep up, but the guys were having their way with this course nonetheless, yeah, is the definitely. point we are trying to make. And a look at this course, it really is a throwback to former courses of X yeah. Games lore. I'm talking Chris Cole, P. Rod, Sheckler, Sheckler, 09, 10, out of the event deck at Thinking LA Live. That, that Lawan hard flip on that one bump the bar there you back go. in the day, so. This is one of those things, man. It just makes life feel nice. And when you think about those moments, you think about this young man, Curran Caples, from where? Ventura. Ventura, California. He was skating park in those years. Now we see him in the streets. Can he move on and get into the finals? Oh, yeah. First off, nobody's doing that, so that was good. Um, Curran definitely skating with home field advantage on his back. Oh, he tried to pop it to a Smith right there. But for those watching at home that maybe know Curran from Park or maybe haven't watched him skate street, what is it about his skating that separates him from the rest of this 16-man field? So Curran has no problem going big because he's used to skating, like you said, the park, the deep pools. We're talking 10, 11 foot walls. So you see him just kind of fly around these rails. These things ain't that tall. He, he'll finesse through anything like that. That's a pool corner for him, so. Curran again, a Ventura native. The roar from the crowd tells you all you need to hear how special it would be if he could earn his way into Sunday's final. That was good, bro. Dude, that gap to back blunt, man. You know, sometimes we say, oh, hometown hero, hometown favorite, but maybe they're from like 15 miles out of town. That's not the case. 
with current capo. No, it's not. He really from over here. You What'd you that? like? I love that back blunt. That gap back blunt over there. I didn't see anybody touch that all day. I see him kind of popping the board slide, but that was beast. How about the flow mo cam? Sheesh, man. Who's going to hit them slappy curves? That's what I'm wondering. I like the angles here. 56.33. The bar officially set here in men's skateboard street elimination. Only two runs for each of our 16 skaters. Best single run counts, of course. Who will move on to our final? We expect this guy, Chris Jocelyn, a four-time real street medalist. He's Yet real to street. to find man. the podium, though, in our traditional He's street He's real contest. street man, for real. And if his t-shirt's any indication, Gary, he's been skating a lot today. He for sure skated before the contest. Hitting the street, got a clip this morning, then he came here. Doing that back lip. He was not sweating eight minutes ago. Chris is just a hard worker. It, it, it's somebody that you can tell really loves skateboard to and through, like, you know? On the back tail on that rail, but that's it. Count it. Chris skated in our best trick contest out at Rincon earlier in the week. Last trick. Oh! But as you said, the way he skates, it's so much grinding. It's yeah. so hard. There you see, Gary, you, you were great on that. The Gary yep. meter, he came out <laughs> with a great. Yes, he did. But he will push himself to the absolute limit Bro, he, to get yeah. that trick. That's the thing about Chris is it's that perseverance. He take it personal. He really will. He take it personal every spot he approaches. Going on with that nose bump right there. You see him starting off a little shaky with that one. Barely holding on to the back tail. Again, Ooh, the most hits decorated the skater in real street history, our video yes. contest. But trying to right now earn a spot into our final eight. 66 for his first run. <laughs> Next up, Felipe Gustavo out of Brazil. I can't believe this young man is now 32 years old. Where's the time acai. go? Where's the time go? His spot off the joint. Is his, his, his spot, the acai? Wait, is that his? Yes, It's in bro. the athlete lounge? Yes. The Bust. best acai is Ooh. found in the athlete lounge, and apparently Felipe Gustavo owns Starting it. off with switch lift front tail. Getting that back nose blunt. Okay, he wasn't doing any of this in practice. He had it added up. Like he wanted to go crook over there, which is like one of his number one tricks. So probably a little late on the pop right there. You know, for him to just come switch, bro. It's so it's been so life tip for him for years. Like getting that switch from front board. Then oh, going front side flip, which he landed one earlier. That would have been nice to see. That double says no joke. It's like chest high. I stood in front of it. It's pretty high up. So run one in the books for Felipe. We're you know, early in the that's... contest, but still looking for that first full pull. Let's take another look. Exactly. Here. For somebody that's so consistent at this, it's, he's been struggling a little bit to really get like a full pull out. But that's a uh, that's um that was good to see. Just uh, that line, if he does get it, is going to probably do him pretty well. Felipe, in his ninth X Games appearance, scores a 68.33 on run. He got that hat strap. Who is choking his forehead for real? He probably put that hat out got a do-rag line. That's crazy. <laughs> so that's 68.33, good enough for the top spot. Three skaters in. But a shot where with perhaps the coldest headshot in this oh, field. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I got a, he got a basic right. A shot where your favorite skateboarder's favorite skateboarder dropping in now owns an X Games gold medal, but it's really never about the hardware when a shot skates. Exactly, or about actually having a line or anything going down. He's just out here simply skateboarding, going to do a nollie three on that wall over there for no reason at all. 
that everybody really loves his skateboarding. Whether you watch his part or out here in the contest, you you get to just appreciate greatness. Look you, at that back nose. You part. annually say that he's your favorite skateboarder to watch in this contest. Why? A hundred percent. Just because it's not really added up, it's not too strategic. You could tell he kind of did it off the fly. He'll finesse it within the moment, and that's what makes it the most fun. Like. Nobody's seen him try to kickflip quick that rail today. So if he would have got it, we would all been stoked right in front of us. Yeah, he routinely does things on his run that we didn't see him do. Before. Exactly. That's what makes it exciting because it's like, okay, that's what she was working on. I see it. But with a shot, you're like, you can even tell some of the homies is watching. I'm like, what are you about to do? <laughs> a shot, of course, that X Games gold medal. Back in Norway, 2019. Right here with that back nose one. That's the finesse of the pure. <laughs> so a 71 for Ashad. The judges even liking with the step off what they saw and potentially what's to come, but we may see an entirely different run too from Ashad Ware, who is now directing. Hey, let's head over to our judges. Head judge Jason Rothmeyer. Jason, we were just talking about a shot. Is he difficult for you guys to judge? Because you just, you know, he's got an endless bag, but you just never quite know what you're going to see. It's not hard to score, but you always, uh, I mean, he wins practice every time you watch him, right? He's the guy you're rooting for. So um, you just hope he puts it together when his run comes up. And hey. even with that run, he bailed, and we still give him a good score. Cause <laughs> Real quick, before we let you go, 16 skateboarders. This might be the heaviest roster we've ever had in an elimination. There, I, I don't know. I'm sure you guys internally have been talking about how it's going to get cut down to eight. I, I feel like this might be your toughest elimish, elimination task to date. It's difficult. There's no time no time for slipping out there right now at all. Everyone's going for it. Yeah, thank you, Jason. There you look at our judging criteria. Creativity, style, difficulty, execution, use of the entirety of this course. And there are plenty of real estate to do some different things. Ryan Desenzo making his 15th X Games appearance. He has won this event before. He's got three career X Games gold medals. Somebody said he just turned 37 yesterday. Did he just have a birthday? Yeah. Well, that's impossible. Somebody just Because if, he, if he's 37, that makes you and I. Hey, hold on, bro. Right? <laughs> Don't worry about that. Watch Ryan Desenzo. <laughs> <laughs> Switch my tail right there. I don't there. know how it's possible, Ryan Desenzo, given his resume, but somehow it feels like every year he just still flies under the radar. He, oh, get that kick on the hub. I think, you know what? It's, he's coming into those years where there's respect for his skateboarding. And that's the run this Ventura crowd has been waiting for out here at Skateboard Street Elimination. Desenzo doing what Desenzo does. Consistency has always been a hallmark, and we are officially in X Games mode. Take another look. Doing that Switch 180 drop. Only a couple guys I've seen even look at that thing. Oh, not oh, a yeah. good, not a great. We got a Gary Rogers awesome. Had to. It's Ryan Desenzo, man. Getting that big kickflip crook. Look at him. Look at him. That's the precision right there. That's what you need. That's what you need right there. That's all that matters. Catch with that front foot lock on. Two for Ryan Desenzo. We have a new leader. My bad. So Desenzo takes over the top spot in run one here in Men's Skateboard Street Elimination. But next to drop in, a guy with plenty of hardware to his name. Two gold medals in this event. The Brazilian Kelvin Hoffler. Bro, I was on like I wasn't on social media, but my partner was on social media, and he was like, "Guess how many followers you think Kelvin Hoffler has?" I say like two hundred thousand. He got a million some followers. He up, bro. He, I didn't even know that. Well, he's one of the best skateboarders in the world. <laughs> he's from Brazil. Yep. 
And that's, that's the numbers. significance. He's doing numbers, and that doesn't shock me. Is people rock with him. Kelvin Hopper, hard to believe at 30, this is his 11th X Games appearance. It took him a while to get that initial invite, but Ooh. since he got it, he has not looked back. No, he has Consistently a podium threat. Still built like Skeeter from Doug Funny. Switch from Blunt. Including a silver medal in this event at X Games Japan just a couple of months ago. Back Let's go, you. Kelvin. And so far, the comments coming in from South America. Let us know if you're watching at home. Who you like in this one? What you like about the course? Now he knows, grind. Kick with no slide. Pushing it out. There you go. When Kelvin Hoffler is locked in, there are few that can match his level of consistency, and that's a prime example right there. That's so true. Starting off with that half cap nose. Nobody's ever actually starting off with that row except for Curran, who did the gap blunt, but. It looked like he even have enough speed to get that back spin ball. He just kind of floated up there and locked that truck on. Back tail fakie. You know, we always say in eliminations that you want to do just enough, obviously, to get yourself into the big game yeah. at the end. But I just feel like with this field, I think Kelvin's going to like the score a lot. 84.66 taking over first place. It's almost like you really do have to put down a finals run. Here exactly. Today. You do, but not really like your full on, but you really want to make sure that your first run does count because then you don't have those little jitters. I think Nige is like the only human that likes pressure. Everybody else be like, please let me chill. So here's 26-year-old Vincent Malou making his sixth X Games appearance with a fresh button up. Straight from Men's Warehouse. That looks right off the show. The show from Men's Warehouse. I don't know if this has been sized. <laughs> oh! Vincent Malou, our silver medalist from last summer. If you've never watched Stop Malou it. skate, what he is hit the it the curb. about? Oh. He hit the side curb. He hit it. Nobody else has. I'm excited. Sorry. What, what were you saying? What makes, oh. Oh, jinxed it. What makes Vincent Malou so special, especially as of late, man? It seems like he has been skating his very best in the last calendar year. It's the difficulty of tricks he wants to do in his line. Like right now, going for switch nose blunt and actually being able to land it. That's what I think shocks everybody out here. He came into the game doing switchback Smiths on the biggest hub. It's like those things happen on maybe like a smaller little, but he don't play around. And he's got a big bag too. Are they playing young boy out here? Gary's got a DJ in the booth as well. I can't, I gotta focus. Ooh. So that'll do. <laughs> Vincent can't even finish his run before the field takes over in between runs. Hey, let's get a vibe check down on the course. Corbin Harris, what's going on down there? Standing right next to me is the current leader, Kelvin Hoffler. Kelvin, congratulations on that run. What's your strategy now moving forward in the elimination rounds? Oh, man, uh, I'm so glad to be skating here, you know, like, uh, it's so course this course is super good you know like but like it's super hard to make lines but like i'm super glad that i made my line so yeah so i'm gonna cheer for my friends here you know like i want to see some tricks perfect the pressure's off for you now good luck in the rest of the contest thank you so kelvin hoffler in that top spot we will see if it will stay with a few very big names still to drop in for their first run Excited for this rookie, though, finally making his pro X Games debut. Yeah. Giovanni Viana. Yeah. 22 years old, Brazil. Won our next X Am Street Contest in Minneapolis that we called a few years ago back in 2018. We've been waiting for him to get back in the mix here in the big leagues, and now we get to see him here today at X Games California. See, right there, that's what I'm talking about. He is spinning into ridiculous stuff all day. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be dizzy at the end of this line. And he got popped, too. He has a lot of snap. He's going very high in the air off the ground. Good nose grind across that sign. 
What's he got for this rail? Whoa, full cap front board. That's subtle. That was light. That was just easy. Welcome to X. Giovanni. Let me go ahead and uh, you feel me. You feel me. Hey, we're just a few months removed from that second place finish at Tampa Pro. Yeah. Giovanni just didn't come here because he got invited, and he certainly didn't come here just to skate in elimination. No. And that run proved why. Gary, you didn't like it. I, you I, loved it. I did. It was it was definitely special, and he's been special ever since he came onto the scene. X game mode continues. Run one here of elimination. Getting that nose yeah. grind across that sign. A lot of highlights. What was your favorite? Oh, definitely all the fakey, all the fakey nonsense he pulled out. But to end out with that cap front board down the big double set rail. That rail is no joke. That is not, that is not light at all. Oh, we had a reaction. We liked what we saw. An 83 for Giovanni. Good enough for second place here on run number one. There you one. go. There you go. Consistency wins championships. Oh, it's defense, huh? Defense wins championships okay. is, I think, is the way it goes. I thought I was on to something. You'd be a terrible head coach. <laughs> hey, hey, fellas. Consistency wins championships. Oh, man. I Jamie could, I couldn't Ford. even be a skate coach for that matter, huh? <laughs> 27-year-old Jamie Foy in his ninth X Games appearance. Big Six boy, boy. X Games medals, two gold, two silver, and two bronze. How's Jamie it? actually has one of the best heel flips ever. I was gonna say, it's almost criminal that he's this far into his X Games career and he's yet to earn the top spot, but that's what happens when you've got guys like Nida and Yuto in the mix in really the prime of your career. But Jamie Foy seemingly just getting started. You see, he started off front tail. He started, he started off back tail, goes front tail on that big rail. Jamie doing his stuff this way. Oh! It's nothing for Jamie. It has to be gnarly. It can't be light. Ooh, nobody's really hitting that out unless you got real. Again, similar to Chris Jocelyn, a couple of real street medals, one medal, but a, a couple of wins in our best trick contest. Yeah. He likes, Dominated best trick. He likes to get after it. Don't give Jamie an obstacle. Don't do that. Don't be like, hey, no, focus no, 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 your no, energy don't do here. Don't do that. Don't do that. Jamie Foy is going to show up, show out. <laughs> Doing that fakey 5 0 right there on that rail, being all the way backwards. Good light front tail fakey. It was looking good up until he tried either. I think he was trying to do back Smith on that sign. It was looking good though. That's the that's queen of all queens. So Jamie's score coming in at 69.66, good enough for fifth. Top eight from today's elimination will move on to Sunday's final. You heard Jamie ask, am I in fifth? Yes. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. What they give him? What's the score? Say the number? 69.66. Oh. <laughs> Gustavo Hibiero. I got to grow up. From Lisbon, Portugal. Just his second X Games appearance, Gary. It is crazy. I, this is the first time we've seen him since Norway 2019. You know, he's really dipped into the contest thing. A lot of people have opinions about that, but I'm happy on the kid's success. What's your, what's your opinion? I love the kid's success. I love how he is. His personality is cool. He's really good people. He just bought a house. I'm proud of him. Ever since I've known him, he's always been trying to elevate and step up. And that's the best part about him. But he will crook, nolly flip anything. Whoa. Oh, stop. his feet and then he touched the boats right there. Coming through 5-0. Last five seconds for Gustavo. What you think he got? 
Good nose blunt to finish it out. Not having enough time. It looked like he wanted to do something on the big rail. Who cares? Don't worry about that. He landed everything he tried. Don't worry about what didn't happen. No, what did. Really clean first run officially entering X Games mode. Gustavo, welcome back to the X Games. Look at that crook now. Look at that. Ah, ah, ah. yeah. Gary and I were fans. I hit the. Oh, I hit the. You seen I hit the. I hit that <laughs> thing. Hands on hips. Uh -huh. Hands on <laughs> hips. An 86 for Gustavo oh, Ibiero taking over first place. Uh huh. Yes, sir. Sheesh. Sellout crowd on hand here at Ventura Fairgrounds being treated to some world-class skateboarding, and it's just elimination. Yes, it is. Next to drop in out of Encinitas, California. NC. Perhaps the gnarliest oh. Jets generation oh. street skateboarder. Just literally slid out the gate skateboard in going. the game right Crazy. now. Braden Hoban. And oh, by the way. Isn't the rail based on him, the current rail? This rail, which we'll, he'll eventually get to, we're calling it the, the Braden rail. The and it's Hoban only rail. half of what he really did. Correct. Braden actually has a clip, for those who don't know, where he skated like one of those planters and went around it twice. Like, to, bro, he said, gravity, I don't know you. Don't come around here. And slid. Has one of the best flicks in the game to anything he kick flips into. He is catching that flick way early and putting it down. See that kick flip crook? Stop playing with it. And the smile on his face. He happy. He happy to be good. Oh, oh, it happened. Oh, it happened. He just look. It was a dream run for Braden Holden before he goes down, but a lot to like. And Ventura letting him know. Yeah. Braden Hoban just missed the podium at X Games Japan a few months ago. But he's got his eyes on the final after a run like that. That kick for the front board. Mm. Coming through back, Suzuki grind. Look at that good pinch right there. Man, that's how you want to do it. Kick foot back, look that flick. That's the number one flick right there. And then going into the kick flip crook. Woo! You gotta see the catch before he puts it onto the oh kind of a little went a little sideways, which I'm not used to seeing. Pops out of everything. Happy belated birthday to Braden Hope. Exactly. He turned 22 yesterday. I, I'm saying, and Ryan is gonna turn a little older than that. But just had birthdays recently. We're not age shaming here. It's not yeah. today. I am. I I shame anything. Nah, I can't do that no more. I gotta be nice, huh? I'll still do what I want. It's okay. Facts. Deshaun Jordan, 26 years old, out of Chandler AZ, making yes, his 11th yes, X Games appearance. Yes, yes. Four yes. X Games medal, including a gold he earned back in 2021. He's got a creative idea right here. Look, the Nolly backside flip, then immediately turning in. Let's see if he gets it. Yeah! Actually, I haven't seen him put one on. No, he should have hit the slappy curveball. That would have went different. That would have went up. Man. Deshaun's one of those people you just happy to see, bro. Just like his good spirit. He really excited to be here. Full cap back lip. He cut his shirt before he showed up. That I was going to say, can, you, can I that. just go get it? He got a double like XL, that. but his, butt, his belly button hanging out. He don't care. He beast. It don't matter. Look. Oh! Deshaun. That was the first time trying it too, for sure. So he's gonna try to line that up second line for sure. Uh okay. <laughs> wow. Take another look. That switch from blunt was not supposed to happen at all. Look at it. This is the power of his Floyd Mayweather looking legs. Then doing that full cap back lip. Yes, sir. A 75 for Deshaun Jordan, jumping him up in the sixth place. Well, let's head down to the course with Corbin Harris. 
Yes, we have a very special guest here. A couple of things to unpack. Firstly, you just got married, you and Chloe. Congratulations, Scotty James, five times gold medalist here at X Games for Snowboard Pipe. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, been exciting times and the X Games world and medals has been something fortunate I've been able to accomplish. Let's see if I can do it in the husband category now. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Scotty, also, you just became an owner of the X Games too. What do you see in the future for X Games? How's it going to change? How are you going to build on this? Yeah, I mean, it's been incredible to get this opportunity and come here to Ventura. And uh, yeah, I mean, looking at it from a different perspective on the sidelines, I woke up this morning without the, the nerves of competing, which is fun. But I think, you know, I could probably say that we're all just going to work together on building out the future. And it's exciting times and a fresh start. And, uh, you know, for me, I think taking on a position to listen to the athletes as well as how we can make an even better experience for the fans to come here and watch and appreciate action sport and love it the way that I do and you do. Awesome. Thanks, Scotty. Really appreciate you coming here to support. Back to you, Brando. Love it, man. Winter superstars coming out and supporting in summer, and, and then they become one of our new bosses. And gray hairless. Let's find out uh, if he needs a water or anything, Corbin, you just let us know. Who's we'll us? take care of Mr. James. Who's us? <laughs> Shout out. Who's us? You? You go ahead. You can get him water. <laughs> he got legs. <laughs> he, Job security is he, important in this climate, he, man. Got, it takes one person to hand somebody water. What are we going to hold hands, both take the cup to him? Thanks to drop in Jagger Eaton. He's trying to go double gold this year in both street and park, and he may just do it here. Look at him. The back knows what nobody else is really touching that wall. Coming through back tail. It's always something stupid, like a tray flip that get jagged. Like some stupid stuff, bro. Four Switch X Games medals Smith. in his 13 imagine, uh, career X Games appearances. Imagine landing the Switchback Smith at the field of tray flip back when they didn't know it was with precision. That's what I'm saying, bro. Why you? Why do the powers that be just hate on my boy? Jagger has been locked in all week at practice on this course. my favorite people, bro. I love Jagger. He's one of my favorite people ever. Jagger has such great perspective on truly growing up in front of our eyes and becoming a force of nature in both street and park. And I get asked all the time, do you think he's a better park skater or a better street, better street skater? And I say, yes. Because I don't know how you can even differentiate the talent level when it's connected to execution and preparation like this. Hey, he's been trying to get that double medal thing for a while now, and I hope that doesn't... I hope it does happen for him, but... You know what I'm saying? He's been trying to do that for a while now. Well, right now, he's just trying to earn his way into that finals group. A 76.66, good enough for sixth yeah, place. Wow. <laughs> so that does put him in to the top eight right now. Ralphie the plug in the crowd. <laughs> So Carlos Hibiero still holding to that top spot with an 86. This is my, this is my street goat right here. Shane O'Neal? No, no, yes, also. Shane O'Neal, owner of three X Games medals, including a gold medal won in this event last summer. Similar to Ashad, does not need to prove anything in any contest. Oh! Doing that switch, Ollie. To Into cement his positioning in skateboarding lore. Woo! You know, when you start off bad, you just, it's all good. Might as well finish it out, you go. Contest is, does not reflect on this man's skating 100%. at all, but sometimes he will have a good day. And when Shane O'Neill has a good day. It's over for you. Forget about it. Wrap it up. Go to bed. Just I mean, stop. I, I think we've been saying it since we saw him Bro. in contest, what, 10 years, 12 years Shane ago? Shane O'Neill feels good while skateboarding. Just stop skateboarding around Shane Is there anyone on a good day that's no. more technically gifted than Shane O'Neill? Nigel Houston, since I'm being realistic. The shot where, if I'm being realistic. Other than that, no. Founder of April Skateboards will have to clean things up for run number two. And then there were two, just two skaters left to drop in. 
Buto and Nija Houston. What do Uto got for us? 24 years old. Still young. Gee, I mean, old, older. 10 Close to my X somewhere. Games appearance owner of not one, not two, but three career X Games gold. And seemingly getting better, Gary. Now, people, just because his arms is down and he's relaxing, all the things that this man just did are super hard. And they're very difficult, and humans can't do them. Thank you for that PSA. I, I had I to was, let him know. I was going to ask you about that. He'd be too chill, but this man. What he's doing is not easy. Correct? It's not e It's easy for him. Okay. But if you try it, like he's one of those people where you like, I think I can skateboard. It looks fun. No, 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 no. Yuto is above all human entities when it comes to skateboarding. Doing a switch front tail on that big double rail. He's done, he did his thing. He had time left, he didn't even know he's supposed to wait up there a little longer, take a deep breath. Are you not entertained, Ventura? Of course. But to your point, there is such a- You seen how their energy was kind of down though? Yeah. They was like, yo, yeah. he chilling, I'm chilling. The relaxed nature in which he makes the impossible somehow possible. I will never get tired of. I had to throw him to Austin. I know y'all like, oh, you getting married by Austin. He's my friend since day one eliminations. I'm gonna throw him some Austin. I just love the fact that Utah out here doing his thug. Right here, jumping in that switch front tail on that big rail. Like it's nothing though, like Utah really composed. Said his aim is to reinvent myself and my skateboarding all the time. And, and that's the truth. I feel like okay. everything he does in skateboarding is on full display there. Yeah, it is. An 89.33 for Yuto Hora Gome. That was not given to him, he earned that. We have a new leader and it's a familiar name. Yuto in first. Nigel Houston. Been sidelined for most of the last year due to a knee injury. Let's listen in about his road to recovery in this athlete profile. 10 months ago now, I was skating this big gap to rail. Just had an unfortunate fall. Tibia, like landing in just a weird position and it pushed forward and it pierced through my ACL. You know, that was my first major injury ever. That was like a totally new experience for me. I've never even broken a bone before. Man, I was so bummed, but you know, me being the type of person that I am, I knew I had to really buckle down and take it seriously, get on PT right away, and that's exactly what I did. And that's why I was able to start skating after like five, six months instead of it taking a year. I still wouldn't say I'm like 100% right now, but I'm definitely getting very close. But this, this year, 2023, I'm not putting a ton of pressure on myself to go out there and like win contests and stuff. I'm just hyped to be back on my board. And man, so, so hyped to be back at it. Say whatever you want about that, man. Can't say you don't love skateboard. It's been a slow and gradual process to get Nigel Houston back to being Nigel Houston. But as you said off the top, this is Michael Jordan, this is Tiger Woods, this is... This is a fall. This is something you don't see every day. <laughs> Get the hat I'm right I'm still trying Nigel. to figure out how he got dressed with his hair that smooth. Remember he had the long side? I didn't know Nigel had straight hair. I thought it was going to be nappy when he had the Jerry Crew. Nah, he good. So okay. uncharacteristically going down right out the gate. <laughs> or did he get a perm? How's it? Clipping on the tray flip. Like you said, he, he doesn't want to add a whole bunch of pressure to himself. This is somebody that just came off, never having surgery, never being hurt. Just made that look that, like... Bro. He started that. Like a stock trick? He started that. Dude, Gary. Talk about getting it together after you... I'm going to go ahead and give you a two real quick, though. First the drop. Wow, look at him, doing a switch 5-0 on that big rail. 
The thing is, the injury obviously kept Nigel from being Nigel the last two years. A score of 81, putting him up into the top six. But healthy Nigel is a dangerous Nigel. Yeah. More from Skateboard Street Elimination here in Ventura when we return from day one of X Games California. Talking about him all day, all week. Well, Nigel Houston said that he was here to win gold. Whoa! There it is! <laughs> Kick foot back wow. tail side. Big spin out. Big spin out. Nigel Houston coming into the biggest show, the biggest stage in action sports at X Games and getting the gold. And that was the first of what would become 13 gold medals for <laughs> Nigel Houston. <laughs> Simply put, the most dominant skateboarder we have ever seen in the history of this contest. And here's a really amazing case study, I think. At 28, he's one of the elder statesmen in this field, yeah. but seemingly still the one to beat. We just haven't seen that in street skateboarding. No. It's, it's so an amazing crowd on hand here at the Ventura Fairgrounds, and they certainly were cheering the loudest for the hometown hero, Curran Caples. Let's hear Curran, in his own words, talking about skateboarding here at Ventura. I surf right here at Ventura Point. It's kind of like one of my favorite waves. Uh, yeah, I grew up surfing that a ton. So it's definitely trippy to be like skating and at X Games and looking over right at where I normally would just go on a normal day just to check the waves. So it's a, it's a cool feeling. Curran's surfing is seemingly always on display in his skateboarding. It was easy to see in park, but you also Ready. see it here on a street course. Ready. Four X Games medals, two gold, two silver. They all coming via park. The last time we saw Curran Caples skate at X Games, 2016 in Austin. I think he looked like a little ramp. No doubt, but you got to dust it off when your hometown exactly. is hosting the event. Exactly. Yeah, get that first spin through the Brayton Old Man Curran Brew. cleaner run than what we saw out of his first. Curran putting it together. See, look at the back foot. Oh! Oh, oh my. Wow, that would have shook the building up. He would have got that front tail on that fence. Danger! Wow. 
Well, you can't say Curran didn't leave it all out there, Gary. Try to. This right here. That's a real. That was a real blunt slide too. Where you hold it up, coming through, oh. dip for real on that front spin, popping in. Well, let's head down to Corbin, who's with Curran. Yeah, hometown hero here. Ventura has a long bloodline of really good surfers and skaters. What's it like and what do you think it does to the community here um, bringing this event? Karen. Oh, it's rad. I mean, yeah, like we, Ventura hasn't had something like this big of scale in a long time. So, yeah, it's pretty rad to be here and just be skating next games. It's a little surreal, but it's sick. Cool. Thanks very much. Good luck going forward. Now, we are very fortunate to be out here in Ventura, California. Again, day one, but the crowds have come out in droves. This course is perfect. Temperatures are perfect. The sun's out. Stop using the P word. I see the ocean from the booth. I we're know not, it is we're good. not in some TV truck. It we're is not, a good visual. We're not sitting in some trailer. It's nice out here. We've got the sea air out. Chris Jocelyn. And oh, drop. no. Was huge. And now he's got to hustle to get his Always board. trying to go big. That's his favorite thing. If it's gigantic, he's going to fly off of it. If you're just joining us here at Men's Skateboard Street Elimination, 16 skateboarders, just eight moving on to Sunday's final. At the moment, Jagger Eaton holding on to that bubble spot, 76.66. But I promise you, there will be some moving and shaking to this leaderboard oh, here in second and final runs. Here's Chris Johnson. Oh, okay. see, see, you don't just big flip after you don't get your life together, bro. How like, many you gotta have your life intact, and then you big flip. <laughs> Gary, let me ask you this. How many skaters have a throwaway run like that, seemingly through the first 35 seconds, and then just end with something like that? Chris Johnson? Yeah. Or Nigel? I gotta keep saying him, bro. He's crazy. Like, you already nervous. There's people watching you. You skate by yourself all the time. That was people watching you, and you got to do something different. But I gave him awesome. I like Chris Johnson. Gary like you. Y'all not supposed to give me, like, something to do with the homies. Where the enemies at? I need some ops. <laughs> Rate them a one. <laughs> I love when villain mode comes out for Gary Rogers. <laughs> so here now, Felipe Gustavo. Sitting in 12th, 68.33 on run number one. Had a little trouble staying on his board. If he can clean some things up, though, look out. Second and final oh. runs here in elimination. I'm broke. And not the start Felipe was looking for, especially when you're on the outside looking I in. I know. Back nose one. Oh, man, he's supposed to, he's supposed to turn up. That was like your cue to turn up. After the way he was like seemingly get through the first line, I thought he was going to actually put it together. But like I said, his consistency has been a little bit of a problem. the people it looked like. That's what it looked, that's what it seemingly seems to be going on. So Felipe Gustavo closes it out. Unfortunately, it won't be enough to move him up into the top eight. He was certainly a guy I thought for sure. Hey. You thought here wrong, is buddy. coming finals. <laughs> Yeah, thought That's wrong, buddy. <laughs> That's the truth. Take another look. Getting that kick with back nose bun on that table. Going back and getting it. Just yeah. for your own sight. After falling on just the, the regular back nose bun, too. Let me go back, yes. correct myself, kick with back nose yes. bun. Let me add difficulty to how upset I am. Well, let's head back to our judging panel. Highlighted by our head judge, Jason Rothmeyer. Jason, we're uh, just at the start of run number two. Yuto Horagome coming correct there on run number one. 
Uh, needless to say, you liked what you guys saw out of Utah. Yeah, Utah is just pure butter, right? Everything he does looks great. I don't even know if he pushed the whole time. He just goes back and forth and just does everything. Back tail on the sign, front tail on the sign. It's just, it's nuts. And how about Gustavo? Again, just the second time we've seen him here out at X Games. We know he's got the contest prowess, but to see him put that down on run number one, that was impressive. Yeah, crooks, nolly flip, tech difficulty. He's, he's, got, he's got tricks. Yeah, thank you, Jason. Yep. So our top three so far, Horagome, Hibiero, and Kelvin Hoffler. Top eight moving on, as we said, Jagger. Holding on to that eighth spot, but I do believe Jagger can clean some things up and uh, and climb up that ladder, give himself Ooh, a kidding. little more breathing room. But Ashad, where man, that, that photo, photo, that photo is <laughs> so good. <laughs> so Ashad is sitting in tenth, by the way, with that 71. Do we see him go back to the well or something entirely different something on entirely number different. two? It's Ashad. He's not going to do the same thing. He doesn't know what that is. Like, bro, what? <laughs> He's just gonna nolly crook a big old double. <laughs> like, a shot does but it again. Care. But to your point, it's like contest strategy. Yeah. Like, does he even need that? To no. Just clean some things up. He no, just he does. wants to skateboard. Like, he's just skateboarding. And if he lands it, he lands it. That's what his whole his whole mind is on. There's no strategy. It's almost as if the contest and the fans here are ancillary to the fact that he's just skating a course. Exactly. It just so happens that there's just bleachers and people and obstacles and X Games got permits. A shot was just skating. He's like, oh, ramp? Real? For sure. So that'll do it for Ashad Ware's See, day. See, I did my shit. X Games, watch out. <laughs> Yeah, you did your thing. You just didn't pick your hair, huh? Hey, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Danny, the Senzo Nation, let's go. Oh, he on X Games mode, says C's. I don't know who C's was talking about, but plenty of options. <laughs> Ryan DeCenzo out of Vancouver, the oldest in our field. At age 37. 37. Now he's sitting in that third place spot. He's got to be feeling pretty good about his chances of getting into the finals. What does he do here? Ryan DeCenzo always got to feel good. Does, he, does he up the ante? Oh, uh, I guess so. I guess so. Rhetorical questions are the best. Yes, they are. <laughs> That's right. Hold on, OG. Come on, old man. Oh, what the oh. Freak, hey. What the fuck? Hey, at the beater, honey? At the beater? Wow. What the bell ring? Ryan, it's eliminations. You're good. Hold on. Like, you're good. <laughs> Stop playing, man. Let's go ahead and look at that Sheesh. replay. Let's go ahead and yeah, view a couple of clips. Uh, you think? Mm -hmm. Good flick on that, too. Uh, it was almost like right when he got front side flip, he was like a tap. This was right about Ooh. when I completely reversed course on. Is he going to step up or yeah. play it safe? Nah, none of that. It's Ryan DeCenzo. He skated El Toro multiple times. He's Ryan good. goes big. Yes, he does. Ryan Get the tries hard bro. stuff. And usually wow, it works. that was dialed. That was so dialed. Three career gold medals. Yeah, we liked it. We liked it. Had a heat check right there. <laughs> oh, my. An 87.33. Just behind Utah Horagome. So Desenzo jumps up a spot. Yep. And I'm not even willing to do the math right now, but I, I believe he's already qualified to the final. If I'm wrong, I'll go down. I'll admit that. That's on me, but I feel pretty good saying. Go down where? <laughs> where you gonna go, gangster? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> about to walk out this booth. <laughs> Kelvin Hoffler. 
who was leading this thing early on run number one, sitting in fourth place with that 84.66. This will be interesting. How does Kelvin approach this? The I level think he's of consistency come out always on display. Something, something a little more. Okay. Something a little stronger. Okay. We'll start out, okay. You get the half cap nose up, so the back tail fakey. See it. Bro, he, he tapped the. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need to see that later. I got to see. Hold on. Switch front blunt. Oh, he refuses to fall. That's what's happening right now. He's, in, he's engaged. Oh, somebody watched that before you got to it. Kelvin was feeling himself leading into that. He has the bag of tricks. He has the prowess. He has the consistency. And right now, Gary Rogers, I feel like Kelvin is skating this course as well as anybody out here today. So, if you look, when he's when he's going now, the nose grind. I need you to stop it right here when he's popping up. Beat he the rail first around this area. Play it. I don't oh know. All you God. can't tell. He wasn't supposed to make that, y'all. We should he have never supposed given to, Gary a pen. He was not supposed to make that. I'm not good at circles. I've been told y'all that I've been scarred since second grade. I don't know how to draw a circle. Yeah. I was told not to bring up the, the circle story. Don't talk about camp. my circle story. Don't yeah, do that. And right. the shot looking at me right now. Don't do it. I'm not worried about nothing. Neither one of the goats standing in front of me. Jamie Boy and the shots give me eye the contact. Shot Jamie don't are care. Right in front of us, like they want don't to hear care. the story. I don't care. I do not. I'm focused. I, uh, Drew, you know what I'm saying? hey Drew, Gary is demon right now on commentary. Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh? he's in demon mode. What I'm off? Gary's on shot, demon mode. A shot I'm working. Let me let me let me tell when you right now. When I get off, we can. Gary's when never I get off, not let's on go. demon mode. Let's go. Exactly. I'm always on that type of time. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. Vincent Malou. <laughs> right now, Vincent Malou is sitting in 14th place. He needs something big it's right gonna change. now. I'm pretty sure it's going to change for him. To jump up into that final group of eight. Switch back. to He was dressed for yeah, wait, 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 wait. What He was on a job now? interview. Where now he's ready to get go? on. Look like he wants to skate for frog. Back. He put it back on the shelf. What's going on? Oh, we got that back over there. Stop playing. Okay. That's one of them local park tricks. Switch nose. Uh, hold on. Wait. Okay, hold on now. Hold on now. Uh -oh. He had the button up was probably it's probably holding him back. I don't know who gave him that hat either, but he's a whole different beast. Oh! oh! Yeah, oh! So I got the hiccups. Last trick time. Good, 50. Oh my, Bayon, France, stand up. Ain't that that farm town over there? You never been? Uh-uh. Your travels have never taken you to Bayon, France? <laughs> no. I swear I'm probably not saying that right. Uh, Vincent Malou needed that miracle run and... Got it. I think the only difference is, Gary, you were right. Just took off the button up and... Uh, Got silly. And his skateboarding was freed. Got silly. Wow, look at that back over crew. Not look at it. Let's just not. Switch nose one. This though. right here. That is heavy to want to do on a run, bro. That is heavy. Then look at the kick with front lip. So two nicking the rail. Hitting the bottom of the rail. Man. These stools were not holding us down. So I think he's gonna knock out that 57. Oh, yeah, an 81.66, uh -huh. good enough for sixth place. And with that, Jagger Eaton, at least temporarily, bumped out of the top eight. Now, Hoban sits in that bubble spot. That's Man, weird. things are gonna get very interesting here on second and final runs. But what a showing from Vincent Malou. So Yuto still leading the way. Hi, Yuto. With that 89.33. Giovanni Viana. <laughs> sitting in fifth place. Put down that 83 on run number one. Giovanni, of course. Oh, his neck shining, too. They be living good in Brazil.
Ha Whoa, hold on. Ain't nobody tripping about that. He just did half cap front nose guard. Judges, pay attention. Ah, uh, he failed. Okay, that takes away what he just did. I was about to say, that's 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 one of the rarest tricks in skateboarding, let alone competition. Oh, you were kidding about Good the chain. Oh, you see it? You see yeah. it's dancing too. It's low-key hitting the YMCA. So many chains need another chest. I feel like you just got at me right there. It's all good. Man. <laughs> oh. Somebody don't like fifth. So Giovanni will hold on to that first run score. We'll take one more look at his final run. Look at that half cab blunt mm. to fakey too. So 65.33 fifth place is where Giovanni will stay. That's Still comfortably dance. though in that top eight. There you go. One guy trying to jump into the top eight, Jamie Foy. Let's check out his Pacifico, discover more. Getting ready for the X Games of Ventura, I've kind of just been hanging out with my homies, skating, filming, and going to the parks here and there, and just kind of doing the same old thing I always do. I'm super stoked that X Games is back to a unique skate park design instead of being in the CATF. That was cool for like two years, but it's definitely cool to get back out to a crowd and you know just have a unique skate park to have a contest at. The 69.66 was his run one score. He's the sitting man, in 12th place. The myth, the big. I was like, what's the punchline here? <laughs> Jamie Foy, it would be it would be criminal if Jamie Foy does not skate onto the finals, but he's got to earn it right here, right now. Yes, he does. Everybody on Death Wish got good heel bits. That's insane. That's the standard. Yes, it is. Look, doing that fakey five, kind of taking his time, making sure his trucks is right. What you got, Foy? Them. Front tail fakie. Come on, still got a couple more. The speed, getting that back spin, throwing at the first time. Ollie up, what you got? Back. Oh! He got cushion back there, he good. He good, bro, he got cushion. Let's go ahead and give him a two on that one. <laughs> And Jamie Foy, so much to like on this run, Gary. So much to like. You just hate the bails for him. I want to see him land everything. Again, trying to knock out that 69.66. Braden Hoban sitting in that eighth spot with a 79.33. That's the bubble spot. He would need to best that score to jump into the top eight. Yeah. A 71.33 for Jamie Foy. So, unfortunately, Jamie Foy officially eliminated. Wow. For real? Deshaun, Deshaun wants soul on his run. Is that what he wants? Yeah. <laughs> Deshaun just stopped by the booth, just uh, putting requests in. I love this, man. We back. We really back, bro. It feels good. Everybody's hyped to be here. There was a depressed look at the CATF. Sorry. <laughs> Summer events just aren't right without fans. And they're back in full force here in Ventura. And that bodes well for what the rest of the weekend's going to look like out here. Remember, this is just eliminations, and there's not an empty seat out here at the fairgrounds. Oh. Gustavo Hibiero sitting in that third place spot. Feeling good for his chances to move on to the final. You gotta be kidding me. He could do that every time. Ball, I'm not praying on your down ball. That's rude. How? Don't look at me, Braden. <laughs> I'm acting up. Oh. He ain't letting nothing else. Could not flip. Water. Every time. 
Wow, and Gustavo. Please allow me to reintroduce myself. My name Gustavo. Oh! <laughs> Again, we haven't seen Gustavo at X Games since 2019 in Norway when he just missed the podium with a fourth place finish in this event of 52. So he'll hold on to run one score. Let's yeah. head back down to Corbin out on the course. Thanks, Brandon. Yeah, if you uh, don't know who the guy next to me is, you've been hiding under a rock. He's the snowboarder, snowboarder, seven X Games medals to his Nine. name. Nine? Nine. Okay, I've got the wrong information here, but it doesn't matter. We're going to keep going with it. Two Olympic medals. It's Danny Cass. Danny, I know uh, I know you love a couple of skateboarders out there in street, and you skate street a lot yourself. Who's your pick out there? Uh, hard to decide my favorite pick. I mean, obviously, Nigel's skating incredible. Uh, love the style of Curran. And... Um, I mean, I love watching a shot sin on a skateboard. I don't think he made it through, but obviously there's a lot of heavies in there. Chris Jocelyn, it's hard to decide, truthfully. You know what Gary Rogers said before? He said every single time a shot wins practice. He's the guy that you got to beat. If you're watching him, he's winning. Is that true? It's, he's winning. He's winning in life. Great person. Also, big shout out to Jamie Foy. I love watching the way he like attacks the park. It's like a different style. Yeah, perfect. Cool, Danny Cass. Thank you very much for that, Brando. Back to you. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, Danny Cass is a Hall of Famer. Make no mistake. It's always rad when he's out here watching skateboard when it's summertime. Yeah, yeah. So just a few more skaters left to drop in for their second and final runs, but it's still Yuto setting the bar with that 89.33. But this is where things get interesting. Braden Hoban, who has uh, quite a few fans out here in Ventura, is sitting in that bubble spot. He needs to give himself some breathing room. What can he do right here, right now, Gary? Land, don't go off, kick for back 50. Not even using the bump, going from flat. We're getting this whole final second run Everything via the Pacific Coast Skate Camp. Everything getting flicked into yes. except for that Suski. Good and possible like it's nothing with the real rap. Oh my. Kick with back lip with the precision, real skateboarder. America's on his feet. Actual ripper. Last 10 seconds for real Braden Hoban. Smile on his face. Graphic band team. Oh no! Falling on the number one trick he could do in the world. Last year's Thrasher Rookie of the Year was also a nominee for Sodi. That run shows you why. A little he bit can't of believe it. He can't even believe it. So, Gary, there are still some very big names that yeah. need to drop in for their final runs. Yeah, Braden ain't safe. That are on the outside looking in right now. Yeah, Braden ain't safe. Oh, boy, um, I'm talking scared. about Deshaun Jordan. I'm talking about Jagger Eaton. Oh. And now Braden has to sit and wait. That's so nerve-wracking. So 79.33, Braden will hold on to that. Can Deshaun Jordan crash the finals party and potentially bump out Braden Hoban? We'll find out. Whoa, whoa. Oh, they playing that. Oh, they playing that. Hold on. Now you got to land everything. Oh, he's turned up. Oh, you know he be going to family barbecues all the time. His 4th of July be lit. Shut up, Gary. Oh, no. No. Last 10 seconds for Deshaun Jordan. Can he make up for that? Oh, no. Oh, no. What could have been, Gary? What could wow, have been? But literally made it a vibe in here with that one. Before I let go. Hey! The DJ stepped the game up right before that run. Deshaun, Deshaun let him down. Stepped I'm the sweating. game up. <laughs> but unfortunately, could not finish. Hey! 
But certainly a fan favorite out here in Ventura. It's a... <laughs> so Deshaun Jordan, unfortunately, will not be moving on to the final. This is, this is shocking to me. I'm shaking the whole set. Jamie Foy not moving on. Deshaun Jordan not moving on. There's just something strange going on here. Yeah. Now, if this guy can't move on, we need to we need to look into some things. Jagger Eaton, we weren't just expecting him to move on to the finals. We were expecting him to not only get on the podium, but contend for gold. You think he requested this 50 cent? Oh, wow. On, honestly? Oh, yes. go ahead, Jagger. Here he goes. There he goes. Don't let him get in his zone. Uh-oh. Sitting in ninth. Needs to finish strong. Looks like we got one more. Switch back nose grind. That's my boy right there. There's someone at the door. Let's check the ring camera. Oh, it's Jagger East. It's Jagger. Can, Can he, he got, come to the finals? Yes, he got you Domino's may. pizza. Yes, yes, you may, Jagger. Come on through. Now he got DiGiorno's. <laughs> I got two large. Uh, wow. See, Jagger. Nobody else really has a trick on that brick quarter and, and you know Jason Rothmeyer and the judges know that too. Yep. Jagger needed something big. He needed to stay on his board, and he did just those things. That flow motion, man. Uh -huh. That was a pulse check. What if he went down? <laughs> Braden Hoban, there you see on your right, holding on to that eighth spot. No longer. Jagger Eaton jumps up into fourth place. Wow! What a run from Jagger on his second and final. Earning his way into Sunday's final. And there you see the embrace, knocking out Braden Holman. Braden's gonna be okay though. Yeah, in life. Not today, but in life. Not, not today. He's gonna be cool. He's gonna be all right. That's a good soul right there. He'll be all right. Streets to look out for him. Shane O'Neill. Dropping in for his second run. Now, Nigel Houston, who will be the last guy to drop in for his final run, is actually currently in the bubble spot. So, Nigel could potentially be bumped Ooh, out here. Oh, doing that switch ollie to the below. Big spin front board, Vakey. Shane O'Neill so far doing Shane O'Neill things. Switch back lip. Fakey run Smith, fakey. You can tell he didn't put a line together, but he's still just so good at skateboarding. Oh, switch nose grind. Switch heel on flat. Fakey tray flip. Just throwing a, a game of skate in between obstacles here at X Games California. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ah, he's the best. He's the best. None of this matters. None of it matters. It's what Dahl does. This is all great. He's the best. Wow, Shane O'Neal. Yeah, you got me over here clapping. With the shrug. I, I'm not even supposed to clap. I'm supposed to let the bands do that. What an amazing second and final run from Shane O'Neal. He didn't have nothing lined up. You could tell he was just like, oh, I landed something for sure. Flow motion on full display. Good switch nose grind. Oh. Doing things the hard way always. Shane O'Neal is a legend, period, point blank. And 82 for Shane O'Neal, putting him in a seventh place. And now Nigel Houston has been bumped out of the top eight. What? Whoa. So. 
Nija has some pressure to perform. Yuto will skate before him. Yuto's already in. He's our, currently our top race qualifier. We know Yuto's going to do what Yuto does, but I'm going to be very interested to see what Nija brings to the table on the final run of this contest. Yo, why is he that good at that type of stuff, bro? That's so blindside to, not leave, to do the 9180 switch by. This becomes a throwaway for Yuto Horigome, who will stay in first place. But now let's turn our attention to Nige. Well, I say that, but then Yuto will do something. Oh, just, oh, yeah, yeah, oh baby. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Hold, hold on. Sit down. Sit down. Hold on. Cords are coming undone. Oh, snap. Almost threw the bitch out there. Just, the as, stool. I, just as I said. I was going to throw the stool at him. Just He's as I said, to... let's stop talking about Yuto. Yuto said, no. You know, guys. <laughs> you know what? Oh, hold on. At least if you have a moment. Now, Yuto, of course, let's take one more look. Go ahead. Oh, look at the sugar cane across the sign. The good grind. Oh, man. Look at this. Gary's actually Look, trying to throw things. I was trying to throw the, the stool at him. I was going to throw the stool at him. That's I was assault. Throw yeah, that at that's him. assault. I was going. I shouldn't do it, but I I was going to hit him. I don't know how to throw it that far, but I thought about it. It went through my head. So Utah will hold on to his first run score. Okay. I wasn't going to commit. Last run of the contest here in Men's Skateboard Street Elimination belongs to none other then the street goat, Nigel Houston. He is currently sitting in ninth place. The top eight move on to the final. Nigel needs to bump out Vincent Malou's 81.66 if he wants to skate in Sunday's final. He's got to do Nigel things see. right here, right see. now. Oh man, pressure make diamonds. Pressure make diamonds. Pressure makes diamonds. Oh, he's the best ever. Oh, he's one of the best ever. You know, this is sickening. <laughs> this is like, this is not cool. This ain't cool. You're not supposed to be that confident, bro. He's Somebody bad. checks his lung and he's airing it, bro. Last 10 seconds for Nigel Houston. Can he close this out? Wow, switch five on that big rail. Nigel Houston is in the place to be. Oh, swag it there. Go ahead. Go ahead, boy. Yeah. I think he got his swag. Go ahead, back. boy. That's right. That's how you blow your knee out, come back, do your thumb this one. Nigel Houston is currently on the outside looking in. Wow. He you should see how he's pushing this back when he knows grind too. Big run, Gary. He needed that run. And you said it, some guys are built for these moments. He's that guy. He is that build. He is that 2K build. So Vincent Malou was sitting in that bubble spot of an 81.66. Nigel had an 81 from his first run. There you see both competitors waiting for Nigel's score. An 85.33. Nigel Houston moves on to the finals. Wow. And Nigel Houston comes from behind. The group. There you go. And that's exactly what we expect from Nigel Houston, and he delivers when it matters most. And our final results here are our top eight moving on to Sunday's final, headlined by our top ranked qualifier, Yuto Horagome. But the story is Nigel Houston, who got bumped out temporarily on final runs, did what he needed to do on a final attempt. But let's head down to Corbin Harris.
Yeah, thank you very much. Right here is the current leader, Yute Horigome. What is your strategy moving forward now into the finals? Uh, final, like I'm trying more hard trick and trying my best. We can't wait to see. Put your hands together for Yuto. First place going straight through to the finals. Back to you, Brando. The scary part is that Yuto has seemingly a dozen more things he could do on this course. And you see right there, he was kind of giving a prequel to what you might see on Sunday. Like, it's going to get way more difficult, so y'all better have y'all tricks. Yeah, was not, that like a little prepare yourselves? 100%. Nigel going X right. Games mode. Uh, truer words have never been said. What a moment out here at Men's Skateboard Street That's Elimination. The pores and tech. Stairs alcohol-free toner is clinically tested to visibly reduce pores for better looking bare skin. Over 100,000 five-star reviews. Thayer's, your natural remedies.
right, welcome everybody to the X Games Digital Show. We finally made it. Ventura, California, this is all about interaction, all right? We're the most connected generation in history. Let's take advantage of it. This is gonna be our show. You got questions, drop them in the chat. I'm gonna be running around all weekend long. We got special guests joining the show. We got Gary Rogers, Mariah Duran. I think they might pop in. I'm not sure. We're trying to get them. They're really hard to, to find, but we're gonna try to get them on here. Dave England, Tyler Beerman, Scotty James, Deshaun Jordan. We're also doing a kickflip challenge. Who can do the most kickflips in 30 seconds? Um, so yeah, that's gonna be insane. Today, Action Pack Friday. Let's take a look at the schedule here. We've got the eliminations under our belts, which were insane. And next up, we got BMX Street Final. Garrett Reynolds with a chance to be the winningest X Games athlete of all time. Currently tied with Sean White with 15 gold medals. Kenny gets 16. Can you do math? There are a lot of numbers on there. But look, this is a global audience. P PTD, PSD, ETD, CS, all of it's right there for y'all. And we got Pacifico Men's Skateboard Vert Final after that. And then we got Moto X Best Trick Final. It's gonna be insane. That's all I know. So where are you guys tuning in from? What'd you guys think of eliminations? Shout out to everybody that's been watching so far. I'm not gonna lie, you guys are the real ones because you were here for the eliminations and you would have saw Nyjah Houston almost not make it through. All right. Do we still have this screen? Is the schedule screen still up? Are you guys still seeing the schedule? Can we, can we, can we take that away? Yes, there she is, the magic <laughs> Mariah Duran. <laughs> Multiple X Games medalist. You just had the most insane second run, nail biting, made it through. <laughs> How are you right now? You know, I'm great. We take those. Absolutely. All day. <laughs> uh, my biggest question is, what were you listening to on that second run? Damn, I don't. I don't even really remember. You blacked out. I kind of blacked out. No, I actually remember like the announcer. I think one of them said Maria right before I did the front feeble wow it did okay yeah <laughs> yes, so that was <laughs> that was exactly how it felt uh and then wow this is so yeah. crazy holding on Ollie into the brick bank just because <laughs> oh then, my god clean it up so you don't remember what song you were listening to I I probably something from the two it was like a 2000s playlist so probably something from the 2000s I've been rocking with that playlist lately so <laughs> uh, yeah. What's going through it. your head after those first two tricks when you're just like, uh oh, this might not, this not, might At not the be end good. of the day, I was kind of just like, this is just working right now. Honestly, I was like, all right, just stay on, roll away, and Skate my goodness. I remember after the front feeble, I was like, I looked at all the girls like under the tunnel, I was like, oh my God. And then I just like kept going. Everybody <laughs> was laughing. Okay. Yeah, count it, count, one of those. It, count it. They just wanted me to roll away today, so. Oh, <laughs> banana, nah, though. Oh my gosh. That was nice. <laughs> banana, yep. Oh man. By the kick, oh. I was like, hopefully my legs will just let it happen, you know. That was with style. Look at you, grateful, grateful as ever. I was saying good night. Time to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the course out there? Uh, the course is sick. I think uh, at first I was, it was kind of hard to figure out everything, but the second day was better, and then here we are with the third day. <laughs> Amazing. What do you think about the rest of the field out there? Who was looking good? Shiloh was oh, going Shiloh off. Oh, Shiloh was killing it. I love that for her, though. She was just she was just killing it. It was like I was watching like a street part like just pieced together. Mm -hmm. All the obstacles are really sick. Chloe. Chloe, always killing it. All these girls are just killing it, you know? They just they got it going. We also got Gary Rogers hanging out with us. Gary, you were watching this too. You you weren't brought, you weren't doing the commentary. You were just watching as a fan. I was just watching. We got budgets back, so more people's hosting different things. I ain't got to do 59,000 59, things. But hey, Chloe's something special to the game of skateboarding, 100, percent especially when yep. it's skateboarding. And I think her young control, like you got to remember, she's gonna grow into oh for sure this beast that is gonna wreck it the sure. whole <laughs> the whole lineup. So. I think um, 
I, I just say, but Shiloh, she had these little jitters when she first got, because, you know, this is her first X Games. I was talking to her mother. I was like, y'all going to podium. She was just like, I hope she lands a good run, you know? But her mom <laughs> called it. She was like, Chloe's going to get first. And we're hoping Shiloh for second. That was like the joke she said. And I was like, it's going to go down. She's like, you're being so nice. And then when it happened, I'm like, <laughs> hey, I'm trying to tell you. Yo, what happened here with the bell? Well, that fake bell, that fake ass <laughs> bell got her. That's what happened. What the hell happened there? Are we on Twitch? We're on Twitch. We're I can say I could talk reckless. You can talk reckless, dude. This is the most like. Ah uh, shit! Yeah, this there is, you go. What all my black needs like, to know. This is, is. That's all my black ass <laughs> needs to know. Now I'm about to get into this. This is the unfiltered. Yeah, yeah bro, I was on little TV and shit. I gotta watch my mouth. Now I'm about to be real. But not while Shiloh skating, cause that's my little homie. But after that, we'll get to something else. Yo, this else. no slide is so good. So honestly, hey. honestly, so she was fire. the first one to touch it, and I was like, let's go. And then she was the first one to like land it, like in practice, and I was like, wow. And then kind of just like everybody started just getting hyped up. Didn't other shorty so try sick. To, uh, keep, she tried and fell, right? Yeah. She tried a no slide and I think fell. I think Keith did a few in practice. Yeah. And yeah. Then, like, finally, just I'm just saying that sign is like, it's good, but it's also. Oh, y'all got to turn up lights on, man. You gotta make me look pretty in this bitch. <laughs> hey, I can't look like this. Me and Deshaun over here look like we not here. Hello. Oh, oh. Y'all can hear me now. Deshaun Jordan. Oh, you just been on this whole time. I heard you smacking the outside. Hey, man. What are you doing out. over there? Shout out Felipe, man. Hey. Outside of Republic. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, hey, they got Buster. some. The strawberries is good quality. Yeah, hey, Buster, like, bro. Fresh. What do you get? Yeah, what do you got there? Tell us a little bit. All the fans watching, what's your uh, munching on over here? It's plain Jane, man. It's just, you know, fruit and base. But fruit Felipe, and base. Felipe Gustavo oh, opened Felipe. up. Yeah, my bad. Felipe Gustavo opened up, you know, acai spot. You know what I mean? Don't quote me on the address. I know it's in L.A. somewhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think it's over by Western. I'm, I'm not sure. But super stoked at it, bro. You know what I mean? It's, it's a cool thing to see the skaters, you know what I mean, do do a lot, you know, do, and expand outside of skateboard, you know what I mean? Become young uh, young entrepreneurs. <laughs> I mean, he's like, a great dude like on and off the board. You know, another thing, I don't like that we say, not, not that I don't like that we say that, because you're one of those people that have a great expansion to your whole plethora. Mm -hmm. But I hate that it has to feel like we've expanded outside of skateboarding yeah. when we do anything. It's not, but you Skateboarders know. should be able to do all this stuff, and we just skateboarders. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like if Deshaun want to do great music, actually be an artist, put together a, a beautiful playlist, it's not that he's becoming a rapper or trying to step yeah. out of it. He's just a skateboarder that's beast at making music and has an ear for it. You feel me? Like, I, I love that. Like, a, a skateboarder has an amazing acai place. That's yeah. it. Yep. Not him, like, trying to do a business exactly, outside yeah. of it. Exactly, yeah. I had to get into that real quick. Okay. My fault. I love Don't that. put me on the mic, bro. Well, you know what I love? Going to bat for them. Let's go. <laughs> Let them know. Me. I just love that Sean just came off of like this huge X Games competition that just comes right in and just starts doing some Acai <laughs> promo. Just chilling. Hey, yo, how, that out. how was it? How was it? so separately, Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I'm about to away, dude. dude, how was it out there, man? I'm so, I was sorry to see you not land your runs, but as oh. always, with style and grace. Thank you, man. It yeah, was fun. There. I was out there twerking. You know, I, yeah, it had me twerking over I here, bro. I was like, I don't know, when I show up to these things, man, like, I used to put a lot of pressure on myself about contests, but now I'm just like, I just want to have fun, and I go here, I leave it all there. Like, whatever happens on the on the course, stays on the course, you're going to be like, to I'm not, oh, I wasn't supposed to land at all. <laughs> but you know what I mean? God's willing. But it's all it's all fun. Like, I'm stoked. You know, I'm stoked to once again be invited to X Games. It's, it's always fun. It's like a family reunion when you get to skate these contests with the homies. And so it's yeah. another session. And like I said, it's so, it's, it's you know, it's all gas, no brakes, and you keep on going. It's on to the next one. So. You know, I'm not too bummed. It's funny, you know, everybody, when they see it, they're like, I'm sorry, but I'm like, yo, I'm like, honestly, like, I had to get tired. It's good. It's yeah, good. It's good. It's, good. It's, like, it's all know, good. We still out here. Yeah, but, you know, I I'm stoked. Like I said, once again, I'm happy to skate. It was good vibes, you know what I mean? I know if you saw me, I always got to make the song request, so I had to I had to have my king put on some soul, you know what I mean, before I let go type of I was going to ask you, you don't put your own music on in your ear? You're just nah. watching yourself hype yourself? You, you know what's crazy? Going? It's like, and a lot of times, too, like, they'll play my music while I'm skating, but I don't know until the end of the run I take my AirPod out because I can't hear it. Mm -hmm. I might listen to something totally different every time. I, I've never listened to myself while I'm skating. Crazy. Never. So it's always it's like lovely that they, uh, that they do that. Yeah, put them lights on. Oh, oh, there we are. Hey, there make a young are. man look <laughs> good <laughs> in this bitch. You hear me? Nah, look, look at this hey, beautiful man. Hey, from, hey, from wearing and chains to man. rocking chains, man. Look. Come on, man. Oh! <laughs> you know it? <laughs> I saw it on the page.
panel. Yeah. Uh, now we done blue Jack Matrani out. He bright as hell now. Yo, let's throw some. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm in the shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Take it easy on me. Um, hey, if, if anybody in the production booth is watching this, if we could start popping up some of these questions. Yo, fans, I see questions popping in. I used to have the control. I have all these buttons. I want to start, like, being able to push buttons and the questions pop up. But as we work on that, Mariah, how was it skating in front of fans again? It's been four years since the fans. Honestly, it was here. really, it was really cool. I mean, hearing them like shout, like yell whenever you land a trick, it kind of just gets you like that adrenaline that you like always wanted. You know what I mean? 100%. Like there's already adrenaline, but like when you hear people like, yeah, then you're like, okay, yeah. Especially with that last round when I was, everybody was like, damn. Yeah. You know, like I kept rolling away from stuff I wasn't supposed to. So I was like, all right, cool, cool, cool. Like kept it going. It's nice. It's nice. What about you, Deshaun? How was it skating in front of in front of fans again at X Games? I had a good time, man. I saw homies in the crowd. You know what I mean? Everybody was here. You know, there was no restrictions. It was everybody's out there. Sun's out. You know what I mean? Everybody getting some good sun. You know? So I had a good time. It was vibes. It was vibes. It was, you know, sometimes it was in the beginning when, it, when I started skating in front of people, it was like nerve wracking. But now I'm just like, I take it in. I take the moment in for what it is. You know what I mean? It's Love blessings. That. So where do you go from here? Like, what's, what's tonight looking like the rest of the weekend? Are you going to be watching? Are you going to be sitting on the sidelines like, damn, I wish I was in that? Or are you going to keep that positive mentality and uh, you learn know, and grow? It's so, bro, it's, like I said, man, I mean, for me personally, you know, I, 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 like, I do a lot of other stuff, too. So when, you know, when I'm done with one thing, it's like I'm one of the next. Mm -hmm. I'm stoked because I just, you know, I got music. I got all this stuff. So, like. Even if I'm watching the homies, I, I never really been the type of person like I think about. Oh, it'd be cool if I was in there, but I don't really dwell on it like in a negative way. I'm not really like, oh, like I'm just like, oh, the homies going crazy. Who's gonna win? And then whoever come out on top, that's who it is. But yeah, I'm gonna pull up. I think I'll pull up the rest of the night. I'm thinking I might head back to LA. Are you playing any shows coming up? Uh, yeah, you know, what I mean, I don't even know if I'm supposed to talk about it because I don't know if it's uh, solidified uh -oh. yet. But I might have some. Well, actually, the one thing is, I think I know Nigel and him throwing a party. I think after Street League in Tokyo, so I might do something there for nice. the party. Uh, Paul Zitzer hit me up about, uh, he said he hit Zion up too about performing at Tampa Am. And then I maybe, I don't know, I got hit up to like maybe possibly perform at like a Marnie party in the Hamptons. Okay. So I'm like. Any wedding requests yet? Not yet, I'm man. I'm about to get I married again so. just so I can Let me know, like, bro. Yo, book me. Pull up. Book me, bro. I'm going to sing whatever you want. <laughs> I'm going to write a song just for you. I love Same. that. Oh, we got top three qualifiers on the screen right now. We got Desenzo. Who's that? Gustavo. Gustavo. Oh, Gustavo. Okay, sorry. It's hard to see from here. I know it's bright now, huh? <laughs> How's it competing against these guys? Dude, Deshaun. It, bro, it's uh, like all these dudes, they all inspire me, bro. They all crazy. They all like, they, they, you know, they all go, they go ham. Like trick selection and everything. So it's good to see these, you know, be in the environment and scare all these dudes again because it just like motivated me, you know what I mean, to, to get up, you know, to get on that level. Do you, you think Gustavo has a chance of taking gold? I mean, oh, for sure. no one from Portugal has won a X Games gold medal. It, would, it, definitely, it definitely could be him. It could be for him. So, sure. easily. How bad does Nigel want it? I think for Nigel, you know, I kind of heard him talking about it a little bit. You know what I mean? He's a, he's a vet in these type of things. And or even earlier when he fell his first one, I heard him say he just happy to be skating again. Yeah. So I think for him, it's like, of course, he want to win. You know what I mean? That's 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 the Nigel goal Houston. for sure. But Nigel Houston, but I think in general, he just, uh, you know, he just appreciate just being here back on this board strong again, you know what I mean? And, and I'm stoked to see him skating strong, so, you know, bottom line, he definitely want that gold. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Gary had the, the funniest comment. He's like, when Nigel, they show Nigel and he's in this, like, gym short. He's like, yeah, he's pulling up, he's looking cozy, but his tricks, on the other hand, whatever you said, it was so good. I don't remember what I said. Hey, kind of okay, bro. Hey, he, he just, he just covered to the top of the door. I don't know. He don't what know what he'd say. He'd be blacking out. I'm looking at these he comments be... today. Like, yeah, let's get I'll be the seeing, comments. No, it's funny because I'll be hearing, like, worst announcer, most annoying, all this stuff. Like, I'm glad y'all typing that out. I love that for y'all. But I'm so happy <laughs> to be here. Like, bro, I don't know what I'm talking about. But I don't it's like. Not annoying, dude. Like, no, I, I, no, I am. It's all good, bro. Because I, I like. It. Nah, I got a disability. Listen up. <laughs> Check hey. it out. No, 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 I'm handicapped, bro. How so, do we get? How do we get the comments back up on the screen? Yeah, put the comments put, on the put screen. Put the comments bro. up on the screen. All right, Who's let's see what we got. The hey, everybody, y'all don't right. like me. I don't like me either. All right, we got some hate <laughs> comments. I'm with you. Whatever you say, fire me, get rid of me. I'm trash. All that. Who all, who all made it in the finals? I, I don't know. It's eight of them. It's a. Yeah. Uh, Hey, Vincent Malou got played. God. He didn't make it? No. Ooh. What? He gave Shane O'Neal like an 800. <laughs> Shane made it in? Black round tricks, bro. I can pull it up. I can pull up the list. Wait, oh. wait, 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 wait. So Vincent, Shane made it? 
Let me pull up what? the results. In the I... meantime, yo, we got somebody. Shane did make it. That wow. is confirmation. Man, chat's going fast. I just saw one. Someone asked for a sock check, foo. Sock what? check. Sock I... check. Come on, man. What you mean, bro? You see, I'm, I'm head to toe right now. Stop Damn it. it. I couldn't even fix it. I was about like, to pull him up, bro. Sucks. Hey, I shit crunched up, bro. I'm on purple socks. I'm supposed to pull him up, man. I got out of vocal showing, huh? Shout out to the stone, bro. What was the list? You, you find a list or not? Oh, let me get it. Let me get it. It's not all about me. You right, Radio Killer. It's not all about me at all. It's about the best skateboarders in the world. <laughs> but I be talking so much, so that's my fault. I wish I knew how to shut up, too, gangster, but I don't. And I don't care. Can't nobody stop me. That's the only problem. Oh, no, nah, don't worry. Hey, Anna, no, I'm not hating on myself. I'm just... All right, I got the results. What you got? Let's For go. Men's Skateboard Street, here is who, is make, who made it to the finals. In first, Yuto Horigame, Ryan Desenzo, Gustavo Ribeiro, Nyjah Houston, Jagger Eaton, Kelvin Hoffler, Giovanni, and Shane O'Neill. Oh, Shane squeezing her name. So wow, Vincent Malou. Oh, he kicked out Vincent Malou. By point .4. Four. Flip front wow. lift on the big rail, and Shane did a fakey trail flat. Wow. Yo! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And Deshaun Jordan, <laughs> what, what was 11th, that? dude, not 11? bad. Yes, and, and you know, you know what the funny thing is? Is I'm, the, you know, not homeless, I'm never far <laughs> I'm always right there. <laughs> hey, man, you got 11th that it's, it's that, it's that one trick, that one trick, that one trick. Uh, if I landed a 270 lip, I probably would squeeze in there. Hey, so we've been well, I'm just... back on my board. I haven't been skating. I had a crazy hill bruise, so I'm I'm happy. I'm like, nice. I'm happy to be skating, man. This is, like, this is my first, like, time skating like in no pain are you down to to actually participate in some more skateboarding we just launched earlier oh, today oh, the most kick flips in 30 <laughs> seconds we just the first person out of nowhere uh, some random person that we asked hey switch the topic hey don't play me gavin kish did 11 <laughs> kick flips i came in a long way seconds. man my kick flips is good now you could do heel flips you could do switch flips whatever flip I'll trick try, you want try you want to try it you want to try it? Right here? I'm going to watch him. We, I might be chilling on that. You're chilling on that? Chilling. All right. So then it's all on Deshaun? Him, you think you could take me? down 11? Yeah. Maybe I'll try. Come on. Okay. I'm you good. got your deck? Yes, yeah, right there. I don't got okay. to prove. Here we go. Yo, chat, how many kickflips do you think Deshaun Jordan's got in 30 hey, seconds? Gary, hey, don't play me. I ain't go. I ain't go. I ain't go. Yo, White Mike. Yo, look at this. Gary, Gary, look at this. White Mike, LOL. Y'all hating on Gary for attention. I'd hire that man to narrate my life. I think Bam was supposed to pull up. Thank you, Gangster. I see Bam Margera. He said, Bam was supposed to pull up. He was with the homies. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Bam pulled up to my studio. Talk about Bam Margera. Bam pulled up to the studio, bro. All right, let's get this uh, kickflip challenge underway. Bam Margera? We got BMX Street coming up in 12 minutes. Shout out Bam. Garrett Reynolds going for 16 medals, but before we get there, 30 seconds. Boy, you got a stopwatch? I got a stopwatch, dude. What? Look at this thing. Wait, wait, it's over <laughs> there. It's over there. It's right there. You can oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, yeah. You can go over there and do it. Yeah, maybe just do like, oh! Acid drop. Camera? All right, camera? Gary, you, are you counting? Oh, Rock wait, hold up. on, hold on, hold on. Let me up. reset this. Let me refresh this. Because I think it says eight right now. Wait, 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 wait. We got to refresh it. Hold on, wait, wait. Nine, ten. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Go down. Kick I'm, already, I'm starting you at ten. That's not good. Hold on. You trying to figure it out. I have to hold it. Okay, they're telling me I have to hold it. Okay, hold I'm holding refresh, but nothing's happening. Nah. Yeah, it's not working. Oh, yeah, I All did right, it. I did it. Okay, let's... Nah. Let's see. Can I get this nah, he didn't timer start the up, timer. too? He didn't start the timer. Okay. All right. <laughs> you could beat me up. You still didn't do a kickflip. All right. <laughs> this is what happens when you let me run, run right, all the uh, technical too. side of things. Let's anyway, I got my timer right Let's here. Go. I'm going to count him on, on here. Yeah. You ready? All right. Deshaun Jordan kickflip challenge. Ready, set, go. Yep. yep. Two. Three. Three. Oh, he's going. Four. Four. Oh, he's going. Five. Five. Wow. He's going. Oh, oh. five. Keep going. Eight. Oh, wait. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Tell me when the time runs out. Twelve? Is that time? Time! Bam! Eleven. Was that eleven or twelve? Twelve? I was <laughs> bro, you better. Twelve. Are we, are we saying eleven or twelve? Twelve, bro, give my shit. Chat, 
Let's hear it. 11 or 12? Was it 11 or 12? It was 12. It was 12. It was 12. Um, all right. <laughs> we have a new leader here. Our second contestant. I thought he was going to go 15. Are you sure you don't want to try this, Mariah? Should I try it? I think you should try it. Right, I'll try it. Yes, Mariah's going. We still got 10 minutes wait, before oh street. Wait, homie's in it already. Homie's in it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, Shiza. We got Oh my goodness. Zero. He still has zero. He still has zero. He still has zero. Wait, no way. He still has zero. He still has zero. He probably. He good. He still has zero. <laughs> oh man, it's getting out of control. Okay. Oh, try flip. Oh, okay. Did you try tray flip? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get Mariah up there. All right, we're going to let Mariah get into this. Oh, shit. Wait, I grab my shit. It's a vibe right now. It's going off. Legend. All right, Mariah. Oh, she's doing the challenge yeah, she's doing the challenge. She's doing the challenge here. All right, let me see if I can get a timer up here. Uh, okay. Um. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Reset. Okay, 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 we're ready. We're ready, we're ready, we're ready. We're ready. You ready for it? All right. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that was it, too. Three, come on, Mariah, go, go, go. Four. Five, come on, 15 seconds, let's go. Four, one more, nine, that's it, buzzer. Yes, not bad. Was it nine or 10? I think it was nine. Gary, are you going in? All right, Gary's just gonna do a kick. Hey, congratulations, that was legit. Oh! Wait, hold on, Gary, you're doing this. You got this. Oh, he crocs! We didn't reset the timer for this one. This one's a little rogue. All right, we're gonna give Gary four. What's up, man, how are you? Thanks for coming in. You got kick, you got kickflips by chance? <laughs> we got to do like bar spins or something for you guys. How to put down three switch flips real quick? How to skate three switch? Hey, thank you, thank you, Mariah. Thanks to Sean. Are we done? Yep. We'll see you later. Thank you. Always much love. You're the best. Thank you so much. Good luck. Congratulations. All right. What's up, chat? What did you think of that? Let me see what is everybody saying. Gary, everyone's going nuts for Gary. You gotta love that. All right, we have another guest here. I don't know if you guys can see him, but if you pull out, oh, there he is, Dakota Roach, BMX legend in the house, man. How are you? How's how's California treating you? Everything's great, man. Yeah, just uh, coming off an ankle injury. Been riding again for about like a month and a half, so feeling good, nice feeling strong. Yeah, so excited what, to be here. So what are you doing out here, mainly just taking notes, watching, yeah. <laughs> seeing what everyone else is doing? Honestly, I'm just, first and foremost, I'm just a fan of BMX. So it's of like course. whether I'm competing or not, I still like to be involved. So 
kind of just watching my friends rip. It's like, can't really ask for anything better than that, you know? Amazing, dude. And it's just been like so insane watching every single year, the progression just going absolutely insane. Thanks to basically all of them. Yeah. Garrett, Garrett, our Willie, the whole squad. Um, we got five and a half minutes until BMX Street. What do we think about Garrett Reynolds? He's tied with Sean White, 15 gold medals. Does he have it? Absolutely. You think so? All you right. can't count Garrett out ever. True. You know what I'm saying? He's He is like our steadfast rock in BMX. Like, continues to push it, continues to, you know, overcome everything he has to to stay current and stay strong. What about Boyd Hilder, man? He put up a pretty insane run at X Games Japan. I mean, if anyone can take him down, is it Boyd or is it just anyone's day? Honestly, like, I, I don't think you can count anybody out because the level of street riding is just so out of hand these days, as yeah. with every other sport and aspect. But it's yeah. like, you know, Garrett, yes. Other dudes, yes as well, <laughs> yeah, you exactly. know? So Were you able to watch any practice? Uh, yeah, I watched I watched a little bit, and then I watched some online and uh, just tried to kind of get a feel of some of the runs people were putting together. And uh, yeah, I like what I'm seeing. Who's, the course looks incredible. The, the course, course looks is insane, incredible. right? It it's looks like incredible. a video game. Yeah. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater in real life. Basically, yeah. I wish I had that in my backyard. Yeah, exactly right. Um, as far as who's looking good out there, it's, it's less about that. And yeah. the fact is everybody looks good. So totally. it's what's separating them. Boyd comes in with the speed always. Yep. Garrett's always coming in with the speed and the tech. Mm -hmm. um, so it really is anybody's game at the end of the day. You know, it's whoever it's whoever is consistent enough is what it comes down to. Well, no one's more consistent than Garrett Reynolds. He has won or medaled 18 straight X Games in that discipline. Yes. That is crazy. Yeah, That's how does, like unheard of. Yeah. I don't understand. Talk like, about longevity in the sport, man. Yeah, man just, just showing... Showing everybody that you could, it's it's doable yeah. to stay in it, totally. you know? Yeah. yeah, and he's so humble about it. And I guess, like, if you're learning anything from his longevity and consistency, it's just to do it for the love of it, you know? Yes. Like, you can just see how focused in he is on just, like, why he's actually doing it, not just, oh, I have to go do this for sponsors or this. He's like, I love BMX. I get to do, like, it radiates. For what, sure. What do you think about Rincon, man? How was that? That was probably one of the coolest things That's I've ever watched insane. in real life, as yep. well as one of the gnarliest things I've ever watched in real life. Totally. Yeah. You could feel the energy. Like, it was so quiet. You yes. Know? And I, I kind of like that because normally it's like, it's really loud and energetic and extreme, but like, you really got a feel for just how gnarly it was. With yeah. Like, dude, and that trick right there, 540, 540, 540 bar, bar spin. spin. Yeah. That was in. Insane. Have like ever... that's that's not a normal trick to be able to do in any scenario, let <laughs> alone down Rincon, a right. real street spot. That's what? real concrete. There's no, there's no, you can't resi that. That is real. So gnarly. What did you guys think of Rincon chat? Let's see some of this chat. Johnny, Scotty Kramer is commentating again, I think. Can't wait. Yes, you are absolutely right. Scotty will be up there in the booth. Shout, shout out to Scotty Kramer. Shot, dude, the biggest shout out. He is, he is the dude. He is, he is the, the man. He is the sweetest, not a like mean bone in his body. Yep. Just so knowledgeable, so passionate, intellectual. Yes. I a love gem of a human it. being. Just like yourself, man. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, oh. That's what you don't like to see, though, is the slams at RingCon, you know? Slams. I mean, that's why it was so quiet, man, because you slam it. Look at the, look at that wheel. Yeah. What? Yeah, it's not like you slam and you get up and keep trying there. You slam and then you're done, kind of. Yeah, that's like. just insane. Um, let's go. Let's talk a little bit more about this upcoming event. We got a minute and 45 seconds. So yeah. who, do you, who do you think the course plays favorite to? Like you said, that Boyd's more speed, Garrett's more technical. With the layout of the course, who do you think has the advantage? Between those two, I, I couldn't even give you a, a solid answer. <laughs> it's, you know, it's it's uh, like I said, it could it could come down to pretty much anyone, which is kind of some of the joys about these contests is like there's no clear-cut winner from the get-go you're not like you see people's runs in practice and you're like oh if they do that they'll probably have a good shot but yep. it's like at the end of the day someone might pull something wild out that they weren't even doing in practice so it's yep. like nothing's off the table really i'm so excited to watch i mean i'm always excited to watch bmx street but with the fact that garrett reynolds right now has a chance to make history and, be, and become the winningest X Games gold medalist ever. It's going down in eight, seven, six, five, 
before. Make sure to subscribe. Thank you, Dakota. We'll be back. See you next week. A beautiful Friday afternoon in Southern California. We are beachside at the Ventura County Fairgrounds as X Games finds a new home in 2023 here in Ventura as we get set to hand out our second set of BMX hardware this weekend. It is the return of BMX Streets. Hello, everyone, and welcome inside the booth. My name is Jimmy Coleman, standing alongside Scotty Kramer, as always. We've got Kristen Beat out there in the field, and, well, when we come to this event, we are chasing history yet again, not to sound like a broken record, but Garrett Reynolds. He's been extremely dominant in the 18 prior times. This has been contested. If he can get another gold medal here today, Scotty, he can surpass Sean White on the overall X Games gold medal list. It's insane to think that a BMX rider like Garrett Reynolds is on the verge of making X Games history yet again but this set this accomplishment is going to take the cake I mean this is absolutely huge not for just the sport but for Gary Reynolds and X Games in general and I am so excited to see it go down but it's not gonna be easy today he's got a stack list of riders and we're gonna be going over all of them shortly it's been contested 18 times there's been five different winners four of them are in the lineup here today and as you mentioned Scotty it is not going to come without a fight how does it work out here today they get three runs it's the best run that counts. But let's take a, list, a look at the list of who is in this competition here today with Garrett. He has to ride second to last. Why? Because Boyd Hilder, he got the win at X Games Japan. Uh, he was the last gold medalist in this event at X Games, so he gets to ride last. But you've also got Alex Donicky in the mix here. I mean, there is a... There was a laundry list of competitors in here that have a shot at this. Absolutely, but Boyd Hilder, you know, he's coming off so much momentum in X Games Japan, and this course fits him really well. There's a couple a huge caps that could potentially happen, and I'm sitting here on the edge of my seat. I just can't wait to get into this competition today. And I also want to mention Chad Curley. He's actually won this thing two different times. He's the only rider in the 18 times this has been contested at X Games to have beaten Garrett Reynolds twice. That is the kind of stranglehold that Garrett has had on the competition in the history of this event. You have to go all the way back into 2008, the first time it was contested. That was X Games LA. We'll see how this unfolds over the course of the next hour. We started off with an X Games rookie out of Kennewick, Washington. This is Johnny Rakis getting it started here. So Johnny Rakis is a, such a talented technical rider. And when I saw his name on the list for Rincon, I just wanted to be able to see him in this competition because this is where he was really going to thrive. He has so many technical tricks, and he is so consistent, and he just he's just rapid fire. This is perfect for his style of riding. Well, I just see rapid fire. I mean, look how many quick hits he's got right away in the first part of this run, the top third. Oh, look at that. He landed in the X ride, which is like his signature move right there. Bars into two big hangover. He's all about these hyper-technical combo moves. Bars with the pegs on the down rail. Look at that bar spin to crooked to 180. So Garrett Reynolds is known as being very technical, but Johnny Rakes, that's what he has. That's what he does. He can even take it all far. Oh, look at that. Bar spin to fakey X ride across that and hand cap out. Popping it backwards there, coming off of that volcano feature right there. So they're working off of a 100 point scale here. As I mentioned, they're going to get three runs. It is your best run that counts. But to come into this, you're a competitor, you're a rookie competitor here. And to put down that run, first rider in, that's big. Look at that bar spin to Smith to nose 180 into the bank. Like, he did so many different tricks in that run right there. If we get a high score here, I'm I'm, I'm not going to be surprised at all. I knew he was going to be do, I knew he was going to do really well in this style format of competition. I mean, he did a grind up that stair set to a bar spin out. And again, look at that last combo there at the end of the run. That was huge for the X Games rookie here. It's a 100 point scale. What is it going to be here for our first competitor in? A 77 flat right there. So he is going to set the bar here. Johnny Rakes. First run in, the 77 flat. We turn our attention now to Colin at Varignac here. He was the uh, winner of uh, Real BMX Best Trick that you got the luxury of calling uh, earlier. This Actually, it was uh, last weekend. On Sunday, you got to call that one, and yeah. what a monster performance that was. His trick that won was insane. It was never done before, and I highly suggest all of you go and check it out on YouTube right now. Colin starting things off with a switch three. Oh, no! That, see... That was <laughs> that's not the way you want to start your run. But I'm glad it happened at the top before his momentum carried right there. 
but that was just an accident. Somebody put their bike out there. Look at that huge gap to ledge right there. That was insane. He probably gapped out about eight to 10 feet on that one. And that's a pretty severe step down drop as well. Wow, that was absolutely huge. And look at that. And he pulls it right there, 180 backwards pegs to full cap out. Colin is such a talented rider. He has his ability of going huge, but he also can go technical as well. Send up to something off. here as he gets into this trick before time. Oh, oh no! Oh, wow. Look like he dinged the right knee on that one a little bit there, but waving that one to the crowd. I mean, how about how great is it to have this back out here with fans in the stands? Uh, the energy is just contagious. This course is amazing. These guys are going to be riding at their peak. But this is where things went wrong early. You can see that somebody put their bike out right at the last second. They knocked it out. Somebody wasn't paying attention. And uh, yeah, just that, that bike showing up there, that was the problem for sure. Watch this gap out right here. I mean, Huge you're, you don't get the gap right there. Look at these landing on a, perfectly on the edge. That was so close. You but, can't appreciate it from that angle how far he had to traverse out to land on a very narrow ledge. Yeah, so looking at the backwards pegs, the full cab out, he has so many high points. But this is where things went wrong that were coming right here. So you could see, as he got in this feeble, he's about to rotate around. I want you to watch right here. You're gonna see that where his front wheel hung up on top of this. This is where things went wrong for him. He did the spin, but look at the front wheel got clipped up on top. So I was, I was close. It was right. It was right there. But yeah, he got hung up. He got hung up on that thing and uh, we're dragging it for that rotation. I'm just glad he was able to get to his feet and be able to run out of it. Well, the good news is he's smiling after that one. Like I said, he looked like he dinged his right knee a little bit. But uh, oh, you gave him an awesome on that one. You got a new tool in the booth right here. You yeah. get to rank things as we roll through this competition. I'm glad that they gave me this because I need to express myself more. It's hard behind here. <laughs> you got a telestrator, you've got the sliding scale right now. You've I got feel all very kinds official, of things to play with here in the it's booth. It's keeping me busy up here, that is for sure. It's a whole new level of wires to work with up here. Chad Curley, we talked about this gentleman right here. He's uh, one of the former gold medalists in the lineup here. He's won this thing two times. He got a gold medal in 2013 in LA and once again in 2018 in Minneapolis and he's on course. And this is what he does best right here, these technical lines. Oh, look at that 180 bar spin up and over into that at speed. A beautiful switch spin over there. He's got so much style and the way he's designed this run so far, it's so diverse. There's so much different hits, and there's a lot of action with a lot of speed as well. Look at that strike to another man line right there. Again, it's a 45-second run right here. Coming down to the final third here with 50, just under 15 seconds to go for Chad. Wow, so this course is favoring Chad's riding style big time. We missed him at X Games Japan this year. He had a muscle strain in his right glutes and hip area, which took him out of that one. Happy to see him back in the lineup here in Ventura. And there you go. He's put one down. Yeah, that was a near flawless one. If he would have got that last trip, man, I, mean, I don't even think this uh, this react level could, could handle what I was about to put down on here. But man, that was really, really good. I was gonna say between that, the telestrator, and the sliding scale over here, you got a lot going on. Absolutely. You are in X Games mode, my friend. Yeah. So look at look at this right here. That 180 bar spin with speed landing into that. You can see he's got that free coaster, so his bike doesn't have to pedal backwards. Popping up here, tires across the sign. Beautiful tail up in there, catching pedals, perfect. And then right here, he landed in this manual, and this is what he needed. If he was going to be able to get in the top of the podium right here, he needed this right here, but his front wheel dropped down at that last second. So that was his only bobble, though. That wasn't too bad at all, but well, man, if he can piece it together, though. The judges gave him a 69 for that one, so that's gonna slide him in, in second right now, just behind Johnny Rakes. So Johnny Rakes sitting in that top spot still as of right now as we take our first look right here at Alex Donaghy. He was a BMX Street gold medalist from X Games Sydney 2018 wow. and a big drop down there. Yeah, that nice wall. switch Smith using the opposite pegs there. Alex has so many technical tricks. I think this course is going to be so good for his riding style, especially this row right here. Oh, look at that to manual landing in. Can he link it together? Going to the out ledge. Feeble to you, he just went, he just spun all the way around on there. So that was an easy spin. I mean, when I'm saying hard, he did hard full rotation out of that thing. But that was an easy spin, but it, there was nothing easy about that. But look at that, doing that 
toothpick 180 pop over. Coming down to the final five oh seconds here, goodness. getting tech on the rails. What's he going to cap it off with? If he can do another tech line right here. Oh, oh it's just the bike gets away going up rail on that one. That was shaping up to be an excellent run there for Alex Donaghy. Insane run. I mean, everything about that just put his signature touch on there. The way he was able to get that one feeble to full spin out of that, the Healing 540 out. Well, we're going to take another look at flow motion here. This was at the top of the run. Yeah, so that's a switch smith, meaning his opposite side pegs that he would normally use. And that's a huge drop right there. Yeah, that's check a this, big check this drop out to that wedge. Look at it. Doing the truck driver completely out of that up ledge. But look at this right here. This is my favorite part of his run. Landing in the feeble after that line out of the rail. And nearly a full 540 out of that right there. That's insane. Unbelievable riding. I mean, that was such a smooth dial technical line right there in the middle of the run. He's going to check in in the 70s with a 72.33. So that'll overtake Chad Curley right there, putting him in that number two spot as of right now. So you're just joining us. This is how it works out here at BMX Street. Nine athletes in the field. They're going to get three runs each. How long are those runs? Well, they're 45 seconds. We're working off of a 100-point scale, and it is the best run that counts. And speaking of those judges, talk about some of the things that they're going to be looking for. What are they going to be picking apart here as we go through this competition, Scott? Yeah, so when it comes to street riding, difficulty and execution is so crucial because you can see already the lines that these guys are trying to put together when they're linking the rails with the manuals to the other obstacles. That's going to be the most important thing, but originality, flow, all of it comes into play. We now take our first look at Devin Smiley from Suwannee, Georgia. He is a four-time street medalist. He owns two silver, two bronze in this event. He's got such a great outlook on his riding when it comes to riding street stuff. So links stuff together well, does a lot of fakey stuff, a lot of manual stuff. Nice over switch pegs, 180 right there. The opposite side pegs that he normally rides. Coming down to just under 20 seconds. Oh, beautiful. Popping up there and doing the suey no-hander straight into it. Pinching the bike with his knees on the seat. Oh, and he survives there. He had popped into like a fakie around that bowl corner up to disaster. It, oh, had to step off right there. Yeah, though. right there at the end. X Games 2023, his 10th appearance. He's got bronze for Minneapolis 28, and X Games 2022 silvers for Minneapolis 2017, and Chiba 2022 as we take another look at the run. Yeah, so here's another rider using that big straight ledge right there, that big like out ledge that drops into that bank. But here's a really cool touch. You know, he hit the back wheel, did like a wally up, and then threw the suey no-hander, hands straight back out of it. <laughs> Oh, we made it out of one piece, that's all that matters. That is right, that's a good way of looking at it. So a 65.66 for Devin, that'll put him on the outside of the top three for now, slides him into that number four position. So our X Games rookie Johnny Rake is still sitting in that top spot for now with a 77 flat. So we get set to bring in Kevin Peraza, he's three-time X Games gold medalist, those coming in park and dirt. Last couple of seasons we've seen him uh, put his hat in the street ranks, he's a very original and creative rider and just look at as you were saying it he goes and does that ice pick the 270 oh nice line and look at the speed he carries so much flow i mean he brings that from his park background but he's one of the best all-around riders in the world and so far he is putting it down he's tricks everywhere look at the way he's popping around the corners bringing some speed nice switch tail with drop in look at that 360 tire ball switch feeble 180 Coming out of that with a 180 out to Fakie right there. Coming down to the final 10 seconds. Oh, and look the, at that. Off the bench. The other way, too. Wow. What's he going to end with? Look at the speed that he's got right now. Nice wall ride right on the tower. And then a flare. Oh, the, it's such a small transition over that. I was going to talk about the wall ride on the bell tower oh over there. Goodness. He shook that whole thing. I wasn't sure if that thing was going to hold up. And I, then he comes back and does that again. I am mind blown right here. <laughs> Kevin Peraza's run on this course right here, it was like it was built for him. Oh, my goodness.
Somebody definitely shook off that dirt elimination performance but it wasn't earlier today. Just the big trick, Slow. He look at this technical trick. Switch to the big hanger into a nose three to 360. Insane. Look at this. Switch tail as well, dropping into the bank. From start to finish, Kevin Peraza had a complete run that had everything, a little bit of everything. The big tricks, the technical tricks, the original lines. Landing on that ledge switch feeble to 180 out but that last trick though was unreal another technical trick here nose yeah. 180 across it amazing i mean did you see that structure the bell tower shake when he tire tapped up onto that i was hoping we were going to get a look at that right there what is this going to be here for round number one for kevin Huge peraza score. we're in the 80s and 87 flat kevin peraza puts himself at the top of the leaderboard oh my goodness rightfully deserved i think kevin peraza at all of his street visits this course fits him the most and i think we are going to be seeing him I, we could potentially see him walk away on the podium today. I mean, we just saw something magical right there. It is far from over. This is just round one, but how about that performance? Here we go with Cologne, Germany's Felix Prangenberg. Oh my goodness, he just did a fakey Nolly full cap off of it. Bar spin to Feeble, 270. Full cap off of the So let's talk about Felix. He is such a technical rider, has his own style. He's got such a powerful, uh, look at that. 80 over that landing on that little bit of area right there and doing the half cap without like as i'm saying this it's hard to describe his riding style because it's such his own it's there's so much tech to it but he's got so much raw power as well beautiful 180 bars from backwards crook 180 540 over the plant right there <laughs> takes that one down to flat and that's going to round out oh the time right goodness. there i mean that was solid for felix prangenberg right there i he did a youtube video talking about the, how this run was going to or how this course was going to be perfect for these riders it was it, it lets them bring out their best riding and we are seeing it today and we're only in run number one jimmy look at this it's crazy. He, he just did down to fake. flat. Yeah, to flat. But he did a nolly full cap off of that. And look at this little bit of air he had to work with. Barely made it over there. His handlebars barely ba barely made it over that ledge and was able to get that half cap tailed out. But look at this, 540 to flat, touching the plant with his black say, back almost wheel. took out the fern right there. <laughs> but from start to finish, man, we just saw a full pull from Felix Frankenberg, and that was all huge technical tricks. He owns three medals in this event. They're all silver. And there you go. That'll put him in the number two position right there with an 81.33. So nicely done there on the first attempt by Felix Frankenberg. Well, Garrett Reynolds is tied with Sean White with the most gold medals in X Games history. Let's see what is on his mind as he makes a push to win his 16th gold in this Discover More presented by Pacifico. My name is Garrett Reynolds. I'm 32 years old and I'm from Tom's River, New Jersey. The greatest of all time at competition street riding. It's been cool. I've been invited to X Games for like the past 16 years. He's just so methodical and dialed at what he does. I've been very fortunate to get 19 medals in all the events and I have 15 gold medals which ties me with Sean White. Chasing that record for most golds. Oh, he's down but he's not out. I am lucky to be invited to two X Games events this year. Real Street BMX Best Trick Contest. If I can't get a gold there, then I have another opportunity in Ventura at the street contest to try to break that Sean White record. Garrett Reynolds chasing history yet again. I blow it at one, I got another opportunity. That's always good. Garrett Reynolds, the golden boy. And what's so crazy too about those 15 gold, two of them are in real BMX. The other 13 are all in this event. I mean, in the same event. I mean, Sean had those spread out between pipe and slope style. There's a skate vert gold medal thrown in there as well. So to do that mostly in one discipline is even more insane to me. Absolutely, just complete dominance. But everybody knows that he is the best at this. And look at that right there, that manual to switch downside tail using the upper deck. Look at the bar spin, the manual to bar spin in. To that steep drop down again. Oh, look at the speed he's bringing. This is, reminds me of Kevin Peraza's run. This constant action. The judges loved it. Oh, he just did a hanger to bar across that. Just so slow and just dragging across with that. Threw those bars around with complete authority. And wow. In the driver's seat thus far with 10 seconds left to go here in his first attempt. Oh, bars for to over crank arm. This is a huge run. 180 whip. Oh. 
Oh my and goodness. He gets a no Sabar spin. Wow. I mean, this is a completely different scenario than what we saw the last time with him at X Games Japan back in May. And it came down to the last run for him. Oh, by the way, I'm going to throw this one out there. In addition to all the gold medals we talked about, he's never missed a podium, ever, in his entire X Games career. He's never known anything less than third oh, place. Consistency is key, but look at this bar spin to manual. And he is doing the bar spin. <laughs> I didn't even notice you sneak in on the slide I, I, meter. I right? had look to. at you throwing it. I had it to do it. I cannot hold myself back. I'm from... not faulting you, sir. <laughs> but look at this. <laughs> 180 out of that nose. And there's so much momentum. This was mid run, bringing that momentum through there. But look at this. He did the toothpick hangover. But look at he's gripping in, sliding all the way across that. And then he's able to like nolly pop off of that, getting that bar spin. And to do this at the end of your run, a 180 tail whip down, down that force there. Just goes to show how talented he is. Okay, so an 87 flat is the top spot for now, but held on to by Kevin Peraza. So Garrett's going to check in into the 80s with an 82.33. That is not going to be enough to overtake the top spot. That'll wedge him in between Kevin Peraza and Felix Prangenberg for right now. So your top three scores in the 80s, an 87 flat, 82.33, and an 81.33 for now. As we get down to the bottom of the run order here, this gentleman gets to ride last in the run order by virtue of being the winner in the last of it, which was X Games Japan, it's Boyd Hilder. Oh, Jimmy's going for the big gap, start things up. The bar bar spin spin to tires. <laughs> he had to slip, he had to scrub some speed out of that one when he's running out of course over there. Oh, he just had kept up and over the circle rail. Beautiful Canadian nose press, so much originality. He just hit an over to pick on the railing there. I'm getting so excited, I can't even handle it. There's a lot that's happened already, and there's still 20 seconds to go. Oh man, Boyd is so talented. All around street, uh, BMX rider. It doesn't matter, street, dirt, park, everything. And he's got an original touch. Look at that switch feeble to switch bar speed. Kurt Boyd bringing speed up. Let's see what he's going to do here at the end. Going full speed. Feeble, pop up. Wow, that was an awesome first run by Boyd. So much technical. Just originality on that course today. I mean, it reminds me so much of Kevin Peraza's run. Yeah, this is only his third appearance. The first time in 2019, he was in Park and Park Best Trick. Uh, he was an alternate for Park, and he had six in Park Best Trick, and then he shows up in Japan for Street for the first time, walks out with a gold, but look at this, right oh, out of the gate. man, bar spin to tires. You can see how skinny that ledge is. Look at this. Got to find that while spinning the handlebars. I love the follow cam shot. That's Chris Gregson back there with the follow cam, doing that on a skateboard, by the way. He gets some amazing follow cam shots for all of these street and park events. Yeah, but look at this. Look at that 180 curve war ride using that rail right there to direct him coming back the other way. So I am so curious to see what this score is going to be. Yeah, I'm wildly curious as well. Your X Games Japan gold medalist rounding out the order here. Again, we have three rounds. We've just completed round number one of the three. So that's only going to be good enough for a 79.33. So that's going to put him in that number four position. So after one round of runs, it's Kevin Peraza sitting in that top spot. Garrett Reynolds chasing history, sitting in second, and Felix Brangenberg in third. Two more rounds of runs to go. We'll have more when we come back to X Games 2020. Well, here on the internet, you don't have to go to commercial break. We just get to keep hanging out. I just came across six-time X Games gold medalist, our Willie, Ryan Williams, no big deal. What are your thoughts on this street contest so far? It's insane. I don't know how they do it. Like, I'd rather a 40-foot jump than to try grind any of those rails, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, why aren't you competing in four events but not street? Why is that? Because I don't have resi on the rails or a foam pit at the bottom of the stairs, that's why. And what is the message that you're really portraying while you're out there? I know this one in particular is a little bit more emotional, and yeah, I'd love to hear more. Yeah, uh, one of my best friends, Luke Berlin, recently passed away from mental health, so I'm wearing his helmet in every single event I'm doing, and uh, it's given me a lot of strength. So this one uh, I'm doing for my best friend, and anyone out there, you know, struggling with mental health, make sure you go talk to someone, ask your friends if they're all right, you might help out. So yeah, just make sure you always reach out to your friends and family and give them a hug. It's a beautiful message. I'm definitely going to go out and do that after this. Who are you excited to see? What do you, what do you think? Who's going to take this? Is Garrett going to go 16 gold? Mate, I'd love for Garrett to do it, but I'm always going for the Aussie. Yeah, Let's go, right. boy. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Well, thank you. I know you're going for four golds. No one's ever done it this weekend. No pressure. You got this. Thanks. Much love. Appreciate it. Good luck.
Thanks. Good job, man. I think Garrett's going to have a harder time losing this contest than winning it right now. He's just such a consistent rider. If Garrett tries this, I watch how fast right he's got to go. And then Papa, wow. just, and he gets the win here. The first ever BMX Street at the X Games. I'll be riding until I can't walk. <laughs> Hard to believe that goes all the way back to 2008 X Games LA. But again, the reign of dominance that that guy has had on this competition over the years. 13 gold medals overall, throw in two gold medals in Real Street BMX as well, and he is chasing history out here today. We've completed one round of runs so far. He's sitting in that number two spot as of right now, but before we get into round two, let's check in one more time, or for the first time in there, uh, third member of our team, Kristen Beat. Yeah, 18 BMX starts for Garrett Reynolds. Of those 18 starts, you've taken home 18 medals in this street discipline. Garrett, I know that you're working towards that milestone of 16 gold medals. What is motivating you towards that? Uh, I just work hard because I grew up with a family that was really hard working. I feel blessed to be in this opportunity, and I just don't take it for granted. We were just discussing how you adapt in these runs after watching your competitors uh, progress through that, watching Boyd and, and watching Kevin. Do you have an idea in your mind of the adjustments you plan on making? Yeah, you always try to get, like, I always play it one safe run down, and you just try to add stuff to that. Garrett, best of luck. Yeah, he sits in that number two spot for now with an 82.33, and you see the uh, messages coming in from the fans right there. Garrett Reynolds is the GOAT. There is I no mean, denying yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what else can you say? I mean, an absolute dominant performance. I mean, to have 13 medals in the same discipline over the course of your career, as I said before, that is absolutely insane. By the way, he has the second most BMX medals of all at 21. Just he's two behind Dave Mira at 23. I mean, the, there, there's a pile of stats on this guy in his history here at the X Games. As we get set to go back up to the top of the order here and bring back in an X Games rookie, Johnny Rakus. He was in that top spot for a while. He now finds himself in the number five position. Yeah, and I truly believe that Johnny Rakus has an opportunity to walk out of here with a medal today because of his style of riding, especially the way that we're seeing the judges. They are, they are liking seeing so many hits on the course. They want to see you ride everything. They want to see you bring momentum. And look at that. Oh. He just went for the 360 crank flip going down that, but he just couldn't get his feet back on the pedals. So if you're just joining us, this is round two out of three. The best possible run score you can get here in BMX Street is 100 points. It is your best run that counts. We just started round at number two here. So Mr. Rakes is going to have to hold on to that number five spot for now and get it done in that third and final run there. But, I mean, again, for you to come in as a rookie and to put down the run that he did in that opening round, first guy out of the gate, you're setting the bar for everything, that was huge. Absolutely huge. And he's got such a confident riding style, too, with his tricks. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really curious to see what he does in uh, run number three. We take our second look at Colin Veraniak. He had a little bit of a hiccup there at the beginning of the run, at the end of the run, looking to clean that up and jump out from that number nine spot for now. So starting things off better. At least he doesn't have to worry about that play coming out or getting him on this one. That definitely messes up your train of thought. Looks like Collins sending the gap. Nice gap to tires for him as well. The speed that he's got as he carves out on that quarter pipe there underneath the bell tower. Oh, no, the Man. step up. Yeah, going for that 180 tail whip, trying to catch the pedals, being able to uh, get on top of that bike and correct the bike, too, to get it uh, straight again. But very hard trick, especially bringing that kind of speed. So it looks like he's waving this off for the last bit of time right there. Just going to go get reset right there and focus on that third and final run. My mom, my dad, you guys. So it's Kevin Peraza, Garrett Reynolds, and Felix Prangenberg, your top three from that opening round. 87, 82.33, and 81.33, our top scores as of right now.
See Chad Curley in the background there. That is who is due up next. Chad currently sits a couple spots down there. He's in that number seven spot. Yeah, so Chad's first run was really good. At the end, he just dropped that manual, and that'll be a game changer for him if he lands it. Nice molly bar spin to the lower portion of the course. Big truck driver to flat down the double set. And that's the speed to the step up euro. Nice high four. He's got such a good spin style. Oh, the bar spin and manual down. Oh, into a no spin to the bar. Wow, that was a huge, <laughs> huge combination right there. Wow. Way to book in that combo. Look at the balance oh, coming out of Biggie. It's, it's non-stop. What do you do with the last five seconds, Scotty? It's non-stop. He's got what time for one more. Nice 360 flow oh, over it. I can't Switch wait 360. Wow. to see the replays. Chad Curley, ladies and gentlemen. Seven total X Games medals, two gold, two silver, three bronze. He's got two gold in street, a silver, and two bronze. He's got a real BMX silver and a real BMX bronze as well. Let's take another look here, Scotty. Yeah, so this is where you start things off with that Nolly bar spin dropping right there, just popping off of the front end. But man, the rest of his run was so crazy. Nice truck driver down the double set. He has, but that one combination he did, that manual combination, that stole the show for sure. I mean, you are stealthy with that slide. I didn't even see you sneak in <laughs> another awesome. I look away for two seconds and you're over there with the technology. Yeah, and check this out. To nose, to bar <laughs> spin, bringing that speed, covering nearly half of the course. I can't handle I, it. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be doing that a it's lot an of awesome, and rightly so. Oh man, what's okay? So he has 69 pre runs so now. He that'll give him that'll give him a 78.66. So that only bumps him up two spots. Not going to get him into the medals for right now. However, that gets him from seventh into fifth right there. Wow, I mean, so smooth. Those manual lines, nicely done there by Chad Curley. Here comes Alex Donicky. Alex sits in that number seven spot as of right now. So you got to get into the 80s if you're going to crack into the medals here. He has such a great run with so many technical tricks. I'm hoping more of the same, you know, it, it fell apart at the end with like one final trick. So I was hoping he could get all the way out there again. Nice switch people up to truck driver. I mean, that is a lofty stair set to be grinding up right there. Oh, absolutely. Bring that momentum over to the outlet. Oh my goodness, he just upped the ante from the last time he ended up doing two to people. Just adding more technicality here on his second attempt as we come down to 15 seconds. Nice switch people, switch bar. I love that two big 180 hangover. Oh, beautiful pegs over. Toothpick. Time for one more here. He puts it down at the end. 180. At the buzzer right there. Wow, full pull for Alex Donicky. I am. Again, he owns a gold in this event. He got it in X Games Sydney in 2018. He missed X Games 2022 last year with a torn left meniscus. Yeah, so that's how we started off his run with that huge switch of Smith again. Popping down into that small concrete bank. You can see the, the momentum that just carries him to the stop there. But he's so good at these combinations, grinding up across, locking into the manual on the back wheel, going to two, to feeble, and then the full spin out of there. That is insane that he can do that off that small ledge. But this was his final trip. Up crank arm grind, landing on the dull peg, and doing the hard 180 out. That's when you spin the 180. 80 away from the rail. So he had a 72.33 the first go around. He's going to crack into the 80s. However, that 80 flat is only going to be good enough to knock on the door of podium contention. That jumps him up into that number four spot with one more run to go for him later on. Devin Smiley coming your way next. Devin sits in that number eight position looking to shake off that 65.66. Again, three runs. Runs are 45 seconds in length. It's a 100-point scale out here today, and he's in for a second attempt. Devin's got such a smooth style. Everybody in the BMX world just loves watching this guy ride. They can watch him do whatever trick he wants. It's just so enjoyable because of his smooth style. Pegs up to manual, dropping into a manual. Popping up to pegs to hard 180. Wow, that was.
is a serious combination. How about that for some bike control skills and some balance? Oh, similar line to earlier, throwing the hands back off of that tire ride. See, like, just how he crossed on that sign, because he tapped his back wheel on there. He looks so good at whatever he does on his bike. Oh, that was insane. 180 over, switch backwards pegs. And that will be time. That will do it for Devin Smiley's second attempt. So that 65.66 from round one has him in that number eight spot. It's all in the hands of the judges. Now watch this one. Going up the ledge into a manual, down the transition. And he's like a brakeless rider. So you know, being able to adjust with that momentum, riding up and down that transition like that on the back wheel, oh, it's, it's, it's almost a superpower. But look at this final trick. Look at that, 180 over switch backwards pegs, and then he did an inward 180 out, inward 180 out, which would be a switch 180. Okay, so we wait for the score here. Scores in the 80s go down to that number four spot for now. Alex Donicky sitting on the outside looking in that number four position. Kevin Peraza still sitting in that top spot. Who is due up next? So the judges taking their time talking this one over. What do you think they're uh, discussing right there? It is an 81.66, and that's going to be enough to put him into the medals right now. Devin Smiley just overtakes Felix Prangenboom, puts himself in that number three spot. I think I'm going to go and say it. This could be the best street competition we've ever had. We're seeing so much action right now. Well, everyone is fired up on X Games' new home here in Ventura. Let's hear from Kevin Peraza about his excitement to have fans back in the house in this Discover More presented by Pacifico. I'm Kevin Peraza. I am 28 years old. I'm from Tucson, Arizona. Fun is the name of the game when it comes to Kevin Peraza. So the last few years of X Games have been a little bit different with the pandemic, yet really incredible with everyone and all the level of riding. But I'm looking forward to this new venue in Ventura, California. More crowd, more people feeding off the energy, which is something I thrive off of. That smile's just infectious. One thing that I truly enjoy about riding a new course is just finding things that are not normally ridden, Pedal grind up and over the roller. He's so creative, he's so talented. I want to be a highlight, I want to be able to stand out and show my personality through my riding, through the tricks that I decide to do and, and how I do them. Win or lose, my goal is to always treat people to something different, unique, and, uh, and my personal flavor to it all. Another impressive ride for Mr. Kevin Peraza. So look at that, <laughs> more messages coming in from the fans. Kevin Peraza coming out with heat like that in round one, two. Sheesh, you are absolutely right. By the way, I'm gonna throw this one out there. He's in the top spot for now. No rider owns a gold medal in street, dirt, and park, by the way. So we could see some more history in the making out here at BMX Street. And if there's a rider to do it, it's this guy right here. And he is going to be having fun. I jinxed him. I think it was I the did announcer too. Curse. I think I did too right there. But okay. going back to that point I was making, Kevin does have two part goals and he owns a dirt gold, so he's in the top spot for now. So if that were to hold up, he would be the first BMX rider to have a street dirt and park gold medal to his name. Look at him still just cruising around, and, just, and, and you, we get to see some more variety of them too right now. Because the truth is, once you're in the top, if you if you get uh, first place on your first run right there, now the pressure's off. Now yeah. you get to go experiment with different kind of lines and different kind of tricks. You know, we're seeing a lot right now. And just, you know, going back to what I said in the first round, just that creativity, just the unique way that he will look at the course, whether it's street, whether it's park. I mean, just watching him at park practice yesterday, he was phenomenal. We'll see him over there tomorrow. And, uh, you know, we saw him earlier today in uh, BMX Dirt Elimination. It didn't work out over there. But, I mean, you want to talk about a bounce back to find yourself in the top spot in round one. So we'll have to see what happens there. We get to that third and final round. Felix Prangenberg was in the top three. He now finds himself on the outside looking in in the number four spot after Devin Smith finally overtook that spot. He's in for attempt number two. Uh, starting things off similar to what he did in the first run with that nolly full cap. Uh, dabbing a foot right there. So when you dab a foot, you know, the judges are definitely going to be using that against you. We want to see you keep it, uh, you know, the body parts on the bike, not touch the ground to uh, keep yourself upright. Oh, but he just did the five cap out of that. That was amazing. So similar to what we were saying about Kevin, you know, even though Kevin had a crash, you know, 
Felix did put a foot down, but still he could get a high score in this run. I mean, yeah, I mean, you've got 45 seconds there. I mean, they're looking for the oh, the entirety of what you do in the span of that 45 seconds. I mean, we talked about originality, you talked about difficulty, the tricks, progression, pushing the levels of sport, also use of course as well. They want to see you use everything that the course has to offer feature-wise. Oh, but look how huge this was right here, 180, and then 540 cap off of that short little distance right there. Like, only he has enough bike control to confidently get over that and be able to spin like that. So that one's going to be a toss out score for him that 81.33 so just one spot out for now with one more chance to jump back in as we get down to the final two in the run order here for this round this gentleman chasing history we mentioned at the top of the show finds himself in the number two spot as of right now as we bring back in garrett reynolds I said in the, in the beginning of this one it's not going to be easy for him but he can do this and oh, it's getting Locked up there. That's a, such a technical line right there. To do that manual, to switch downside tail whip off of that bank in that little tight area. Like there's only a few feet right there. So, so that'll come down to the third run for him. And if you're thinking like, okay, that's tough. I mean, we've seen Garrett in that position time and time again over the years. And if there's one guy out here that can deliver when it's all on the line and it comes down to that last run, it's that gentleman right there. So this is far from over. Yeah, there is no doubt about that. I mean, I have full faith in Garrett being able to come back, not only get that trick, but he could definitely get himself on top of the podium and break that record to him. It's almost like he thrives on it from what we've seen out of him in the past. So it'll bring us down to Boyd Hilder right here. He's going to round out the run order here. This is round two. This is the bottom half of round two out of three. It is the best run that counts out here, BMX Street Final. Before we hand out the medals, why does he get to ride last? Because he was the winner of BMX Street at X Games Japan back in May, and he's in for his second run. He did it again! Yeah. Oh, oh, the tires down that ledge is insane. Oh, I love that hand cap, love that full speed. But just look at his run design. Look at the momentum he brings into it this run. Over two thick back. Oh, 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 so scary. Yeah. That is such a scary trick right there. We just precariously hang on the edge of that fence. So, boys' run reminds me of uh, Kevin Peraza's run with the nonstop action, bringing the momentum, bringing the flow, bringing the energy to his run. But he actually had a little bit of a mess up in his uh, first run. <laughs> nice. Evil to Smith to burst and across that huge. You see him claiming that one. He threw the hand up after that one and gave a little wave to the crowd over there in the corral oh, as he wow. rode by. What a run there by Boyd Hilda. By the way, for Japan, he got in off the alternate list. He had to run first in that competition and he led the entire competition and it held up for gold back in May. But just look at this slow mo right here doing the bar spin gap, landing on that ledge. And he's already looking for the next obstacle right there. And just smiling the whole way through it right there but watch this uh, this trick i mean i think for me i Yeek. love this trick because now i know how hard that trick is just to do that on a spine is hard and to do that on a railing when you have an awning above your head that's insane but what a way to end the run with that feeble to smith the bar spin and the reaction right there at the end of that run says hey, it nice. all <laughs> No, you're good, bro. Still See him and Kevin Peraza there talking it over. What is this going to be? An 86.33. It's not going to overtake the lead. However, it'll put him in that number two position. So that'll bump Garrett Reynolds down to that number three spot. So two rounds of runs are in the books. We have one more round to go. It's an all-out fight for gold. We'll see who takes it home when we come back to Ventura. I am the happiest human in California right now because I'm surrounded by the smilingest family on the planet. The Peraza clan is in the house. Yeah. How excited are you guys to watch Kevin, not only on top, but on top in street? I'm so happy. I'm so happy always watching my boy. Yeah. We want the gold and the street also. So. You want a gold and street? Otherwise, what happens? Is he in timeout? Are you not going to cook him dinner? Yeah. How, how proud are you guys of, of your older bro? I'm pretty proud. He's he's goat. <laughs> he's my hero. How was it? How was it growing up with your hero over there? Yeah, there he is. Get over here, Kevin. Look at this wide smiling. He's awesome. My oh, friend. look at this family. Bring it in. Bring it in for the real thing. Good vibes. That's what it's all about. It's about the love. It's about the love. 
What was it like? What was it like growing up with Kevin as an older brother? Did he? Uh, did you beat you up a lot? Yeah, he did. What? <laughs> no, <I'm kidding>. no. <laughs> no, and you guys all right too. What's it all? What's it like just watching here? Did you get in the course at all? I snuck in a little laps <laughs> yesterday. It was really fun though. And do you guys get nervous out here watching, or is it just constant smiles? Because that's the only thing I've ever seen you guys do. Um, we always I'm, enjoying. I'm oh. relaxed when Kevin is relaxed. I'm relaxed too. And he's so happy doing this, so we are happy too. We're all happy here. Well, thank you guys so much yeah. for taking the time. Good luck to Kev. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Much love. Welcome back beachside here at the Ventura County Fairgrounds. It is X Games 2023 and the conclusion, the third and final round here of the BMX Street Final. Welcome back inside the booth, everyone. Jimmy Coleman alongside Scotty Kramer. Well, we have a dogfight going on right here. We talked about Garrett at the top of the show. He's chasing that record, trying to make it 16 gold. He sits in that number three spot right now. You've got your defending gold medalist from Japan, Boyd Hilder, sitting in that number two spot. And Kevin Peraza, he owns a couple of park and a dirt gold. He's never medaled in street. He's sitting in the top spot. Yeah, we have a new story on our hands. Yeah. I mean, if Kevin can get this one, he's going to be the only rider to do street, park, and dirt. That's insane. To win all of those, to get gold medal, that means he would be the most well-rounded competition rider of all time at X Games, which is unbelievable. Yeah, if this holds up, this would be Boyd's second medal overall. And then as for Garrett, uh, we talked about this earlier, outside of the gold medal chase that's going on right now, trying to surpass Sean White, he's never known anything less than third place in any event he's entered in the next game. He's never missed the podium. That streak in of itself is completely amazing as well. Absolutely. And I've been saying this one, I, I felt that this course was going to bring the best out of these riders, and you could just feel the energy here. These guys are loving it. Look at all the Garrett Reynolds love coming in right here. I love that Garrett Reynolds has been dominating hashtag X Games BMX Street since I graduated college. I'm that old, and I love his dedication to his crap. You're not that old. <laughs> I almost dated myself by saying that right there. So here we go, it's the third and final round. If you're just joining us, this is the last round of runs. Everyone gets one more crack at it here. Working off of a 100 point scale, it is the best run that counts. As we said, it's Peraza, Hilder, and Reynolds. You're one, two, three, but this thing is still up for grabs as we started off for the third and final time with our X Games rookie, it's Johnny Rakes. Johnny Rakes is so glad to be here at X Games today. Oh, start things off with a huge trip. You know, just having some issues in run two and now run three, but getting right back up and saying, you know what, I'm going to use all of this time. Oh, look at that bar spin to backwards switch spin 180. Picks up the bar spin X ride to crank flip A. Wow. He makes it difficult for me to do my job. I'll just say that. Throw in some innovation to mix. Look how fast he whips around, stepping down to flat in front of that red curve. Yeah, he does so many crank hooks in his uh, in all this riding, and the way he fits it in and out of tricks is insane. I love that one right there. That 180 bars from the backwards X ride. I mean, for things to go south right out the top of the run, and then to come back and salvage the rest of that time, that was pretty impressive right there. And again, I've said it a couple of times. It's worth repeating to do what he did, being the first guy in your first ever X Games. I mean, he set the bar in round one. No doubt about it. Check this out. Bar spin, but watch the handlebars. He moves them backwards. His arms are X right now, but he's not done yet. He clicks out of it and then does the crank flip into the quarter pipe. So that first run score is going to be the best one for him. That's going to leave him down in that number eight position right there. But again, setting the bar there early in round number one. That is Colin Verniak right there. He was your winner of Real BMX Best Trick, which took place back at Sunday down in the San Diego area. I, I, I urge you to go check out the highlights from that one to see what he put down in that event. But right now, it's all about him in this third and final run here on the street. Uh, looking smooth and confident on the course, doing the switch down with Can he set his gap? He did it again onto the ledge, bringing that speed, channeling back into the volcano. With the gets the 180 tail with this time, landing it smooth as could be. Oh, that was a nice combination, 180 backwards, pegs to uh, 270 out. Coming down to the final 10 seconds here. Oh, he's hopping up to manual line. Here we go, bringing some speed. Feeble to 270 in. 
the strike. Tried to do that at the end of his first run. He gets it done on the third and final run right here. And there's time. Wow, okay. Uh, it was awesome to see Colin get a full pull, bringing so much momentum off of that X Games goal that he just previously got at Rincon. He's down at the bottom of the pack there, ninth with a 44.66, but hold the phone here as we get set to look at some highlights and await the score here. What happens now, Scotty? Yeah, so watch this. Switch feeble, he does the 270 in, but look at when he lands, you can see him shakes off his hand. <laughs> But two I don't medals. think that was a celebration. I think that was anguish. He's got that gold from Sunday down there in Real Street Best Trick. He owns a silver uh, in Real BMX. Got that 2018 this filmer, Christian Regal. And over there, get some congratulations there. A little pat on the back from Chad Curley. So again, he had a 44.66 as his best run. That has him down there in ninth. You need better then an 82.33 to jump into the medals as of right now. Garrett Reynolds sitting in that bronze medal spot. Boyd Hill there in silver with an 86.33. Kevin Peraza holding on to that top spot from his round one score at that 87. This one taking a little while to come in right now. Which is good news usually for the rider. I mean, there's a lot of math being done. They're going over the tricks or making sure that they have them all marked down right. They want to give these guys as honest of a score as they can and give them what they deserve. Happy to get one under my yeah, I mean, to sit there and have to take notes and watch this at real-time speed, I mean, those guys definitely have their work cut out for them, and, I mean, they take the time. They have these in-depth discussions to make sure that they get it right. Boys, and again, I mean, you were the, I, I, did, I was traveling out here, but you got to call that one with Brandon Graham for uh, best trick. I mean, that was, it was off the charts from the clips that I saw. Yeah, it was history making, you know, not only just for X Games, but what these riders did at that spot has never been done before. Yeah. So I definitely think you guys should go watch it. To get to use that location and to throw down that event, that was huge. An 80.66, that'll get him out of ninth. He'll finish sixth place on the day. But again, congratulations to him and his gold medal in real BMX best trick back on Sunday. So here comes Chad Curley for his third and final attempt. He's in that number eight spot. Nice 180 backwards curve, 180. Technical riding, just get ready for this. Oh no, just messing up that rollout right there. Just had that funky lean. Gets one up on that one. Nose really around the back, that was really cool. Another combination, let's see if we can get this one. Smith to know is popping in. So he's, just, he's having fun on this course. And the truth is, all these riders are loving riding this course. If this was a skate park, these guys would be there every single day. And that'll do it there for Chad Curley. And again, you know, I mean, it's just the excitement level, I mean, it, it's been since 2019 that we've had fans back in the building or in the venue, and it's just a completely different feel out here from what we've done over the last couple of years as we take a look here. Chad's yeah. third and final run. Yeah, so Chad, like I said, technical rider, and it's really difficult to get all those tricks done in your run. So it's an 87 flat. That's the benchmark from round number one. That still holds up for the top spot. It's an 82.33 that holds on to the bubble spot for the medals as of right now. Peraza, Hilder, Reynolds, still your one, two, three, as we take our final look at Scotland's Alex Donachy. Alex Donachy starting things off similar to his other runs. No problem with that. Right there, he actually missed the trick that he was going for. Oh, oh just gets hung up early on. So four down in the lineup. That'll bring us down to our final five. Three of which are in those top three spots for now. It leaves Felix Prangenberg and Devin Smiley on the outside looking in. That's a tough break right there for Alex. So five riders left to go here. It's not quite over just yet. Garrett Reynolds chasing history, but he finds himself in a bronze medal spot as of right now. Can he get it done and claim that 16th next game's gold? We'll find out when we come back to Ventura. Okay.
Yeah, we're, we're going a little rogue. I didn't have anybody to interview. Does anybody, now that the fans are back, does anybody want to be interviewed? Yeah, everyone? What about you guys? You guys, you guys look like a good time. Let me, let me slide up in here. What are your names? Michael. Michael? Chris. Chris, how exciting is it to be back at an X Games in person? It's my first time here, and it's been a great experience so far. I'm just loving seeing all the competition, and it's my first time getting to see the pros live, so I'm just making the best out of it. What about you, man? You look super excited, and I love it. I can't stop smiling, honestly. I love these guys just doing tricks on bikes and boys being boys, honestly. <laughs> Shred on. Boys being boys. You got to love it. Does this, <laughs> do you skate or, or ride BMX or motor or anything? Uh, I had a couple handlebars break my bones, but uh, I just do some BMX and motocross on the side. That's it. Let's, let's talk highlights. Any highlights so far? I know we're just getting started, but like... Maybe the outside of the, the venue, like, have you done anything fun or eaten anything delicious? Uh, Pacifico brewskis, maybe? I've definitely had my fair share of them today. But uh, they got this big load of, like, fries. It's like two potatoes, and it's huge. And I'm sure a lot of people have had it, but it's delicious. Well, you guys fired up for run number three? Yes, sir. <laughs> all right, well, thanks so much for hanging. It's all about thanks, the fans. Bro. Much love. Hey, I just want to say thank you guys so much for coming back. It is so nice to have the fans back in California at an X Games. You know, make some noise. The athletes love it. They appreciate it. We love you. Run three. Let's go. Welcome back, everyone, to X Games 2023 in a brand new home here at the Ventura County Fairgrounds. And for the first time since 2019, fans are back in the house for the summer edition. And they are being treated to quite the performance out here in BMX Street Final. We have completed two rounds of runs. We have five riders left to go here in the third and final round. Kevin Peraza finds himself in the top spot followed by Boyd Hilder and Garrett Reynolds sitting in that number three position. However, there's still two riders left on the outside looking in. You got Devin Smiley and Felix Prangenberg that can still shake up those standings, but this one is not over yet. Here's Scotty Kramer as we get set to bring in Devin Smiley. He was in the top three after Boyd Hilder's run number two. He now finds himself one spot out of podium contention sitting in fourth. Yeah, and he has the tricks and the lines to be able to put himself back on that podium, but he's got to get him connected right now. Start things off with that manual, cruising in. We're going to talk about it again, Devin's smiley style and something in BMX that everybody just loves and appreciates right there. Huge bar spin off of that peg. Bring momentum to that up ledge. It's a manual dropping in with the manual. Get down that transition with that manual wow. line. And perfect. Oh, amazing bike control. The balance, the technicality there coming up on the 15 second mark. Oh, nice soon, no hander to flat off that tie ride. See how he just goes by and just pops his back wheel on the side of the side. Oh, it just gets hung up there. So that was one of the tricks that he actually landed in his second run. It looked really cool, too, the way he was able to carve around that fakie and go pop up into uh, the top of that bank ramp. But it's very technical. There's a lot of risk and reward when it comes to his riding. Take another look here in slow motion. Yeah, but this first trick was awesome. Pegs and then doing the bar spin, popping into it. You know, all into that small bank down there. There's really not much to land in, so it's definitely a huge risk to send that one. So that one's going to be a throwout score. It is the best run that counts here on this 100-point scale, so uh, he will settle for fourth here with only four riders left to go. Kevin Peraza due up next. He sits in that top spot. We talked about it a couple of times. This could be history of a different kind. We keep talking about the chase for 16 gold medals in this event. Kevin Peraza is looking at potential history of his own. He owns two part gold medals. He owns a dirt gold medal. No one has ever taken a gold medal in street, dirt, and park. He owns no street medals, period. So to walk out with your first one being a gold, I mean, this could be, this could be history of a different story. But I just love his run right here. Look at the flow, look at the style. And that is because he is an all around rider. He knows how to ride BMX park. He knows how to ride dirt. He knows how to clearly ride street after this one. Wow, popping around, just bringing so much style and control. Beautiful switch tail up the opposite direction that he learned it. I mean, just look at how beautiful. 
Look at how he's linking everything up, and look at how quick the hits come. Get this run. Just slides out there, going across the picnic table feature. So that was a trick that he got in run number one. He landed that one. It's a high risk, high reward. Oh, oh, by the tower, on the tower. Wow. I mean, to get to, I mean, you don't have a lot of room up there. I mean, you can see where the tire mark is in the middle of the triangle right there, but that whole thing in run number one just kind of rocked back and forth. I thought he was going to ring the bell on that one, but trying to tail whip out of that. Oh, that's insane. You know, you can think about what Boyd did, you know, in Japan and Kevin taking a little version of it of himself right there. Yeah, we had a rooftop feature in Japan and Boyd was right off of that, tail whipped off of that one as well as we take a look back here at Kevin Peraza's third final attempt. Yeah, that nose to 360, he's been doing that in par competition for years, so not surprised at all to be seeing that, but what an amazing day for Kevin Peraza. Well, he's still in the top spot for now with three riders left to go behind him, 87 flat. That is the high mark here. That was from round number one, and it has held up throughout this entire competition. On the outside, the last person that could shake up the top three for now, or actually overall, this is Felix Prangenberg here. He sits in that number five spot with an 81.33. He owns three total medals in this event. All three of them are silvers. You can see the fans weighing in saying, Felix Prangenberg, bring the heat. So the next 45 seconds are his. Oh, I love it. So much momentum coming out of that Nolly full cap. Oh, just hard 360 off. Had to put a foot down right there. But I'll talk about it again. I mean, Felix style, it, it's so, I mean, everybody in BMX, every time he puts a video part out, everybody is rushing to see it because you want to see what he is doing. You want to see what he is bringing to the table because he's got such an original outlook on the sport, such a cool, technical, yet so powerful style. So many amazing tricks on this one, though. Nice for Cap down over the plant. Coming up on the final couple of seconds here, and that's going to end it at the foot plant right there. He also owns a gold medal in real BMX. Also a three-time winner of the Simple Session as well, 2018, 2019, and 2020. Wow, I love that trick right there. That Nolly full cap is so beautiful. It's such an amazing looking trick. But that's just what he does. He is so good at doing his half cap, full cap stuff. So a 76.33. Here I'm talking to some of the other riders saying, hey, pleasure riding with you. So now we're down to our final two. He finds himself looking at a bronze medal for right now. We've told the tale. He has never missed the podium in his X Games career. If he could jump up and overtake the lead here from Kevin Peraza, he could surpass Sean White for all-time X Games gold. It comes down to this last run here. Can Garrett Reynolds get it done on the third and final attempt? Get that trick that took him out in the last run. Oh, no! just loops back out on the bar spin manual right there. Oh my goodness. On the last run and it's not going to happen there for Garrett Reynolds. The streak continues though. He may not have gotten that 16th gold, but the medal streak continues. Another bronze. He's been on the podium every time he's competed at X Games. That's 22 medals that he's going to be getting now. Still such an amazing rider. We're such still, an amazing talent. We've been so lucky to have him in our sport over the years and the way he's pushed BMX. So we're not through just yet. We have one more rider left to go. Boyd Hilder, he was your gold medalist at BMX Street in Japan back in May. He's sitting in a silver medal spot right now. He's the last man standing between that gentleman right there taking home his first ever street medal, which would just happen to be gold. And if that holds up, it would be the first time a rider at the X Games has taken a street, a park, and a dirt gold medal. But here we go. It all comes down to this last run with Boyd Hilder. Oh, this is going to be good, Jimmy. Bar spin to tie ride once again. Look at the speed that he has when He's he comes flying. down out of that. Oh, no. Just slides out right there, and that's going to do it for Boyd Hilder. He's going to get another medal.
That'll be his second overall, but Kevin Peraza has made history. Welcome to the gold medal ranks, Kevin Peraza in BMX Street. What an amazing moment for Kevin Peraza and BMX. I'm so glad his family is here to see it. That's just, it's just amazing. It just goes to show. He is now in X Games, the greatest all-around BMX rider. That's insane to think about. He's still got part coming up tomorrow as well. He was riding a dirt elimination earlier today. He didn't make the eight cut, but I tell you what, I'm sure that's long forgotten now that he's taking over street gold medal. He's like, BMX dirt, what? Never mind, I'm taking another gold right now. Absolutely. He's been so passionate about street riding over the past few years. For him to be invited to the X Games, I know meant a lot to him. To be walking away on top of the podium means a world to him. And he got here because of this. Just consistent action the whole way through his run. And that, this was his first run. I mean, the first run was good enough to hold up and keep it there. Look at look at that roof shaking when he goes through the wall ride. Oh, man. And that flare to top it off. Unbelievable. Oh, my goodness. What an epic performance right there. Kevin Barraza, your street gold medalist. We're going to send it down right now to Kristen B with our winner. Your first X Games medal in BMX Street. What inspired the creativity we saw in that run, Kevin? Just having a good time. This place is uh, so fun to ride. I'm here with my heroes, my best friends. Uh, one of my brothers, best friend, Pat Casey, who, Pat Casey, who recently uh, passed away. He told me, uh, do what you love, do it good, you know what to do. <laughs> Get out there, this is crazy, I can't believe it, you know? Trusting God, having a good time. What more can I ask for? We're out here, beautiful weather, we're in Ventura. Let's go! <laughs> you are now the first BMX athlete to take a gold in street, park, and dirt. What allowed you the consistency to find that success? My favorite riders, Garrett Reynolds being one of them, and everyone else on this field. It's BMX freestyle, ride everything, have fun, on a curb, on a curb pipe, some trails. Just ride BMX, yeah, get out there, go ride your bike, have a good time with your friends, and just let it flow. <laughs> Guys, this is such a family sport. The competitors, all friends with each other, Jimmy. Yeah, you know, we talked about that uniqueness, that creativity, and that flow that he has. And I mean, we typically see him in park and dirt, and he just started riding in street events over the last couple of seasons. And for him to walk out with his first ever street medal being a gold, I mean, that's amazing. Yeah, and it's exactly what you would expect from Kevin Barraza, right? He's just a golden rider when it comes to X Games. He's done it all. I'm so proud of him. He rode amazing today, and he deserved it. Well, Garrett Reynolds takes home his 22nd medal overall. That's second medal in street for Boyd Hilder. But Kevin Barraza takes street gold. Wow, wow, wow. I cannot believe what we just witnessed. Kevin Barraza taking home gold in street. A little fun fact. He obviously is more of a park and dirt rider, and when he got in, he pushed his way into street, and some of the other, you know, BMX street athletes were like, oh man, that's not cool, there's other BMX street riders that are better, and blah, 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 and he didn't do well in the last couple of years, and now he's on top. We love to see it. Amazing. We also love to see our new guests that are here hanging out on the digital set. We got Scotty James, multiple X Games medalist, we got Amelia Brodka, professional skateboarder. We got Tim Reed off the camera, who's the reason I'm here. What up, Tim? And we're having a good time. We got uh, the Pacifico Men's Skateboard Vert coming up. But before we get into that, Scotty, let me just start with you. How is it like, and what's it like coming to an X Games in a t-shirt? I tell you what, it is really nice. It feels, I feel very free. And um, I'm going to say the temperature for me is definitely uh, more enjoyable, less uh, layers that I'm getting uh, in to come up and compete at the X Games. But yeah, it's been a cool to be on a different uh, perspective as a spectator and watch and just gave me chills watching someone claim a gold. And uh, yeah, it's been really cool to experience. It's awesome. And chat, it's really nice to hang with you guys. I just want to apologize. When I was out there on those commercial breaks, I thought it was going to be us you know, interacting and um, me looking at your comments, but then I was live to the whole venue, so I had to like talk to the crowd and stuff, but we're back with you. So if you got any questions, please drop them in the chat for Scotty James, Super Pipe Champ, or Amelia Brodka, or myself. 
drop them in. What if I have a question for Scotty James? Amelia, what do you got for Scotty James? Mm. Fire me up. This might be slightly off topic. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Here we go. Uh -oh. Formula One. Yo. Okay. Go to the I races. like this topic. Yeah. Yeah. Love Your the race. Your team is doing quite well mm -hmm. from what I've seen. Yeah, it's Lots been, uh, you know, it's a bit of a... It's a bit of a, a, a touchy subject for me because obviously I go for the Bulls, Red Bull. And oh, then the family right. oh, the family is Aston. Both of your team is And I uh, got another friend racing for Alpha Turi. So I'm running many hats at the uh, F1 paddock. But oh, boy. It's pretty drama. fun to watch. Yeah, lots of drama. You should be in Drive to Survive. <laughs> that <laughs> I, I, would be a great dramatic let's, edition. Let's, should I put us up for cameos, you and I? I mean, yes, please. All the three of us, why not? Hey, you I also just you also just got married, and it was one of the most. I'm not even kidding. Have you seen photos? I'm I don't not. Know, if you follow Scotty James on Instagram, you would have seen. He got married in Venice, Italy, and it was by far the most beautiful wedding. Like I got married last year or two years ago, and I was just like, man, why didn't I do it in Venice, dude? How was it? <laughs> it was awesome. It was. Uh, Congratulations. Thank yeah, you. Congrats. I've been uh, having a laugh today as people say, you know, you just got married, and it's been good snowboarding and competing and i'm like look if i can try and have a little bit of success in my marriage as i've had a little bit in uh, action sport i think hopefully that's 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 the goal so we'll see how we go but um yeah it's been fun and beautiful uh we had a really great time had family in town and it's just a big celebration of love as you would understand and there yourself you married yep yep there my you go husband is here he married <laughs> let's see the ring it's blinked oh, out that's very what's nice. it like wearing a ring man are you gonna, is it gonna like fit in that I was like love of yours I was um spinning it around my finger for at least five or six days oh, when I a got a nervous habit yeah I was just like, oh, oh, <laughs> you gotta oh. watch out you might flip someone off yeah. like you know <laughs> yeah. a little bit intentionally yeah exactly um well if you guys haven't seen and you don't follow Scotty James on social media go do that right this second and just scroll down a little bit or if you're in the production house right now and just go find it and put it on the screen because it is wonderful. Danny Ricardo's there. Do you call him Danny or Daniel? I call him DR. DR. Uh, so that's when you're that what's that's when you're that tight. Yeah, oh, that's your buddy who's in the Alphatari seat yeah, now, that's huh? It. Yeah, it's the big weekend. Oh practice was this morning actually, so How's but even going? bigger weekend here in Ventura. Sorry, F1. That's true. World, I'm so sorry. I Bax keep getting is, distracted. You know, where you're supposed to be this weekend is right here. Oh, there we go. There it is. Okay, they found uh -oh. it. How you Beautiful. doing, James Bond? You got the dirty <laughs> martini. We got some chat. We got some great chats coming in. Glitching world. I'm happily divorced. Okay. <laughs> Moto Jork and Jack, your wedding pics were cute. Thank you so much. Uh, they were Zo cute. Zokine says, them. say hi to Danny Rick from us. Okay. It's a new nickname. Will do. Did you go on a honeymoon or was Venice? We did. Awesome. We went to uh, we went to Africa. Actually, it was unbelievable. We went to Kenya. Wow. We traveled around Great Kenya. Question. Saw the big five. They say it's the lion, leopard, cheetah, rhinos, giraffes. Yeah, we saw a lot. It was actually all happened in the first day too. So we got pretty fortunate that that happened, as people said, which was cool. And some other news leaked on the internet. I don't know if we're allowed to talk about it, but you know what? This is the digital stream, and like it's just like raw, uncut, uh -oh. no filter. Um, you invested <laughs> in X Games, bro. I did. You're a part owner in X Games, bro. Yeah. Congratulations on that. Yeah, we're in good hands. All right. Seriously. So you're my boss. No, that's a little intimidating. We're all each other's <laughs> no, bosses. We're all gonna <laughs> see. That's why you want someone like that on under the tent inside. That's amazing, man. Congratulations. Thank you. No, it's been super exciting and uh, been fun to be here in summer and meeting everyone and speaking to the athletes and seeing how stoked all the fans are to be here. And I guess yeah, it's been really fun to hear the athletes out about what we can do into the future and um yeah having a really positive input and feedback is super important and i think when the athletes are really excited and happy with what they're skating or yeah. you know, on bmx or in my case snowboarding then you're going to get a good show and that obviously propels into every other element of x games and you get the big x games moments so yeah i mean it's been my life action sport so it's nice to be able to put some more time back into it that's given me a lot too love that man we're really we're all very grateful very excited what is that so what does that mean obviously you're you're an owner but like do you sit on a board or like do you have weekly calls like what is now your involvement from not only obviously competing and winning everything but then on on the other side of it like how much you know are you providing your influence yeah definitely so i uh speak with the team liaise with the team pretty often and um 
I think, you know, obviously summer is, uh, I'm still learning a lot about summer and it's been really cool to, you know, speak with Elliot Sloan earlier and, um, you know, just understand, I guess, if, if w how I feel about how we can um, develop our winter competition is similar or mutual in summer. And yeah, very much the same kind of process. And then, you know, I try and communicate that to the guys that are the decision makers, as you would say. But uh, yeah, just having a really good open conversation with, with everyone in, in the business and see where we end up. <laughs> is, there, <laughs> is there a story, aside from your own performances, obviously, do you have a story of maybe what made you fall in love with the X Games or what made you feel like, this? I want to be a part of this. I want to create some more magical moments like this one. For sure. We, being from Australia, I think pursuing winter sport alone was a big feat. There was never really a road map to get there. So big uh, thankful to my parents for paving the way for me or figuring it out for me. And then my first memory of X Games was actually... 2001, I believe, uh, and Kerry Hart was going for the first moto backflip and did half a backflip and came away not in a not in the best shape, but then came back the next year and ended up. I think Mike Metzger won and with a backflip, and then he came yeah. second. So it was actually motocross that kind of got me into action sport, and then Crazy. over time fell in love with snowboarding, and here we are. I've known I've known Scotty since he was just like this tiny little nugget just flipping and spinning around and like honestly it was like yeah Scotty's good like Scotty can hang but I was never like oh Scotty is the future like and then all of a sudden Scotty just like came out and just like boom I was just like where the hell did that come from dude You're like and then he just started winning everything and I was it made me very proud, like a proud older brother in a oh, way. Thank so, you. Very grateful. It's um, been a fun journey. Indeed, yeah. It's, this has been fun, too. We've been doing the most kickflip challenge. Um, first Gavin. kid, Gavin Kish, 11. pulled up, threw up 11. Deshaun Jordan came in and was like, I don't know if I got this, threw out 12. Whoa. And then Mariah Duran Damn. threw down nine. Oh, wow. So that's starting to stack up. Don't ask me to do that. Yeah, you mentioned last night. We were we had dinner my, last night. I, was I like, love Yo. my ankles too much. <laughs> you love and your I ankles? Need them. Yeah. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. Um, so we got Skateboard Vert coming up. Why don't we talk a little bit about the next event? 13 minutes. Um, Amelia, you know more about Vert than probably any single human being on this planet. Let's just flip it to you. What are you excited about? Ooh. Eddie Domestoy. Eddie Domestoy has Wilkins. been on a tear, that's Indeed. for sure. He's won the past few vert contests. He just got off a win at Mega Park. And that dude brings the energy. And a lot of his power and his progression is really shining at invert. But it's making everybody else push themselves. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be really cool to see the new stuff that Jimmy Wilkins is going to bring to the table. It's going to be really cool to see what Moto Shibata is bringing to the table. Mm -hmm. I think between those three, it's going to be a fierce battle. Mm -hmm. And, of course, Guy Curry spinning nines, nolly nines. Nolly nine indies. Yes. Like, he's on a different level. I bumped into Moto. I was, like, going through the security to get in, and Moto was just, like, standing there just, like, nice smile on his face i was like how is it how's it going out there he did mention that the wind was a bit of an issue at least in practice but i don't know if you Seems can see to be good right now if you can see behind us knocking on wood here if you're sitting at home knock on wood throw a little knock on wood in the chat if you could throw a little extra good juju out there um it looks good it looks good to go um scotty are you excited i mean how, how much does it translate from snowboarding to skateboarding at least from like a fan's pers perspective i mean for a fan, it's almost, it's super engaging because yesterday I was standing up on the coping and I feel like I could have just touched the guys while they were doing their airs. So uh, I think that's one thing I've noticed a lot here at Summer X in particular is is it's so accessible. And, you know, Nigel earlier on in the elimination street, he's, you know, finished their skate and you'd go over and the kids are all standing there waiting to get something signed and all the skaters were so cool. So I think that's uh, very unique to sport in general and to have that access for the fans is really cool um but yeah i mean i've all obviously always really enjoyed watching vert it's very similar or relative to what i do although i would actually say it's even harder in vert skate because their feet aren't even attached to the board so which However, is funny yeah. because they, 
we can bail. We can be like, <laughs> yeah. nope, okay. that's not this, going well. Yeah. Even, I don't even understand. Yes, please explain this to me. If you are in the air on a super pipe and something is not going as planned, what do you do? Tuck into a ball. I don't know, Jack. <laughs> Jack you don't know. Jack, <laughs> Jack, I, I think you probably, I mean, there are some records now that come out, but I think Jack actually holds the record for probably the highest front side air, honestly. Wow. He used to go so big. That was Jack's thing. That was my thing. You know, and uh, that's all did, I had. did one of the highest airs to a good Roman chair, too. I did. Yeah. I, I do hold the highest quarter pipe air but unfortunately, it was not successfully landed. I landed, but on my ass. Completely. It was uh, oh. it, it was high. Yeah, as, have you noticed I'm kind of sitting awkward? So you yeah, went like 20 feet. I went 30, it was 32 oh, or 33 30, feet. 30, 30 30 30 30 30 really feet. high Ooh. to my ass. But in wow. uh, terms of, I get it that hurt. crashing, like, yeah, you can't. But I think that's having, uh, probably similarly to skateboarding or just in general in sport, is just having really good air awareness. Yep. So in the case that I'm in the middle of a spin or something doesn't feel right or the takeoff wasn't exactly what I wanted, I usually have the tools to try and get out of it if I have to. Um, but yes, I agree. Obviously, you can't unstrap my board and ditch it, but... I just Figure got I just got in my ear. Apparently, there's like an investor meeting that you need to get to. Oh damn! Right this second, it's like X Games <laughs> investors only. No, I'm just kidding. Right, yo, thank wait. you. You can wait. Thank you for <laughs> hanging with us, dude. Absolutely. So much, so much you, respect. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. <laughs> if you're over there watching, I'm gonna come hang with you 100%. Let's do it. Let's Perfect. do it. But Scotty go. James, ladies and gentlemen, X Games owner, X Games multiple six golds. What did you say? Eight, twelve. Eight, twelve. Five. Five. It's close close five gold medals nbd what a legend okay. all right it sounds like we're gonna play a little trivia quiz did you hear that oh, there's are... people talking in my head and they just said let's play a little trivia quiz all right chat you ready no, you can you can be seen for that when there's people talking in your head who aren't you oh wow oh wow okay chat what do you got who's the youngest x games gold medalist in skateboarding all pro disciplines oh wow okay it was ryan at first Okay, yep, and then Gi, and then Jin Woo. Ooh. Boom. Unfortunately not here due to a wrist injury, but gosh, his performance in X Games Chiba was incredible. That was insane. If y'all haven't watched that run, you need to watch that run right now. Go look up Jin Woo right on now. a dinner. Oh, wow. All right, let's see, what do we got next? You guys said check, it was Jin Woo. All right, which sport made its X Games debut in 2006? Skateboarding, no. no. BMX freestyle, no. no. Rally racing, maybe. I would say rally racing. Yeah. I'm going with C. Surfing. Everyone's saying surfing C. Everyone's saying C. What is it? What is it? Everyone's saying C. What is it? What is it? What is it? Rally. Everyone's saying rally. Has there ever been surfing in the X Games? There has been surfing in the X Games. Oh, cool. Yeah. But it's kind of like, it was almost just like on its own island, no pun intended. Right. Yeah, we were right, chat. Let's go. W's in the chat. Congratulations. A surf break across the street from here. We I know. We had it here. We should totally go Dang. surfing. Oh, should we go? How many of his 15 X Games gold medals has Sean White won at Summer X Games? Ooh. I'm going to say one or two. I think, ooh, he's won a lot. It can't be five because Bucky won There's five. No and way a big it's thing. Yeah, no I think it's D. two. It's I'm going to say two. Oh, I'm, gold medals. I'm going to say D. I'm going to say C. I don't know, though. I think it might be C. All right, Dude, you're going C. Watching Everyone went C. Oh, somebody went A. Oh, well. C's. Wouldn't be that I'm going D. I'm going D. Oh. I think it's C, but I'm just going to go with it. Oh, C. Let's go. It was C. Got All right, I it. lost. Yeah, we just got a very special guest on the set. Um, why don't you go ahead and reveal this silver medalist from BMX Street. Come on, cameras, pop him on there. Don't be shy. Where am I? Drum roll, do I have that? <laughs> Where am I? Do we have that? <laughs> am, I here? am I even here? Do you have a cheer? Can you guys see who we have here? Does anybody, how about Chad? Do you guys know who got s silver in the BMX Street event? Trivia, works part-time. Pack, picking and packing orders, filming and competing. 
Can you guys see us? He lives on the Gold Coast of Australia. Oh. Surfs every morning. Try to. They're just working on some technical, modern technology. The tension will just build. We'll see. Guys, who's here? The chat will oh, guess. Some, oh, Optim, Optimus Lime TV's got it. That's right. We got Boyd Hilder in the house, dude. Congratulations, first and foremost. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. How was it out there, man? You've been on, you've been uh, on a tear. Let's see the on. medal, dude. Can we show the, show the crowd? Show the fans. Boom. Hey, I'm tripping. That's dope. Yeah. Congrats. Last two, three months have been crazy. Yeah. All of a sudden, all this stuff. Bam. It's nice. It's beautiful. Um, did, did you, like, ride the inside of that rail, the round rail on the... The sea rail? The sea rail. Yeah. There's, like, a wall to it. I just rip around that thing like a corner. That was the coolest thing. I yeah. know that compared to the rest of your run, it's probably one of the easier things, but just seeing that unique approach to the course was really fun to watch. It's definitely one of the funnest. I think all the BMXs will agree. It feels good. How well, yeah, how was that course? Insane. I kept saying to everyone, it's like riding a movie set. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't feel right. Looks like a video game. Breaking it and like putting black rainbows on there. Doesn't feel right. Have you see gotten to see your run yet? Uh, no, but... Let's pull it up. If you guys, you know, behind the scenes, I think they've got that kind of magic. Here it is. Which run took silver? I was running around, so I don't... I think it was my second one. Second run. Okay, second run. Drops in. What's going through your head right here? Do you black out uh, at this point? I'm kind of like, make sure you get a good pedal in. This. This, because you this. need all the speed you can get. Oh! That is so... That insane. is so gnarly. I was looking that at that when I pulled up. Going up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, this is where I come on stuck in the first one. Yeah, talk us through this. The over two. Just that was only just enough to get back in there. So were you practicing all these tricks, or were there some that you kept hitting for the yeah, run? Yeah, in practice, I kind of hit a bunch of them here yep. and there yep. and piece it all together. My first run, I got lost and then worked out that my <laughs> run was too long. Oh, right, so right. I right, saw like, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Change your plan, move the wall, move the curveball, and just go straight for the big stuff. And I honestly thought I was going into the crowd there. Insane. And look, Dom goes up straight away. I'm just claiming it. You're like, I'm done. <laughs> oh, yeah. gosh. Stop the clock. That's amazing. Hundreds in the chat. Hey, chat, if you guys have a question for Mr. Hilder, drop it in. Is this the Twitch thing, is it, right now? Yeah, it's Twitch, YouTube, and caffeine. We're just the internet hanging, you yeah. know? Nice. TV's got commercials oh, that and angle. everything. Yo, that's insane. That is so Can we sick. talk about that for a second? What was the first time you hit that like? How Was it scary as hell? The first day of practice, I was eyeing it up. Yeah. And then it was like kind of windy. And I was just like, no, I don't think I'm going to do it. No like, way. It was just blowing across. And all I could see was the death drop on the other side. Yeah. Like if you go in there, it's game over. So when so did you finally try it? Second practice. So yesterday. Yesterday. I was like, come on, you have to do it. Like, I was planning all the run from there, and I just hadn't done that. That is so. insane. It's, so that was literally the first thing. When I pulled up, too, I saw that, and I was just like, there's no way. Yeah. It would be sick. I was talking to Leticia about it. I was like, you should drop off that down to the ledge. And I was like, nah, it's impossible. At Honestly, first, in practice, look like, at this, dude. It's actually oh, oh way God. scarier it's than huge. going all the way. I, like, dropped onto the flat bit. Yeah. Oh. You think, like, small, slow hop, but if I, like, so much easier to go off from the to back. To have the side. momentum to Yeah, keep the going. momentum will take you. Right. How do you overcome the, um, you know, the thoughts in your head that are just like, no, I'm not going to do that. That's too gnarly, to then getting to the point where you're actually riding off that. I don't I don't even really know. Just, just subconscious. The one the one is there. You want to do it. Right. You just this, this, the feelings is scare. Sometimes you look at it, you're like, all right, this one and then you loop back around and you're like, just don't, go and do it. Don't let them creep in. Yep. Go. Yep. Like crazy. You'll see like if you watch a live stream, I'm always like a couple people for my run. Just go up, have a look. Uh -huh. Go back. And uh -huh. like, all right, I looked at it like uh -huh. I'm ready. I can't like can't That's do it like insane. tester right for my run. So I did one more look. Oh, wow. I just heard we're, we're live with um, the Pacifico Skateboard Vert. Are you going to watch any of that? Oh, the yeah. Vert contest? Oh, yeah. Awesome, man. Well, congratulations. So I'll, first, before you go, I do want to ask, um, sorry, what was it like uh, seeing Peraza win a street contest? Oh, Pretty that's rad. my dude. Yeah. I think I was going off more than the crowd when he did that 180 flip. Yeah. It was my insane. arms went up and they just stayed up. <laughs> like, just a fangirl, like, yes! Insane. <laughs> Well, thanks so much for uh, for stopping by. Congratulations. Thank Enjoy you. the rest of your weekend. Thank you. That was a fun chat. See you later, guys.
All right, we're getting close. A minute and 18 seconds to Pacifico Men's Skateboard Vert. Who, who you got your money on? What am I, who for am I rooting Vert. for? Yeah, for Vert. I want to see Wilkins get back up there, you know? Like, right. I know he's got it. He's totally I love I love Eddie, for sure. I would be stoked if anybody wins, but I just love the drama. I love it to go a little That's bit true. back and forth. Um, but you know what? I also want Mitchy Brusco. I want to see him take a gold. You know, um, Mitchy's an incredible skateboarder. Mitchie's he the could, man. He could certainly take the gold. I know it's eluded him for a long time, but he is incredibly talented, and his trick combinations are really, really technical. Retro habit, two most bar spins in 30 seconds. We should do that. We don't have enough time right now, but we have all weekend. We're going to be hanging with you guys. So thank you for hanging in the chat. We got the Pacific Go skateboard vert event about to go down. It looks like the wind is chill, which is going to make for an insane competition. I also get to go hang out with Tony Hawk right after the contest. I'm not nervous. You are. If you got questions for Tony Hawk that you want me to answer or to ask him, Drop it in the chat. And then when we come back from that, you're going to be here with who? Do you with you. No, do you even know? No, I have no idea. With Dave England. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no way. Dave of Jackass England, of, ja of Jackass. Wow. Are we going to do, like, Jackass stunts, or are we going to make him do kickflips or both? I think a bit of both, yeah. A bit of both. We should do a little Jackass. Uh, you've got the Black Maven. Who's this woman? She's cute. Shout out. Shout out. That's oh, Amelia wow. Brodka. Oh, we have another 10 minutes. Ten Too bad minutes. we just got rid nice. of Hilder. Un unbelievable. All right, so we've got another 10 minutes. Yeah, I, I really would love to see some replays of Mega Park. I heard that might be possible. So oh, good call. Maybe the powers that be. Yeah, I didn't really get pull to see that much. Up. Did you see much of Mega Park? I did. I was standing on top of the second quarter pipe, which is 18 feet tall. Rad. That's how big is a super pipe? 22. To OK. Almost as big as a super pipe. But this this view doesn't totally do it justice because it is huge. And Tom Shar, he is making quite a comeback. We're gonna see him invert as well, but he had years and years of being hurt due to a snowboarding injury. He's had to get surgery. And now he I love how you point at me. Well, <laughs> I mean, you know how, more about snowboarding how than I do. Dare you. No, it's so sad when you hear about skaters going down snowboarding. It's usually the other way around. Well, it just goes back to you can't bail. I think we're so used to being like, I'm just going to try whatever and knee slide. And kick you the know? board out of the way. Yeah. See this, the alley -oop 900s by Guy Curry. This kid is changing the game, and it's been so cool to see him grow up on the X, da X Games stage. And the varial nine as well. This run was incredible. I think we're going to see some really good stuff out of him. It's funny here. to see Tom Shar go and then Guy right after because Tom, that was Tom Shar 10 years ago. That's a really good point. It's crazy. And that's going to be Guy in 10 years. Like, it's right. just this, the generations. And Guy is one of them that we're for sure going to see forever. But then here's, I'm assuming, Eddie's winning run. That's right. Eddie's winning run. He just, he put it down on the confident. first run. He's got this like eye of the tiger vibe. He just gets in this mode and he just lands everything. Even at Vert Alert, which was a qualifier for here, you had to basically be on fire for 40 minutes. It wasn't just best run counts. It was overall impression. And you know what? Eddie sent it. He just landed everything. Hey, Bam Margera's right there. I don't oh mean to Oh my God, Bam Margera we pull just him in? by. What do you think, chat? Just kidding. There's no way he's going to come in here right now. I don't know. I would just be too nervous. I would just stare at him and be like, dude, do you know how many injuries I have because of you? Maybe Dave England can <laughs> you come many, in. How many roofs I jumped off and, and <laughs> shopping carts that are destroyed you're, in Manchester, Vermont? You're going to blame him you. for your, <laughs> your yeah, Bam just walked by. situations like that? That's crazy. Um, let's see. I'm looking at the chat here. Let's see. Let's see. I just saw one. Sorry. We got to go back. So also... Yeah, uh, Vert, I'm really hoping we get to see Elliot put on a show. We saw Elliot that. at Mega Park. It was his house, but you know what? It really did not go well for him. He he landed one or two tricks, but I think today is going to be his day. I think we're going to see Elliot land some good stuff. I think so too, and it sounds like we have a very special moment about to go down with Salem Masakela over at the host set. So we'll be back. Or will we? Or are we still here?
We're here. With y'all, I don't really know. I like all the. Uh, oh, ask Tony. Day one will become night one here at X Games California. A beautiful sunset stages us for men's skateboard vert, the Pacifico men's skateboard vert. What's happening, everybody? Brandon Graham joined alongside a couple of the busiest guys here in Ventura, Corbin Harris and the Birdman, the myth, the legend, Tony Hawk. Tony, you were just on the host set like eight seconds ago. There's a lot of ramps over here. You can get her quick. <laughs> yeah, you can. Uh, let's talk about this field. Specifically, we'll start with you, Tony. Edward Domestoy has simply been so dominant. The win at Vert Alert, Mega Park, the gold medal at X Games Japan. What is clicking for Eddie right now? Uh, he's strong, he's technical, he's always blasting. And even when he lands low, he somehow finds the speed. So he's hard to beat. Um, but I do want to say, 
Moto Shibata, he's been working on his game. He's got all the old school tricks and the new school tricks, so I feel like he's the underdog here today. No doubt, and Moto has won here before, let's not forget. And let's not forget Jimmy Wilkins, Corbin Harris, who had a five-peat once upon a time. He was untouchable up until about a year ago on this vert ramp at X Games. Yeah, Brandon, he's every pro skateboarder's favorite skateboarder. He's got the smoothest style. He does the coolest tricks. I mean, he just looks good out there. I've got a little nugget for you. I've got something for you. A little recon? I've got a little recon. I spoke to Jimmy, and he's got a new trick that he wants to pull out that he's never done before, and he's going all out right here at X Games. Yeah, he's not even saving for best trick. He's we, just going to do it. No, we all, and guess here. what? We all win. We all <laughs> yeah. win for that. He was like, um, he was like, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. That's what he said. Well, let's head up to the fourth member of our team, who I think has the best seat in the house, Jason Ellis. Let's get a vibe check. Jason, what's cracking, man? Uh, I'll tell you what's cracking. Tony Hawk knows a lot about who's going to do well, but he's wrong. Jimmy Wilkins is on another level. Jimmy Wilkins is doing this trick. If he makes it, and he's going to make it, and it's the style. Try to understand style, everybody. When you make tricks look like he makes them, it's the ultimate respect to skateboarding. It means you've crafted it and made it so perfect. Look at his hands when he lands. Look at how his hand lets go of the board. Everything is critical, and it's the best. And that's why it's, it's scored high. People need to understand how you get this guy. And then we've got Eddie is a maniac. So Eddie is going to be charging for Jimmy, and I don't know who's going to win. Hey, everybody, let's get pumped. Come on, show us what's up. This many people watching a vert contest is blowing my mind right now. Let's get pumped! Unreal atmosphere out here at the Ventura Fairgrounds. The fans have returned for the first time in three years at X Games, and all is right in the world. Let's take a look at that start list. Obviously, we talked about Moto and Jimmy Wilkins, Edward Domestoy, and part of the renaissance that Bert is enjoying, Tony, really is because any of these guys can get on the podium here tonight. Oh, absolutely. This is this is the best of best. I mean, these are the best transition skaters. And I, I forgot to mention Tom Shar. Tom Shar has been destroying anything with a radius yes. lately. Transition park. And it's almost it's impossible to contain him. But Mitchy Brusco is capable of all that and more. Making his 19th X Games appearance. The 26-year-old Mitchy Brusco. Look at that. Set up Melon 5. Like, that's just to get speed. That's that's where skateboarding is right now. Look at the crowd that we have behind. Everyone is oh, oh, just coming off there. Mitchie, maybe a little of the nerves getting, uh, getting on top of him right there. A silver medal and seven bronzes in this discipline. Yet to climb the top of the mountain. But we know he can do it. I've seen his line. He can do it. <laughs> Tony, you've been skating with these guys at your ramp. That's where they train every single day. I mean, you know what's in the arsenal of these guys. Like, who, who's, who can do it? Is it, is it just depending on the day? Uh, a, a, a bit, you know, but if, but if someone is on point, it's going to be really hard. But like I said, when you see these guys, like, Pollock's got some of the craziest tech right here. 360 flip. Oh, no. Just a backside ollie about five feet out, <laughs> all the way across the ramp. You know, your, your basic backside ollie. <laughs> you're watching these guys every day, so you're even predicting the tricks that's not, that are not going down. They're just getting pretty warmed much, up. Yeah. They're just getting warmed yeah. up. I think Paul is, uh, I was going to say, he was, he was trying to just stay on right there, but he, that's, that's one of his secret weapons. 360 flip indie grab right there, backside. Usually he gets that all day. I've seen him do that multiple times at your vert ramp. Tens of thousands out here for day one of X Games California 2023. Let's take another look at Paul Luke Ronchetti's first run. Oh. Paul Luke, a silver medal in his 11 previous X Games appearances, trying to get on the podium for the first time since 2015 when he earned that back in Austin. But here now, Augusto Akio making his fifth X Games appearance. The stoke is real with Augusto. Oh, yeah, he's into it. He's into it, and he's rolling in from the top. Look at that. I love wow. how the Melon 5 is set up there these days. Oh! He's almost a seat oh. 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 How is he even holding on to that? Are you kidding? It was the frigid panic. <laughs> 
excitement that he's going to bring. Only, that kind of thing is you only see that in competition. Absolutely. Like, no one's trying to make that trick. Here we go. Oh, it's kind of like a saran wrap, but he got caught up there a little bit. Look at the back foot. Yeah, he's, he's just his heel was on cool. the line. I got this. There's that shot time. so good in the flow mo. Yeah, the Stoke is real. I've watched him been skate. He's been skating street, been skating park, everything. And that juggling in between runs on the deck. <laughs> he does that too. So it's here's Ronnie show. Gomez, a veteran of the X Games stage, making his 17th X Games appearance. Ron, Ronnie has got a tech line when he puts it all together. He's got a few of the hardest foot tricks all, all at once. Just, 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 let's get all the 540s out of the way in the beginning. There you go, front side heel. Into a varial flip, Indy, and right here, big flip, Indy. Switch front side heel. Oh, All you, right, that is the tech. The wrong <laughs> yeah, oh, the tech first run. Ronnie, Ronnie Gomes. Gomes brings it. Wow, you couldn't ask for a yeah, better yeah. first run from Ronnie Gomez. Uh, uh, one thing I asked him up on the platform just before he dropped in, he go, I said, what's, what's your strategy here? He said, Corbin, I'm going for it. And that's exactly what he did right now. I mean, those are all of the hardest tricks I've seen him do in practice. And Where guys, does he go from there? Ronnie's had his success on the big air stage and even best trick. Yet to find a vert podium in his X Games career, unbelievably that, enough. That, that could put him there. <laughs> oh, that's a sigh, wow. sigh of relief. The bar wow. has been set by Ronnie Gomez, a very strong 85 out the gate. One thing that we should mention too now, as you can see in the background, it's crystal clear out there and there's no wind, which is actually helping these guys. Yeah, that we were, uh, we, I, I'm gonna join, I'm gonna stand. Yeah, 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 yeah. the proverbial week, no, that was, counts, yeah. that we'll, counts. We'll let you get away with yeah. it just this I one. I saved the ramp yesterday and it was very windy and it was tricky, there you go. We all get one. In. Here is Guy Curry, 14 years old. I'll tell you what I like when I see Guy do flip tricks, he always comes in tucky and that, you know, I don't know if it counts for much, but it's a style thing and I, and I like it. No, I, I'm, I'm completely with you. It, it looks really good. I mean, look at the future that this kid has in front of him. He's been doing it on this stage since he was 11 years old and, and proved that he belonged from the jump. Just destroyed it in the Mega Park, too. Correct. Yeah, Tony and I were talking during the week about the, the Mega Park. It was unbelievable. What an event. Oh. Throw in a uh, body barrel nine for your last trick for good yeah, measure. Why not? <laughs> hosted at the next skater to drop in's backyard, Elliot Sloan. Oh, so decorated, but still in circuit. Look at that. And tuck me. Of that Maybe that's first like a goal. Thing. Coming out of New York. Oh, yeah. Heel this guy is on one. Now, now, Tony, I'm curious. Elliot, we know, has the goods, especially in a best trick contest. Few are better in the world than him, but he's had trouble sometimes putting it together for a full vert run. What goes on I there? I think it's just Elliot, is, he doesn't want to hold back ever. Right. And you've seen it on the on the big air events. Yes. He's, he's not doing a safety run. He's doing tail grab nines, and that's it. That's what he has in mind. So I respect that. It's like it's all or nothing. Yeah. 31 minutes to skate with here in the Pacifico Men's Skateboard Vert Final. Our comp format for today. We've got our 10 skateboarders, a 36, not 35, not 37, minute jam session, 30 second runs, best single run counts. At some point it was overall impression, now it's put that one banger run down and a look at our judging criteria, gentlemen. But here's the guy that Tony is most excited about, owner of five X Games medals, including a gold, Moto Shibata. Yo, Ali Yu, oh. front foot impossible lead. Oh. I mean, he, no one's holding back, because they just, it's, it's one run. So they just want their Correct. absolute best yep. run. This is why it's gonna be so good, because they're gonna go for it, like, like Ronnie did. I mean, where does Ronnie go from that as well before? I don't know, maybe not grabbing the hippie stuff. <laughs> that, All the flip tricks, just no grab. He could do that for sure. He has done, I believe he's done switch heel, no grab. All right, we can see it. Tom Shar, uh, a decorated on. X Games career. Look at this. I love that Tom will come out with the alley lift with plenty of speed for all this stuff. 
Tom has just been on one. He makes it look like he's skating a mini ramp. He makes yes. it, he makes this thing look like a four foot mini ramp, and no other skateboarder does. I don't know. It's ironic does that. because he used to be very small, and all ramps look big. Oh, oh wow! Look at this oh, look run. At that. Here we go. Kick the bike. Yeah. Oh. Yes. They are going for broke here. I feel here. like he was almost at the end of time there, right? Yeah, it's, I heard the buzzer. But Tony, talk to us about Tom just being an all-terrain vehicle, whether it be Big Air or Mega and or Park or Bird. He takes the exact same techniques and put it onto any sized wall or transition or bowl or corner. So he's the, he's the ATV. Wow. What a preview of what's to come from Tom Shar. So a 77, good enough for second place with under 30 minutes to skate with here in our final. Tony, you watch him skate all day, every day at your ramp. What has he got in the bag of tricks? Uh, well, he's got a low C grind all the way across the face wall <laughs> to a giant 540. Oh! Big fan of that one. Look at that alley of front and alley. No one does it like that. Oh, man. Alley of Indy 5. You can tell Jimmy's just trying to stay on for this last trick. It's wild. Back to the left, 540. Here we go. Are you ready for this? What's he got? Tail grab. Forward to Fakie, 720. Yes! Are you kidding? First one ever! NPD at the end of your run! Are you kidding me? Yes! X Games 2023, what's happening? He said he was going to do it. He said he was going to do it, Tony. Jimmy goes X Games mode. We call that, a, folks, back to, uh, that is called a tail grab McKenzie, originally done by Bucky Lasek, indie grab, and uh, we've never seen a variation of it. But look at that. We wondered tail why grab. was he practicing best trick? I gotta tell you, I was seeing him try this last week on my ramp, and he wasn't even eyeing the landing. I'm not kidding, like he wasn't even considering making it then, and there it is, first one. Yes! Yeah, you think we liked it? <laughs> oh my. Oh yeah, we liked it. I mean, just the fact. Oh no, are we a meme again? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's happened before. Oops. I be Oops, we did <laughs> it again. Block the meme camera for now on. <laughs> oh, oh wow. Uh, Jimmy Wilkins. 2.33 for yeah, Jimmy Wilkins. Up, baby. Yeah. And Jimmy in familiar territory as this is an event he's won six times before. And boys, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but he may very well be on his way to a seven. Wow. And we're not even done with run one. How about our gold medalist from X Games Japan? How about our winner from Vert Alert? He, uh, Edward Domastor. He looks focused. Tough act to follow, but Eddie's ready for the pressure. I love that tail grab. Just, he gets so far over the deck. Huge Indy 5. Whoa, is that a double grab? Throwing the oh, 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 big frontside oh. five. He's the only one in this contest doing that. Slapping that tail down. Yeah, he was not phased about oh, Jimmy Wilkins. That's the Eddie special right there. What happened there, Tony? He was just leaning back a uh, little too far. No, he well, he was about to hang up and he was trying to he was trying to not squat. Right. So he's trying to keep it standing, but because he landed so high, it, he just had he just had to squat out of desperation and it was too late for that. Gotcha. Well, there's plenty more time on the clock that Eddie Ooh, I mean that out. that run right there will probably get him a medal if he lands that. Look at this. Oh no, it's not a double grab. Sorry, <laughs> sun's in my eyes. What can I say? Well, for more, let's head back up to Jason Ellis. Jason, what's going on? What did I say? I told you, Jimmy Wilkins is the greatest skateboarder that has ever lived on the face of the planet. I'm just so happy that I lived long enough to see Jimmy Wilkins exist on a skateboard. I can't <laughs> believe he did that. Well, in had a he, run. In his run, he practiced it over and over again. It looked like he could have made it, but it also looked like maybe one time ever. But when he, I knew on that back to there. All he needed was this giant crowd and everybody here and all the pressure. And he made that look easy. 
I feel like he's going to do it again. I feel like there's more to come for Jimmy Wilkins. My mind is coming out my ear a little bit. I'll be okay, though. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll get medical up there. Is I love that. Is No, but it's <laughs> or is <he> serious. <laughs> I love that, though. I mean, we should all consider ourselves lucky that we're here uh, in the yes, flesh. Yes, that we live in this timeline. Yes. Line. Absolutely. <laughs> I do. Yeah, we definitely witnessed something there. I mean, the fact that he was just trying all the time, but oh, wow. We're Go. moving, boys. Run Mitchie. number two, Mitchy Brusco. Look, can you see Mitchy how solid he is? He's almost like he has to slow down sometimes. Oh, there we go. Oh, Kick him out. 540. And watch this. I'm a big fan of this right here. 720. Here we go. He's going Indy, Indy 3. And now watch. He's going switch. Switch backside. 540. He's going to you seriously. He's the difficulty factor goes to 11. Just an average 5. No big deal. Stealthish 3. Yes. That's the run that Mitchie wanted. And to I mean, your that's point, Tony, put him in the top three. That's the, that is the Mitchie Brusco experience. I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> it's, hard, it's hard to explain how difficult it is when he does that Indy 3 and sets himself up to be switched. Like, you have to actually change your entire mindset in that moment. It's because you're so twisted up, Because right? Indy 3, you're just recovering from that trick if you do it on a regular basis, even yes. if you're good at it. And he has to switch his mindset in the middle of it to be like, okay, now I'm going switch. Whoa. And I need to get speed out of it. Mitchy Brusco at 90.33 and the, and the Corbin hype meter. You hit him. You hit him with an awesome. I, I hit him with an awesome. It was, it was awesome. I love to see him. Mitchy, I mean, he's an old hand around here. 26. <laughs> he is. Paul right. Luke Ronchetti. Paul's not going to. Oh, oh, Narjar. Second trick. That's a 540 detail right there. And there is very few people in the world that can do that or ever want to do that. Oh, oh and just slapping down a mouth. Oh, just because just he wanted like to. Like a 90s tail snack. Just because he wanted to. And he's the only one that can get away with doing a judo in a uh, pro finals. I actually love his lofty backside. All these he does in yeah. the middle of the ramp. Big, oh, oh man, trying to do a big spin lip slide. Went to Smith, almost made it. Pretty solid up to there though. That's a better run. No. I mean, the wheels are turning. He's He knows what he wants. It's that one run that's going to count. There I it can't is. even explain how dangerous and how difficult that trick is right there. I think we've seen three people ever do it. Sandro, obviously. Sandro. One of the best to do it. Skateboard Vert starting off the night. What an opener. And dare I say, as it should be, gentlemen. Man, they're showing off already. Yes. Yes, Brad. We concur. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to MVD at the end of your first run? I mean, the fact that he just got it out of the way. I to Jason's it. point, do we see it again? Yeah, How I does he up the end? Here's a Gusto Akio. Oh, wow. Good slobber tweaking it. This just got some. Oh, trying the backside nose grind there and just slipping off. It kind of went into backside nose blunt. I mean, why not? Yeah. I mean, if anyone could do it, I think he can. <laughs> is that going to center him? He's got one. Is that going to get him in the mode, like in the rhythm? Got it. Okay. That's what it takes. It's a meditation. Yep. For him, whatever it takes to get that line done and get into oh, you thought uh, one I was of the top spots. You thought I was playing about the juggling. No, <laughs> it's very real. So Ronnie Gomez, who came correct on that first run, what does he do for an encore? Oh, Ronnie lands so high. He's got the confidence now too, guys. Yeah, right good there. point, Corbin. Going through the motions on the fives. Heel flip. Aerial flip. Big flip. Oh. oh. Pretty much. Uh, I, I think the fact that he just had everyone on the edge of their seat the whole time. There were so many moments where that could have gone wrong. <laughs> I feel like just the double grab heel flip to Fakey should set him up with a little bit higher score. I mean, this is this controlled one, chaos. This one right here, you see how he doesn't land straight? Yes. He, in practice, he slid out on that numerous times. So uh, he learned his lesson, I guess. And that switch heel, no one's doing that one. Well, the boys are showing out. He is pumped on that one.
22 runs. What really special. What a start to this thing. An 86.66. Oh, to your point, you guys were right. Up to score. But anything could happen still in this. So Guy Curry. Yeah, especially with Guy dropping in. Obviously, we all remember his gold medal performance in Vert Best Trick a couple of years ago. He's been close in Vert, a silver, and a bronze. Can he Question knock the is, door of the top three? Do you want to see a 900? Well, you're probably going to see one. Yeah, yeah, I do. I want to see Look at that. Kickflip Indy. Body barrel, kickflip five. Still kept a lot of speed there, too. Yeah, I love how the lip slide. Here we go, 900. No speed oh, yeah. ever. Squatting it out. Oh, fakey fakey, Indy 5. Keep bringing the heat. Tony, Tony, just talk to me. Like, let's just go through that. To do it, like, normally with a 900, you're, you're you want doing as much speed setup, as yeah. possible. Yagi, yeah, you want as much speed as possible? I mean, the, the fact that he did the lip slide all the way across the ramp gives him a little bit more speed. But, but it's still, no one else yeah. is going to be able to pull it with that much speed. So everybody and else he has can just to do follow that. Up you see him, he just gets super tucked. He spots his landing even after he's below the coping, but he oh. saved it. <laughs> Did you see that little over-rotation on that? Uh-oh, meme cam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. Someone's going to get us on that later on. I An 87.66 for Key. Good enough for that bronze medal spot. Yeah, that is, wow. Those top four. What a run for Guy. Some heavy, heavy runs to be judging. I mean, apples to oranges in a lot of ways, but I get it. So Elliot Sloan. Elliot with a huge heel flip. Coming in tuck knee, big fan of that. There we go, heel flip. Still just got so much speed. All right, this is where we had a trip last time. Kick flip melon, no problem. Oh, method on it. Oh, I love that. Oh, no. Oh. So that wall. Throughout, throughout practice was a big problem because the wind was pushing you out from the from the coping and uh, it was also killing your speed on the way up so um, I'm surprised you had trouble yeah right but you see it just took off a little bit too early an unreal crowd on hand here in Ventura California for day one of X Games I mean look at this are you not entertained I mean this 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 as the vibe that X Games is really back. It's good to be in Ventura in the one spot right on the beach. There's no pl other place I'd rather be. I'm here. I'm not leaving. Moto Shabbat. <laughs> yeah, we've been meaning to talk to you about that. Moto alley oh. an impossible lean air. Alley oop, McTwist. The alley oop, McTwist blows my mind. Here we go. Kick flip, McTwist right here. I've seen his line. Oh. And what's next? Make it to 85. Looking strong. Oh, that trick, okay. Wow. Frontside cat Madonna is is so hard to land straight. Is it just because you're, it's blonde the it's, whole time? No, it's also because, oh, stand seven. Wow. I love how the big twist is just to get him back. Oh, no. Oh. So the very last trick there was going to be a, a front foot impossible lean to tail, which he usually does in any, any given run. Right. Um, but that, uh, this alley-oop, that is so hard because you cannot see your landing zone the way that you're used to seeing it. It's kind of like moving towards you. And Tony, as you said, from a judge's perspective, apples to oranges. I mean, all of these guys that have top scores right now are doing it so differently. If he had made that, it was going to be a toss-up about the top three. No question. Yeah, that uh, frontside cow Madonna, it, it, your body wants to keep spinning, so it, it kind of makes you go into a revert mode, and he can stop himself mid-spin. I don't know how he does it. But he does it. He does it. Wow. He, he An 89. Good enough for top wow. three. I feel like there's going to be a lot of changes here in the, in the next 17 yeah, we minutes. Moving, we can just keep moving the scores up. Just jumped out of my chair for my G, Mitchy Brusco. Ronnie Gomez with another great rum bro. I mean, Tom could break into that. Absolutely. Yeah. So here's oh, Tom Shar's second run. It's like a disaster lip slide. 
looks like he's just going for it again, going through the motions. Wow, back tail is just for good measure. And that's the one of the tricks where he makes it look oh. like a ramp that's so small. Yep. Go. Oh, now the cat lip slide. Hits the body barrel five, he's got it. No speed with that. Front side blood. <laughs> See how much he pops on that front side? Yes. Like he's coming down to a mini ramp. It, Hello. it makes it look like he's going up a, a flat wall. Yeah, like yes. a, like a vert, yeah. vert wall, flat wall, and he pops out because he needs to get further back. Yeah, he doesn't even need the transition on the way down. I mean, that could bust him into top three right there. What a heavy run from Tom Shar. As we take another look. I mean, this is getting exciting. He had no speed coming out of that too. And he just wanted to put it down. Yeah, so that's that's almost halfway down that landing. And then he went into a front side blunt because that's all the speed he had. Yeah, I think so. Kind of set him back up again, right? <laughs> wow. Under 16 minutes to skate with here in the Pacifico Men's Skateboard Vert Final an 85.33. If that's, wow, sixth, that's place, sixth place, that just tells you how elevated the skateboard and, and is, you know is here tonight. The only thing that you can say is, is because Tom's trick was so hard, he had to do a couple setup errors. Right, yeah. And they don't want to see the setups. That's got to be it. Well, there you see our current leader. Let's learn a little bit more about Jimmy Wilkins in this Pacifico. Discover more. To get ready for X Games Ventura, I've just kind of been trying to skate a lot. It's super exciting to be back with a crowd at a venue proper X Games. The crowd makes a really big difference when you're skating, like it definitely brings a lot of energy and working on a new trick that I'm gonna try to add in at the end of my line. Hopefully I get to that. I have six X Games gold medals and five of them were consecutive. It's the Jimmy Wilkins show. How can people compete with this box? Wow. At the end of the day, like everyone deserves to be here and everyone can win, you know, it's just everyone rips so hard, but Depends on who's got it that day, I guess. It's how it always is, man. You never know. But uh, you, the only way it's been done is grabbing Indies. So he grabbed tail grab. So we call it tail grab. Jimmy Wilkins, I love that he said that they're proper X Games with the fans back. And he put on a show for them on run number one with an NBD. I am like at the edge of my seat of no. what we could see here the rest of the way from Jimmy. But it is. Oh. It's... Wait, was that his run right there? Yeah, he was going for a kick so. the backside lip slide yeah. at warp speed, I'll tell you that. I think he was going to run out of ramp had he made that anyway. <laughs> Maybe he's going to do Straight a stage dive. Yeah, stage why not? Stop. I was going to say. He said he, the crowd's back. Jimmy! Let me jump in <laughs> yeah. and then And then the music starts. That okay. would be an amazing that would be so close good. out. I <laughs> kick flip back flip across it and then just eject. <laughs> Talk about into it, man. That's yeah. happening. Is that yeah. is this what you want? <laughs> well, I, I mean, he said it uh, in that package right there that he was going to try a new trick. He did it in his yeah. first run, yeah. like unbelievable. So Eddie Damasoy, oh wow, sitting in eighth place and goes down early. So that's the trick number that, two. That's the trick he washed out on last time, but he did it later in his run. I think he wants to do it early because it's e it's easier for him via speed. Gotcha. He wants to be higher. He can probably yeah, I mean, that's the kind of trick that requires a lot of airtime and a lot of effort. And if you're already tired in the run. We're two runs in here at day one of X Games California, and it's Jimmy Wilkins leading the way. Who's going to catch him? We'll find out when we return to night one of X Games California here in Ventura. Wait. <laughs> It is my lucky day. We're surrounded by internet royalty here. This is Andy THPS. That stands for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, okay? One of the best players in the entire world. If you can, zoom in on this t-shirt right here. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I'm basically a huge dork, and throughout high school, I played so much Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, I gained a reputation of being one of the best. And Neversoft reached out to hire me as a tester, and I grew to be a level designer and designed for a bunch of the games throughout the series, and I helped them do the remake of Vicarious Visions, and I've just been a game designer for 20 years now. 
Yeah. I'm just gonna have to bow for a second. We're not worthy. That's not necessary. We're not worthy. But dude. thank you though. Well, thank no, thank you for helping redesign the game, man. The game has been so fun to play. Um, where can we? Where can people watch you? Are you streaming live? twitchtv uh, slash thps or youtubecom slash thps. And this is great because I'm known for missing high fives. I feel like I've missed like five since I walked through this gate over here. Can we do one right there? Okay, thanks. I'm also a huge dork. That was a dork ass high five. There we yeah. go. Yeah. Dude, you also play in a band? Yeah. So I play drums for a bunch of different bands. I'm in a band called Wrong Warp. We just released a single. But last night, I didn't play drums. I played the game on stage with a band called The Downhill Jam. We just do solely Tony Hawk's Pro Skater cover songs Sick. from the soundtrack. And I play the game on stage with the projector in the back, and the crowd just loves it. We had a great time last night. What's your relationship with Tony Hawk like? Well, he came out last night, and he, he introduced us, and he knows my whole story, and he really loves, he really likes it when I have my stamp on the game. When I say it's good, he sort of believes it's good, too, and if we align, then I think we have a solid product to put out for people. So, yeah. So, what do you think of just being out here? It's been fun standing here and watching you. I mean, like, what's it like seeing it all in person? It's unreal, actually. I feel like we've come such a long way. Like, I just saw someone throw down a 900 just, like, casually, and, like, Jimmy Wilkins is just crushing it, flying so high, kick with twist. Like, I don't know, mid-run is just wild, and it's just been wild. This is an awesome day. It's been great. Are you, are you going to see some of these runs and then just try to like recreate them in the game? Yeah, it might start going the other way around. Like, yeah, yeah. a little bit of give and take, yeah, for sure. That's insane, dude. That's yeah. insane. Um, what's your highest trick score? Do you have one? Uh, 1.6 billion in Tony Hawk 4. Uh, I don't typically Wait, go what? for... Yeah, they take so long. It's like 18, 24-minute combos. So, like, the amount of time that it takes is just, like, not really worth it. So I just play for fun and just hang out with people and, like, vibe. Yeah. How do you do that? I don't understand. Like with the manuals, like how yeah, do you? I mean, like manuals, just do the tricks. Like it's kind of the saying, just do. Yeah. But the longer you go, like the more you're gonna fall. No. Yeah. There's a whole. There's all techniques behind it. Like certain things to avoid doing and to keep doing, so you can keep going Welcome and keep back. just keep going. Yeah. Will you play with me? Is there a way that we could play together somehow? Yeah. I mean, if you have Discord or a phone, do you have a phone app on your phone. I have a phone. I don't have a phone app. I have Discord. I have OBS. I've got a game capture card. We could crush together. Tony won't play me, but why? Oh, I don't know why. He likes to win, I, which I understand. Yeah, uh, yeah. Whenever you, you want to hit me up, I played with Mike Bo recently. We had a great time on Twitch recently. You must know where everything is in that game, huh? All the secret tapes, the letters, the yeah. Speedruns are kind of become my thing a lot recently. So yeah. do you have like clips on YouTube and everything too? Yeah, the, my YouTube channel's full of tutorials, high scores, and me just playing through the games, hanging out with chat, and just like you know having a good time. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for yeah, hanging. Dude. We're definitely we're friends for life. I yeah, hope. Right on. Thank you guys. It's back to the vert. Let's go. The man, the man, the man, the living legend, Tony Hawk. He's with Jason Ellis. What about the 900? Does that ever get old, or what are you thinking every time you do that? Uh, don't fall backwards. <laughs> yeah, that's real smart. That's a good good plan. I wanted to do any, and the last any one twisted my ankle and threw my confidence off, so I just figured I'd stick with the one I know. You, you, lost, you lost your confidence, so then you did a regular 900. Yeah, well, I know that one. I'm used to that one now. It's tough being a Tony Hawk, I tell you. What do you think, LA? Did you enjoy that 900? Wow. <laughs> you guys haven't aged a bit. <laughs> that's remarkable. Uh, thanks. I know it's not true. That's okay. <laughs> We're still here. We're doing it. Right, Jason? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I feel like I look better than you, but you still skate better, so I'll take it. <laughs> all right. Oh, okay, well, I, I can, I can I live with that. I yeah, can yeah, you that. can live with that, right? It's all right. Yep. Pre appreciate the candor it's okay. from Jason. <laughs> what you Ellis. see is what you get here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Pacifico Men's Skateboard, Bert, Brandon Graham, Tony Hawk, Corbin Harrison, of course, Jason Ellis. We're having fun out here, and I don't know if we've ever seen the start to a vert contest quite like what we're seeing transpire here this today, boys. This has been wild. I mean, almost everyone has a ridiculous run under their belt. Oh, 900 high. Oh, oh wow. wow. Mitchie Brusco. <laughs> wow. Out for rolling. <laughs> There's something about the rolling there. I know it, it gives people speed, but it is hard to, to 
get your timing straight yeah. off it because you're used to coming down the vert wall. There's a certain rhythm and timing to that. When you're coming off of this big bank wall, it's hard to snap into that mode. That, and, that's, uh, that's what I was going to ask. Is it the rhythm? Because it's the you rhythm. Know, yeah. You, so you could see that he pulled off too far, and I believe it's because he was going down that roller. Yeah. Ooh. So Paul here's Paul Luke. Luke. Giant judo. Oh, oh that overturn. I mean, that's kind of a crossbone. Stopping that down. Yes, bigs. I mean, I feel like Paul's one of the only ones that can really get away with just a frontside stiffy, and it's cool. Ooh, 360 for Bindi. That's the one you were talking about before. He's going locked in. He wants to do something on the lip here. Heel heel flip. Bindi. Oh, frontside heel flip. Solid run. I mean, he put it together, it was, you know, a few setups, but. Got the tricks in there. A full pool, the best run of the day so far for Paul Luke. Comes on run number three. <laughs> so another look at that. In flow motion. 360 flip, Indy. That one's so hard to catch. It seems incredibly hard to catch that one. An 81 for Paul Luke, good enough for seventh place. Augusto, you can put the balls down. It's uh, time to drop in. It's the meditation, I'm telling you right now. He just wants to get in the zone. What if he dropped in with them in his hand? And did a five? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, the score's going to go up. <laughs> Is it? I'd love to get an It'd answer. I'd love to get just an answer want, like, from the judges five, on that. And then, and then toss them all and keep the run going. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be. Oh, crooked cop, Melon Five. He's just twisting his board every way here. Nice. I like that Gusto will just throw in some 80s tricks, but he does them so smooth and so big that they work. Oh, oh. you kickflip lean. That is. There you go, front board. Oh, wow, nice. <laughs> that's like, that's the go-to kickflip five these days. That's amazing. Kickflip body barrel five. You've seen that in at least four or five people's runs. How did he have so much weight on that front truck, Tony, and still come out of that? I mean, it's... Just fighting the wheel by the whole way down. Here it is. Here it is. Let's see the slow mo all the way out on this one. It's because you need a lot of speed for that, and he didn't have it. But there it look at that. You see that wheel bite? Oh, wow. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> so you can have a little bit of those buzzes farts. We are in the midst of a very heavy Pacifico men's skateboard vert final here on night one of X Games California. And what a treat these fans have been in store for so far. Jimmy Wilkins, of course, leading the way with that NBD on his very first run. I don't know if anyone can catch him, but someone who's been skating very well here tonight, maybe the best we've seen him on the vert ramp in a long time at X Games, Ronnie Gomez. Yeah, he's really happy about it also. I'm, I'm really wondering what and how he can up the ante on this run. Man, so high every time. Here we go. This is the same run. Oh no! I feel like there was. Yeah, I feel like he had something planned. For, for, yeah, I feel like he did too. But for the people at home, like when you land that high and your wheels touch the coping, like how dangerous is that? Tony? Uh, I mean, that that can be super dangerous, obviously, because that's you're at the very risk of, of hanging up. You're at the, the as close as you can be to hanging up. Yeah. Um, but it gives you a lot of speed. Well, there's a look at our judging criteria, and uh, for more transparency, let's actually head over to Jason Rothmeyer, our head judge. Jason, uh, our minds have been blown so far early in this vert contest. How about you boys? This might be the hardest vert contest I've ever judged in my life. <laughs> <laughs> but talk to us about Jimmy Wilkins, that first run out the gate. I mean, that was insane. Yeah, that's a psycho way to set the bar, right, to do something that... Definitely no one's ever seen it in a contest before. I haven't seen it on video either, so it's 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 awesome. Yeah. I, it's, I, it's never been done. Never yeah. been hit. <laughs> it's, it's never been thank done. You. Lincoln claim never been done. I, I had never seen it before in a video, so, yeah, it's, it's so sick. Yeah, thank you, Jason. So, again, 
Wilkins leading the way, Michi in second, and Moto Shibata clinging to that third spot. One guy who could potentially crash this podium, though, is sitting in that fourth place position, Guy Curry. Yeah, he definitely can. We want to know what he's got in the bag of tricks. That's the thing he was lacking before was the speed and the height, and he's got it now. So tricks like that, he doesn't have to squat it out. He doesn't have to struggle with it. I mean, lip slide to 900. Here we go. Oh, man, how do you stop spinning when you're twirling that fast? Well, he does it. He does it. Keep him in the landing halfway down well. with that one. And, oh, faking and faking, Indy 5. Solid. I think he was hoping to get some speed out of there, just something else, but it worked. So time expires on Guy Curry, who once again delivers here on run number three. I think he'll take it. Let's take another look. There you go. Big flip body rail. So for the un uninformed, that leaves the, the board behind a 180. So its board does a uh, 360, and he does a 540. I love how that's the trick that everyone's doing. It's like the front I know, side. I don't know why everybody's doing easy. this. Hang on, it's like the front side boneless hey, in park. You know everyone did that. I was saying, Keegan Palmer <laughs> kind of won the Olympics with that trick. He had, yeah. That was his secret weapon. That was it. No, he, he practiced that in Arizona, yeah. Keegan Palmer, and then he ended up winning because of that trick. It was his secret weapon. Yeah. No one was, else had a secret. And secret that was weapon. like the only 540 variation we saw in the park event. So Absolutely. It worked. All right, so here we go. Here's Elliot, Elliot oh, Sloan, who only that? knows one way to go. Can we say that was a uh, heel from Christ there? And that's to oh. the moon. I think Elliot's going to get another run. He just needs one. He just needs one. That's all he needs. And and he's going for it. He's going for broke. But as you guys said, I mean, he just, he goes Sandy no matter what. No matter yeah. what. That's just. It, it, but it, that'll work in your benefit in this format. Correct. I mean, the same with Jimmy. You know, just go in for it straight out of the gates. It's paid off. So here's Moto Shibata. What can he do to oh, potentially <laughs> topple so Michi Brusco gnarly. for that second spot? Go. Okay, for five. Oh. Oh. It felt like he got caught up in that, Tony. He's all right. No, I know. He's fine. <laughs> Brings the 80s and he kills it. I love it. Corbin's like, I, I think he got lost in the sauce. So he's like, No, I know. Trust yeah, me. Okay, he'll, be, okay. he'll be all right. I see what we're doing here. <laughs> I'm going to get the meter Just out for that you one. You can't see it. He can see it. <laughs> oh. It, 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 it looked like it, but he looks. Yeah. He, he rode it out of that smooth. Let's, like, check out I'll, Moto I'll Let's check out Moto Vision here. So he will hold on to that first run score that's got him in that bronze medal spot right now. We turn our attention, though, to Tom Shar. So much history has been written here at X Games. Let's hear more from Tom on his favorite moments at X Games. I think my favorite moment is the Bob run from, like, 2001, I think, where he just did everything. Bob Bernquist, he needs a 95-5 to overtake first. Bucky had, like, a 96 before Bob dropped in, and then Bob was just like, hold on, watch this and just did every trick that you could think of. Into the switch mode. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, we have lost our minds. I think my favorite was probably just the first X Games I did. I was so young and I didn't really know what was going on, but it was uh, it was really cool just to be a part of it. And uh, I don't know, that's kind of what started my X Games career. From 2012 Big Air to 2023, being a force on this vert ramp. Tom Shar can do it all. Tony, you and I were talking during break. He's in six, maybe because of a couple setup tricks. If he can knock those out, certainly podium worthy. Absolutely. I mean, right, like, right now. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, uh, you don't come back from that one. He uh, got ahead of himself on the 540 through the flat, and that really just screws up your rhythm and your timing. It would have been a dangerous move to try to plan that tail grab five right there. Well, he knew that. That's why he came off. I, I mean, he's got, I think he's got one more, at least, right? He's got one more. Yeah, it's tracking that way as we're closing in on the seven-minute mark here in the Pacifico men's skateboard vert, Jimmy Wilkins. 
What does he do for run number three? I don't know how it first feels place. to you guys, but it felt like a long time at the start, and now it just feels like the shortest period ever. Yeah. Oh, there you oh. go. Kick flip back lift. As fast as you can go. He he was hauling on that one. 120 miles per hour. I don't even know how you come in on that. With not a lot of room to spare. No. So Edward Domestoy. Sitting in ninth place right now, still looking for that familiar run that has put him in the top spot in a number of contest finishes this past year. He's looking focused though. Kickflip, Indy 5, he's got it. Oh, oh. Man. He just keeps landing a little too high. Right there, he didn't have quite the right rotation. I believe if he gets another run, it's coming, it's going now. Slowly but surely. Jason Ellis nearly had his hand on the board up there. Maybe we would have seen it run from him. Well, three runs in here at day one of X Games California. More from the Pacifico men's skateboard vert when we return after this. I'm uh, wait, yeah, let's, uh, uh, let's uh, I'm, hold on, wait, hold on. Wait, I'm, wait, I'm, getting word. I'm getting word. We're going to keep this thing going. Oh, I'm sorry, boys. Quitters. Let's keep going. More skateboarding. Jimmy. We all win. In fact, let's go up to Jason Ellis. <laughs> Jimmy. Jason, I, what do you got for us? I got Jimmy Wilkins. I got the greatest skateboarder in the history of the universe that ever lived. <laughs> and he's right here next to me. Jimmy, you already did a trick that you were like, I'm going to try and do it in my ride. And then you did it first ride. Uh -huh. What do you do next to beat Jimmy Wilkins? Um, I don't know. I'd really love to do this kickflip back lip uh, off the roll and something I wanted to do for ages. Uh, I don't know if it's any better. It'd just be cool. So. <laughs> no, if you do a kickflip back to the lip side, that's way better. Trust me. <laughs> do that and then do the, your little lean 540 thing and then just wipe the floor. Tell everybody to go home. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. Thanks, dude. Uh, I love that. What's Jimmy Wilkins going to do to Jimmy Wilkins? It's Jimmy v. Jimmy here at the Pacifico Men's Skateboard Vert. This next segment brought to you commercial free. So, Mitchy Brusco sitting in that silver medal spot. What can he do here on his fourth and potentially final run? More of the same, but keep his speed up. Oh, uh, look at look at his face. He looks 900. Like he wants. Oh, he just keeps pulling off a little too far. Like if he were to try to land that, his legs would be completely extended, and he wouldn't be able to to, to pull it off through through the flat bottom. It seemed like he was at the bottom of that that sheet there. Well, he was gonna land. He was gonna land low, but also his legs were already fully extended. So that's just the recipe for disaster. Yeah. You're gonna and and have it's good a that he threw time. it away, because I mean, it, yeah, you're, yeah it, you're gonna have a bad time. We do 900. Well, and your legs are straight. Uh, we would not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> tell us, tell us more time. about things we don't know about. That's a very exclusive club there, Tony. That you are the yeah, uh, next president, time he does founding that, yell member pizza. of. Like some, just, so yell pizza. <laughs> Mitchie, pizza. <laughs> so here's Paul Luke Ronchetti, who's put oh, a couple of no, no, no. runs together. So technical that trick. 540 to tail. You gotta be so precise. Oh, this is the run the Paul Luke wanted. 365 Indy right there. It does seem like it's it. Hey, judo. Oh, oh no. Just oh. around on that five. And guys, I don't know if you're keeping score at home. He had an 81. And he's in eighth place right now. Wow. That's how intense this contest is. I mean, the skateboarding right now is just being pushed to the limits. I mean, that was not that long ago a podium run score, potentially. Well, I think they would have scored it higher a while back. So the giving an 81 in the context of this situation, yes. But had he done that run five years ago, they would have scored higher because they'd never seen him. Right. Oh, hang on. Is this also some sort of meditation where you have your uh, skateboard on your nose? The, the chin balance? <laughs> that was chin, was it? Yeah. Be the board. Be the board. <laughs> Augusto <laughs> Aquino. <laughs> We're closing in on the three-minute mark here in Pacifico Men's Skateboard nice. Bird. We're having fun with it. Here we go. 85. Oh, this is a good run. 
This could be the run he's after. Oh, kick from Lean. It just seemed like when he kicked that out for the kick, Aliyev kicked it. Lean, it, it, it was a little slow. I would honestly say that would happen more often than not on that trick for anyone trying it because it's the most, the most awkward kick flip position. You're flying blind, you can't see your landing, and you're trying to reach for a melon right. grab. There's just so many things that are going wrong there. Even when it's not alley-oop, it's hard, and that happens. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Absolutely. when you're doing alley -oop, we rarely it. see it. We right. rarely see it. Yep, intense. So getting close to the two-minute warning here in the final. Ronnie Gomez sitting in fifth place. Can anyone else shake this up? That's the question. Oh, no. A little double pump there he did on the flat bottom. Do you see yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, and he's always landing. He's always dancing with danger with his landings in terms of landing high. So if he misses his pump, it makes it even more dangerous. An unreal crowd on hand here for the Pacifico Men's Skateboard Vert Final being brought to you commercial free. As we try to crown a winner, who will reign supreme? Can anybody steal this thing away from Jimmy Wilkins? So these are fourth and final runs. We are getting official word. Here now, Guy Curry. He, he, way he starts off with that alley of five. He feels like he's going to lose his speed, but then he doesn't. Here we go. Oh, oh. just the crowd on that one. Call that uh, when you when you grab the wrong rail like that. We call that a suitcase grab. And uh, you're not really thinking. I mean, <laughs> well, a few Ask people Bob have. Burquist. Bob Burquist, I will say, is the exception to the rule. That that in my time of X Games history is some of the the best skateboarding to watch ever. No when question. Bob is grabbing Bob will, it upside down. Bob will throw down. a half roll into it. Uh, yeah, shout out to Bob yeah. Burnquist. Bob and is one of one. And all of the moments. So here now, Elliot Sloan. Oh, yeah, that. All in that 55. And a tough day at the office for Elliot Sloan. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough one. He's, he's going to be disappointed with that, unfortunately. But, you know, that's, that's skateboarding, and that's the level that we've got right now. But he's not done this weekend. He'll still have best trick. And uh, I'm sure he's got a few tricks up his sleeve for that, Brandon. So here's Moto Shibata. Can he shake things up? He's sitting in that bronze medal spot, Tony. Oh, I love that trick so much. Alley oops are insane. Kickflip. Japan. Oh. Here we go. Big and big five. He's trying to the frontside cap. Oh, 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 sliding it. He slid on that one. He wanted to slide it, but he had to. Stale seven. Yes. Wow. Bringing it around. <laughs> There's wow. a run. So right there, wow. that front side air, I'm pretty sure that he was going to try the uh, impossible lean to tail. And you can tell that he kind of wobbled on the way up and just said, you know what, i got to stay on. So and he did. There. He stayed on. How does this change things, do you think, Tony? I, I feel like the judges, it's kind of what he did on the last run, good run he had. But I feel like the judges are going to see it as a little better. I don't know why. Interesting. So a fire run I to close it out for Moto Shibata. Is it enough to potentially bump down Michi Brusco? It's probably going to be about the same score. There you go, 89.33. So the slight jump bump. Slight jump, yeah. You know what you're talking about. Someone saw something. Special. Just a, just enough. Do you think he went a little higher that time yeah, as maybe well? That was I it, think yeah. it was the high. Yeah. So Here here's Tom Shar. Don't count out Tom Shar. He's an all, right. all terrain he's vehicle. Not doing that. Okay, he's kind of playing it safe here. Ollie into that backside tail side, locking it in. Oh, 360 yes. flip. And he brings it around. Game. There's a new one. This is gonna change things. Oh man, that, that cap, Ali lip slide is so hard. Here we go, kick flip, no speed. Yes, pass. and that was on the buzzer. Oh. That was on the buzzer. That's oh. it. Oh. <laughs> lip slide revert to oh. cap disaster, backside revert, just for fun, because the, the it was time was up. Yeah, but 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 you know what? 
you, you've been in a lot of contests over, over your years. When you keep going at the end and time's still done, that sometimes plays with the judges, it does, right? I mean, it has to, a little bit. It, yeah, it, it could influence them for sure. Yeah. And, and I don't know, why not? He's, he was he was on a roll. Yeah, he was on a roll. So just keep it going. And you just want to see more when that's happening. Doesn't matter what trick it is. But even separating what he did after the buzzer, that run from Tom Shaw. That's his best run, by far. He's he's gonna be happy the with that one. The only thing that, that they could the only critique they could give him is that he did have to do one or two setups to get to those impossibly hard tricks. Yeah, an eighty-six point three three. So he bests his score, but does not move up in the standings. So just two skaters left to drop in here in the Pacifico Men's Skateboard Vert Final. Coming to you commercial free. Our current leader drops in now. Jimmy Wilkins might be the best vert skater of this generation from Munchie, Maine. Uh, yeah, I mean, if this is a seventh career uh, vert no. gold medal, be hard to argue. Hey, Brandon, I was going to say commercial free because these guys aren't even letting us go anywhere. Yeah, that's true. If we tried to get up, we could. <laughs> there is so much action going down here. And then there was one. One last guy who can shake things up. Our gold medalist from Japan. A win at Vert Alert just a few weeks ago. Eddie Damaskor. Yet to find that solid run here tonight. Does Damastoy save his best for last. I spoke to his manager uh, earlier today on text. He's overseas and couldn't be here at the moment, but he said he's just he's just locked into gear lately. He just feels it. So uh, if he's feeling it, he looks pretty confident. A couple of big deep breaths, and he's about to roll in for the last run. Huge fatal grab. Oh, kick flip 85 this time. Oh, he's worked because he had all the speed. Front side five, huge, aka rodeo. Tony, you're right. He's keeping the speed now. That's what he wanted. He's got a mean Madonna, too. <laughs> Holding on to that. Oh, no. oh. Oh. 83. He was so close. So he close. was on one. I, I believe if he made that run, he was going to maybe land in second or third, but you're not going to beat Jimmy's starter run. I mean, that was it. That is it. I mean, that was, at the top. that was mind blowing. I mean, for us to come out, he, he said it to us. He goes, I'm going for it right now. As we check out the replay right now. I mean, arguably the best vert final we have seen in so long, maybe ever, headlined by Jimmy Wilkins earning, I won't say it until it's official, but I'll say it. And and NBD, <laughs> we lost our minds. And, and it wasn't sketchy. He landed that thing perfect. absolutely perfect. perfect. Yeah. On his first one. First Jimmy run. Wilkins. At the top, now we're here. <laughs> winning wow. a seventh career X Games gold medal. He's got to be, got to be really stoked with that one. Uh, what an, what an achievement, and I'm so glad that I'm back in the booth to see it. So Jimmy wins gold, Nichi with the silver, and Moto Shibata earning bronze. Yeah. <laughs> Those guys are like, could be this guy, could be that guy. What a moment for Jimmy Wilkins. Let's head down to Jason. Look, everybody, I told you he was the greatest skateboarder of all time in the history of the universe. And look, he got a gold medal to prove it. <laughs> Were you a little bit nervous trying to do the trick that you've never done before in a contest ride? Uh, yeah, it was pretty scary, but um, I was mostly just excited to like come out here and try something new and have all my friends here, so that was super sick. Uh, it was really fun. <laughs> it looked really good, and the crowd was super psyched. Did the crowd help you get pumped? It's been a while. Yeah, um, it, it's definitely been a while for X Games, but I was kind of just like, was really close to the trick, and I just needed the crowd to help me like commit. Yeah. You know? Well, they did it, and you did it, and you are officially, like I said before the contest started, the greatest skateboarder of all time in the history of the universe. Jimmy Wilkins, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> what a performance. Oh. Number seven for Jimmy Wilkins. Guys, final thoughts. I mean, just to be out here again with the fans, this field putting on a show, it was just special to be out here. That was the most exciting uh, vert or transition skating that I've ever seen, and I feel wow. like just every year. You've seen a few. And I'm thankful for X Games for including Ver because it is not a lost art, and you can see why.
Hey, it is something special. I, I just love how humble Jimmy is. He is. He's one of the greatest skateboarders of all time. No he's got one of the greatest styles. He just doesn't compare to something. Like, he's just got something special. And for him to come out and do that trick that's never been done before... I'm so glad to be back in, 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 in this seat because that was that was great. Yeah, an amazing experience. Congratulations you're all to our entire to field. <laughs> I hope you like what you saw. What a performance from all of our skateboarders out here tonight. Best vert final ever. Yeah, I uh, wouldn't doubt that. An unreal showing, but congratulations again to Jimmy Wilkins on earning his seventh career gold medal. Much more from X Games California after this. the internet we have a legend on our hands tony hawk is in the building what was watching that vert contest like through your eyes it was the best that was that was the best vert event i've ever seen and, and every year the the level keeps growing the skaters get more exciting and i'm just so thankful that it's all back here for a crowd for a live crowd and uh i mean you know vert was never gone but it's definitely it's definitely highlighted now. I agree. I feel like everyone's saying there's just like resurgence of vert skating. Like, what do you think that is? Is it like the personalities? Is it the tricks? Um, yeah, and I also think there's just park skating tends to breed this type of skating as well because there's a lot of pools, transitions at the parks, and then people start figuring out like, oh, that's those are the aerial moves, those are the spinning moves. Right. And when you get on the vert ramp, you can go that much higher and spin that much further. So we're on like Twitch and uh, YouTube and Caffeine right now, and I was asking people before if they had a question for you, and one of the questions was, how do you commit to vert? <laughs> you learn how to knee slide. Learn how to knee slide. That's there it. you go. That's there you the go. Secret. I forgot the username, but there you go. Asked your question. Um, what's it like? So now you're a little bit more involved with X Games. Um, so what's it like behind the scenes, like this new role that you're playing? Uh, I enjoy it. I mean, this is kind of what I was doing right after I stopped competing. And uh, then I moved away from it for a while, and, and to be back here with Salema and with Jason Ellis and with Corbin, it's like, it's like old times. But we get to see all this incredible new action, so uh, it's the best of both worlds. What do you love most about it? Like you stand up, and then you have like all these kids shouting your name. Like you get to watch the most insane tricks that like you helped basically invent. What's your favorite part about being out here? 
Um, I love that, that all the skaters continue to push themselves and beyond even even though they have these accolades and they can kind of rest on their laurels, they don't. And that's that's skating. The progression of skating, the idea that you want to keep pushing yourself no matter how you rate is exactly what it's all about. And I mean, just like we saw, Jimmy Wilkins, he's been working on this new trick. He knew that if he's ever going to commit to it, he's going to do it at the X Games. First run, makes it. I was watching him try that all last week, and I never saw him really eye it like he was going to commit to it the whole time. And then he comes here, and it's on. Couldn't agree more. Well, thank you for the wisdom, Tony Hawk. Um, I got to catch up with Andy THPS. Yeah. I heard that you got to like an, introduce him yesterday. He got a two billion trick score He's in your best. game. <laughs> He's the best. He let's put it this way. Andy's so good. At, he was so good at THPS when he was young that he got hired by NeverSoft out of high school what a dream. to work on the game to teach them his secrets because it's like he knew how to use their code better than they did. It's insane. Well, we definitely need some tips from Andy THPS. But Tony, thanks so much for the time. Thanks for everything that you've you've done, that you do. Great chat with you, man. Happy to be here. Enjoy. Thank you. Legend. All righty. I don't know where we're going from here, but um, apparently, apparently Amelia's with Dave England, maybe. I don't know. But either way, that was awesome. Thank you guys for tuning in. We're going to keep having some more fun. TBC, to be continued. What's up, you guys? I'm back here in the booth with none other than Dave England. Dave, how how did you feel about that vert contest? Oh, it was so dope. It was incredible yeah, it was, to watch. It doesn't even look real. Can't believe it. I know. The level of vert skating is just incredible. That was one of the best vert contests that I have ever seen. And I've seen a lot of vert contests. And you said he's your favorite, right, Moto Shibata? Yes, yeah. Oh, man. It looks like you're actually watching Tony Hawk Pro Skater, but it's real life. I know, that kickflip McTwist just flipping all the way yeah. upside down on that. I could, is that what it is, kickflip McTwist? It looked like there's a burial in there somewhere. I, I couldn't tell what it was, but it was so high and so perfect. Love it. Absolutely. He's even got the great lip tricks, like that alley-oop lip slide to Smith. And he's got a cool name, Moto? I wish Moto. my name was Moto. Dave sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you have a great name. Oh, gosh, and you've certainly made a name for yourself with everything that you've done from jackass fame to your snowboarding career, yeah? Yeah, back in the 90s. Amazing. Yep. Been a while. But that, did you ever get that inverted? I never did. <laughs> That's just incredible. No, the control and the precision, it, it's just look at that. It's beautiful with the sun setting. Come on, what else do you want out of life? Honestly, we're on the beach yeah. here. There's like a surf break across the this street. This is my surf break. That's I, your surf I, break? I live right here, no and that, I surf there three times a week. Really? Yeah, me and my bros right there. Wow. That's our spot. We can't. You guys took over our parking lot. Oh, we're so sorry about that. No, it's cool. We'll let it slide. But Mitchie Brusco put together an incredible wow. run I did, here. I don't think I saw that one. I must have been taking a leak. What? Honestly, this I love this combination. Doing the 720 into a 360 Damn. into a switch five that was absolutely very nice incredible. yes i know he was trying to up it by starting his run with a nine the next couple runs but gosh this run just held up and got yeah. him another silver medal wow yeah you can't underestimate that stuff or that you know the, the linking those tricks like it's that's a lot, you know, to come off something super difficult and then straight into something else like that. Yeah, just to it's have your, your footing together and your body position ready for it, the pump. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. It's a work of art right there. Wow, look at that. I yeah, mean, I don't know all. how they do it, you know, in a, you know, over and over again, like to have, have that on lock. Yeah. Because like, that's what you need to be able to do it in competition. Like to just, wow. Like, that seems like something you might be able to do after 100 tries if you're super good. Yeah. Not, like, on demand, let's do it for the contest in front of everybody. Like, wow. I love that you said that because the trick that Jimmy put down in this run, the tail grab seven to fakie, he's actually never landed that before. I saw him trying it all last week. Oh, wow. And yeah. he just looked at me. He goes, I, I'll, just, I'll just make it in the contest and <laughs> to just do that. Like you're yep. saying, like, 
Oh, the Ollie Five, of course. We've seen that. It's beautiful. I think a lot of these guys feed off the energy of the crowd. You know, like maybe they couldn't do it in private or with their friends, but like when they're in front of everyone, they're like, let's go, let's do it. Yeah, and, and there was again, we got to see it. But you're right. And having the crowd here at X Games, being back in front of everyone, because, you know, it was at the CATF. You know, it was in Elliot's backyard, and it was just smaller, you know, more intimate. But yeah. there's something about the, the energy here that just has really escalated the level of skateboarding. It's the ocean air. That's true. That's, That's what true. it is. Maybe they all surfed your break this morning. This, the tail grab seven wow. to fakey. You're blind on that. So blind right there. So blind. It's just, just full commitment. Wow. He just knows exactly where he's at, and he just stomps it. That's never been done in competition before. It, for a reason. That's right. Apparelson yeah. has done it. I believe Bob may have done it. I know he did an indie one. But to put it in a contest line and to land it first try, your first run. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm just, I'm just all kinds of fired up here, you guys. Me too. And Jimmy back on gold as well. Wow. So how's the surf been? It's been okay, you know, summertime's not always the biggest, but it's consistent and fun. Yeah, Great. having a good time out there. And it's literally just right there. You can almost throw a rock at the surfers from here. Wow. You wanna do it? Let's go. <laughs> throw rocks or surfer, both? Let's throw rocks at the surfers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it won't affect them as much as uh, the like throwing rocks at rollerbladers. With oh, that come on, that's not nice. Skit. No way. Well, I swear that was. No, I, I think skit. I know what you're talking about. That was an old Big Brother video where Dave Carney oh, was. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, he came out. He got beat up really bad. But <laughs> he deserved it. He's being a jerk. Yeah, that's that's definitely mean. Yeah. So throwing rocks at surfers won't affect them as much, but <laughs> they won't know who threw it. They'll just say like somebody <laughs> in out of these. What? How many? Pe this throng of people. Throng. I don't think I've ever used that word. That's a good word. I'm going to use it for now on throng. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Great vocabulary word right there. Yeah. It kind of, it's like thong and wrong <laughs> mixed together. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Any other first impressions from today? This is just amazing that this, okay, so this is the fair. This is the fairgrounds where the fair is every year since I was a little kid. And um, just to see it have all this awesome, all these transitions everywhere that they built up. I watched them do it over about a week's time. They built all this stuff, and it's incredible, and I can't even believe it. That's Very awesome. impressive. Chat, do you have any questions for Dave England? Nothing yet? <laughs> Something's They're like, get rid of him. Up. No, definitely no, not. Kidding. Do you want to show them your new like fingerboard trick? I saw. Oh, you, uh, I don't know if I can do it on, on a. On oh, oh, inspired well. by the vert contest. Oh. Yeah, let me see. I'll get that 720 tail grab. Oh. There are more yeah. events tonight. Motocross is coming up next. That's going to be the last event of the evening. And Dave England is such a boss. I agree. Ordeal. Wait, the boss of who? Such a boss. I didn't know. I've never been a boss. I've only been an employee. <laughs> I would hate to be a boss. It would suck. I oh. wouldn't know what to tell people. Okay. I have an important question. And if you'd really like to demonstrate, you could. But can you kickflip? And would you like to join uh, our kickflip challenge? No. <laughs> no, I mean, I can kickflip, but I don't enjoy it. And usually my ankle feels horrible afterwards. I'm from the 80s. Like, that's what I, like, blossomed into skateboarding when there was no such thing as a kickflip. Kick flip era. And I've never, for me, it's been something I can't do consistently. So I'm like, I, I, I like to do things I can do all the time. So I just, I'm not a kickflip person. And I bet everyone, you know, won't like that answer. I definitely agree. Kickflips are hard on the ankle. Like if it's first thing in the morning, there's no way like I'm going to do a kickflip right off the bat. It is a good <laughs> feeling when you land. around it. a little bit. When you land, it is very rewarding. I'll, I'll give it that. I, I just now got back into snowboarding. I live here in the Ventura County where we're very far from any snow. And we had so much snow in California this year. I bought an Icon Pass and started going up to Mammoth and Big Bear. And I think I'm hooked again. And yeah, Mammoth was incredible this, this season. We got like seven and a half feet of snow at once, multiple it's times. Crazy, so much snow. What's your favorite memory from Jackass? I saw that as one of the questions that came up on the chat. Um, memory from Jackass? Um, 
I think it's a horrible memory, but it is my favorite one. Is we just finished filming uh, the first movie and going down the freeway, we trashed the van while it was going in the fast lane down the freeway. Oh my god! And uh, th my favorite part was when Ryan Dunn pulled the air conditioning unit out of the sidewall of the van, and it just sprayed that whatever that Freon gas is throughout the whole van and blinded the driver. Oh and, my It almost gosh. killed the entire cast. <laughs> I can understand yeah. now why you remember that so well. I'm sure the adrenaline was surging. I was just laughing my ass off is oh what I was doing. Oh my gosh. That is that is an epic memory. So that was, like. yeah. <laughs> wow, great name. Love the name. Yeah. Uh, Dave, what's your favorite burrito in Ventura? Oh, um, Ojai Tortilla Shop in Ojai. I really like them. Yum. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. I don't know if you guys covered this, but what's like your whole like X Games pass with X Games? Were you going to a bunch of them growing up? And I have only ever been to one. Really? And it was uh, wasn't that long ago, but I'd say like 2009, 10 down yep. at the, I think where was it Staples Center? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I remember I walked up to the top of the um, the mega ramp, and I was like, "This is what they're dropping in on." <laughs> I couldn't even believe it. Like I didn't want to be it's standing insane. there. It's insane. Up. I was scared to be standing if there. If you're afraid of heights, like, I'm like, I might fall in yeah. there. Don't go up there if you're afraid of heights. Yeah, and I was talking to um, one of the guys, Elliot, about it, and he was talking about you just tighten your big old white trucks until they don't even turn. Yeah. So, totally. Or you'll get the speed wobbles and, and die. And those skateboards alone are huge. The mega yeah. skateboards yeah. are insane looking. But still, even with so all much. that, you've got to be a real crazy person to do that. Yep, for sure. Absolutely. Um, Let's see. Did you see that Bam's out here too? Are you still hanging with Bam? Um, I haven't seen Bam for a while. He He's here. We, he walked by. No way. He is here. Uh, what? Yeah. Bam, Bam is here right now. Yeah. Oh, well, here. I will be finding him yeah. and hanging out with Bam. <laughs> and I'll be I'll be able to say I just hung out with Bam. That is awesome. What? I am blown away on that yeah, one. Yeah. He walked by and we were just like, oh. Are you sure it wasn't oh. someone who looked like Bam? It was Bam. It was definitely Bam. Right? This is his kind of well, now that you're he like was they right there. Wait, I I think yeah. it was definitely him. It was him. It was him. When's the last time you saw him? All right, fine. It's an elaborate prank, and he's in on it. And okay, something bad's about to happen. <laughs> he's like, I feel bad now that we're doing this. <laughs> that's that's how you are. You're like always on your toes, right? Yeah. Like anything yeah, can like, happen. Uh oh. Any given moment. Yeah. What's what's your worst memory from from oh. Jackass, or like oh. most painful? Um, most painful. Uh, I don't even know. Like, I don't, you, you know what? You know, it wasn't a, the worst. I don't even. I don't think about worst. Worst yeah. memories. I just push them so far down <laughs> yeah, that I don't so ever think about them. Sure. But um, my best, like, painful memory it was the fire hose rodeo, where there was just a fire hose dangling oh, down, yeah. and Wee Man was shaving my butt at the time, and I was in this clear plastic suit that I just happened to put on. I'm like, I wonder what that thing's for. And that's when our director, Jeff Tremaine's like, um, who wants to hang on to that? We're going to turn the fire hose on full blast and let it go. And I'm like, I'll do it. That was fun. I was, I was in the mood. I don't know if it was you know, from Wee Man shaving my butt or what, but I, you know, that was for Aaron's beard, by the way. We were like getting yeah. all the pubes for his hair. His beard. <laughs> but yeah, the next thing I know, I'm on the thing. And then as it started to go, I was like, oh, wow, this the metal tip at the end. I hope it doesn't hit me in the head. But uh so we're going, 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 and then it finally whipped me down, and, and I hit a jagged rock on my oh. inner butt crack. Oh. And it, that really hurt. I couldn't sit down for and about you, three weeks. You had no hair to cushion the blow. Yeah, I, th I think okay. the hair so would have done me well. Damn. You nah, both yeah. had some severe butt injuries is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Your 20, 32 foot slam to your butt. You rocked to the God. butt mid. Yeah. Yeah. Not shaving. Yeah. It sounds like wow. we actually have something similar. We have a battle, battle versus victory situation oh. here where they're going to show us a clip right before it hits the ground. We get to decide if this is going to be a make or a fail. Or That's fun. So without further ado, feel free to cue that up. But all right, let's check. I'm interested to hear more about where you guys come up with all the ideas. Like, where did the shopping carts and everything come up? Oh, and by the way, no big deal. Gold medal is Jimmy Wilkins. Gold medal is. We're not worthy. Hey, he's here. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Thank you. How is it being back on top? Uh, it's. <laughs> It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. Uh, Humble Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was just uh, came. I just came here with a bunch of my friends. And you that just was, came? Did you I say? was the coolest part. No. 
<laughs> you literally just said you just doing me dirty. It's disgusting. No, no, I would have too if I landed this backside 720. Yo, have you seen your run? Yeah. Okay. Damn it. Okay. Wow. We have to talk about the tail grab seven to fakie Dang. because I saw you trying it last week. You were like, oh, I'm just gonna do it in the contest. And I'm like, wow. really? You're just going to not do it at all and just hope it works? Well, it doesn't count in practice, right, Jimmy? <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, what was going through your mind? Wow. You were like, I just have to send it? Or what's going on? Well, I was kind of like, uh, yeah, I mean, pretty much. Oh, <laughs> <perfect. laughs> I don't know. Perfect. I didn't think I was going to get to the end of a run. And I was like, if I do, I just got to try to do this trick. Right here is my favorite Nailed part. It. Right there. I've never seen you so like animated and excited. <laughs> like normally, like he'll win and he'll like land all these tricks, and he's like, "Yeah, cool. There's nobody." To <laughs> that was the first time I see you just like, yeah, like, mind blown. I I was uh, I was pretty stoked. <laughs> nice, dude. It's nice to see some new tricks in the mix. What's it like skating in front of thousands wow. of people again? Oh, it's amazing. That crowd was huge, um, and I think it just helped everyone, push everyone to do. And it feels right, doesn't stuff. it? Yeah. <laughs> I was just, yeah, go ahead. Had you landed this at all? No. Before? Wow. And I started so trying perfect. it like a week ago and it was kind of working and I, I don't know, I kind of always do the same run and I was kind of like, uh, it'd just be cool to like for once go to a contest and just like, you know, try something. I don't know. And you landed it oh, yeah. so well. <laughs> and Alex Perelson did one before, yes. right? Yeah, Anyone Alex else? was the first one to do it. Um, and it was at the ender, or one of the last tricks in his uh, real video part since day one. Um, and that was that was a good 10 years ago. Wow. But and he's, this is he's the first time in competition, yeah. though, right? Yeah, uh, I think so. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think uh, Guy did an a indie one maybe a while back. I'm not sure. Um, and Bob's done them on Mega and stuff. Um, but yeah, the, the forward to backwards is uh, a bit of a rarity for sure. Yo, chat, if you're listening, um, feel free to pop your questions in. If you got anything for Jimmy Wilkins, Dave England, Amelia Brodka, or myself, fire it up, fire it up. Um, what else is going on this weekend for you? Um, not much. I just have a bunch of friends here. Sweet. Um, so I'm just hanging out with them. Because you live down here. I live down in San Diego, like so uh, on the everyone, you yep. know, everyone I know wanted to come. Nice. Like, that makes it easy. Yeah, it was cool. Can we see the gold medal? Yeah, of course. Let's see this thing. So you got anything saved for best trick? I was assuming you were practicing that trick for the best trick. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of like, if I don't do it here, I'll try to do it there. But the level of best trick is just feels like it's so far beyond me that you got to like, go back. Gonna, ten. You got back ten. Uh, back ten. Back ten tail. What? Yeah, that's some snowboard shit for sure. Oh, Can I look curse at that here? thing. No. Oh, probably not. Probably not. All right. A little bit. <laughs> Take it back. We're on the internet. This is oh, everybody wow. losing their mind There's to your weight. tail grab seven fake. <laughs> yeah, that was the sick. reaction. That's so <laughs> That's just the genuine reaction to that. Wow, Absolutely. Look at that thing. Jimmy, the whole oh. the level of this contest really nice. itself it nice. though was incredible. Did, do you have any standout moments of oh, of your homies <laughs> landing some stuff? Yeah, I mean, uh, man, Mitchie's run was incredible. Like so amazing. He and he did that switch five uh, grabbing the wheel. No. And I saw him Whoa. grab it, and I was just screaming, like, do it, do it. And wow. it, was, it was, I mean, perfect. It was perfect. Beautiful skating. Moto 2, just like, as always, just completely beautiful, like, high, fluid, yep. solid. What's what's it like for you with, you know, Eddie Damastoy? I mean, for a long run there, you were just basically unbeatable. And then for the first time in years, you know, Eddie's had a little run here. I mean, it's... Do you like that? Does that frustrate you? Does that motivate you? Like, what's it like in your from your shoes? Because you hear it so much. It's like, you know, in the media, it's like, oh, Eddie's now on top. Like, what's oh. it like from your shoes? Yeah, I don't know. I don't. Um, I mean, Eddie's my friend. I, I want to <laughs> yeah. see him win. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't care. Sometimes more than I want. <laughs> you know, That's I what I thought you were going to say. Uh, only Jimmy yeah. Wilkins. Sometimes I want him <laughs> to win more than I. That's insane. I don't know. It, it's so sick. Eddie's such a nice guy, and he's been working so hard. Like, when you see someone's hard work pay off, it's, like, amazing, you know? Totally. So, um, but, yeah, I mean, he, it, like, it, when anyone succeeds in in the event, it pushes everyone to do better. So it's never never like that, you know? I, I love the humility. Um, Anna Maria Flores, how do you start doing on vert? 
Um, <laughs> uh, start I love it. Thank yeah. you for the great question. Thank you, thank you, Anna. Uh, I don't know. Just start from the bottom. Start pumping. Like yep. work your way up. Um, you know, they can be pretty intimidating at first, but just know that the more you skate it, the more comfortable you'll get. When I was a kid, they tricked me and told me you had to start from the top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. And yeah, we had an eight foot. Mi uh, we had mini vert, vert, the vert yep. yeah, mini vert ramp, and. Damn. They're like, yeah, I hit my head three times. <laughs> oh, my but then God. It, it yeah. got Getting me going. It. it got me going. It actually yeah. worked out in the end. But And, Amelia, you sprained your ankle the first no, time? No, I broke, broke my ankle the first time I dropped in the vert. Oh, I, like, shoot. fully leaned back, folded my ankle. I had to get surgery. Wow. And my parents were like, you're never skating again. And I was oh. like. I just, that's when I that's started That's how crying. you know you love it, though, yeah. you know? Especially yeah. vert, like, I've seen so many people take their first slam and be over it. So it's like, you get yeah. through that first one. If you love it, you're you're in, you know? We got a question for Dave England. Can we set a new world record first? I'm your guy. Um, sounds like there's going to be feces involved, right? <laughs> <laughs> what else could it be? Thinking. I don't think they're talking about skateboarding vert. Well, maybe it's a combination. <laughs> yes. Like the oh, ah, there we go, oh, oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> shit, shit twist, yeah. Shit oh, twist, not there it is. That's Kick got a, shit that's twist. Got a ring to it. I like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Imagine. That's you got it. Amazing. I mm, I don't know. I'm not sure. Best trick. Seven. Best trick. Yeah, the best trick. That'd be a good one. record. That'd be a good. That'd be my last X Games. <laughs> oh, you might slip God. it in Great on the question. way down when you land. Yeah, exactly. Let's what about go out talking about bang. grabbing the wheel? No one ever grabs on purpose the wheel, right? No. That's yeah. a good thing now. Grabbing. Yeah, wheels. wheel grabs. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Mitch, you should run with that. Spin Maybe grab the, the truck. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Ever do a mall grab air? Oh, no, Mitchie's done one. A Mitchie's ball grab one. Air? Purpose or a mistake? That's on purpose. Good. I like oh. that. Ball on purpose. Grab ball air. grab air. You do like a kick flip and then you just like in slow motion spin the wheel. Oh, there you go. Then, little do you know it like goes the other way and then hits and then. Yeah, and then you, and then you get stopped. Um, that, I saw that yeah. happen. Gary <laughs> Rogers. Rogers. Hyped. Yes. <laughs> Some Appreciate honorary it. salutes. To Dave England from Gary Rogers. <laughs> so you. Gary's the best. Um, we got some more. We got some more questions you here. You skate the uh, Ojai Park? Yes. Yeah. I heard you might have had something to do with bringing the Ojai Park yeah, to life. Yeah, a big group of us did. Yeah, we worked hard for many years to get that park there. And uh, got it 13 years ago. And it's pretty awesome for a little town. Oh, do you live up here? Yeah, I just live in Ojai and here in Ventura County. Oh. And then uh, just across the freeway here, we're about to get a really good park. Sick. To replace that little west park. There's going to be a, a nice grind line park. Oh, amazing. It'll be done by June next year. Yeah. Ojai's oh, beautiful. Love well, that. Thank thanks you. for being yeah. an advocate for yeah. creating skate parks. Oh, well, I did it for selfish reasons. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really great park. Have you skated it, Jimmy, the Ojai Park? No, I haven't. It has a clover bowl that's just super fun, like nine foot deep end, maybe ten. Maybe ten, yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Nine and a half, probably. Nice like open. That. Yeah. You should check that out if you're feeling it while you're up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, cool coping and everything. We've pretty much made it all day without a commercial break, but we do have a thirty second commercial. So, feast your eyes on this wonderful commercial from those who support us, and we'll be right back with more X Games right after this. Shaba. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. There we are. Sorry about the audio, guys. That was a little bit loud in the ear, but you know what? We, we love it. Um, while we were in that 30-second commercial break, this kind gentleman told me a story, or told us a story, that he gave away his skateboard after the vert contest. He just gave away your winning X Games skateboard to a fan. Can you tell the world about that? Because that is the most respectable thing that I've ever heard. Oh, I, I just met this kid and his dad before the contest. And I was like, yeah, after the contest, I'll give you my board. Like, I don't do anything with them. They sit in the garage. They get mold. Like, I don't. 
you know. Can I have one? Dude? Yeah. <laughs> oh, moldy? Your skateboard get moldy? I'm just sitting that. in the garage, like spiders <laughs> live in them. I'm like, ah. Uh, oh, oh man. Swish Money's asking, how many kick flips can Jimmy do in 30 seconds? So I don't know if you've seen this, but we just started today. Most kick flips in 30 seconds. You can use my board. We got <laughs> Ka Gavin Kish with 11. Deshaun Jordan's on top with 12. Mariah Duran put up a solid That's a nine. Lot. I know. It's pretty good. Um, we have a stage. And you gonna do them on the tech deck? <laughs> you yeah, can do yeah, them on here. the tech if your legs are tired. <laughs> How is your kickflip on, uh, like, on, on a tech deck? Yeah. Fuck, not good. <laughs> Pop shove it looks good. Yeah, I think I think we're running on zero here. Um, How many do you think on, you could do? On flat, it's all right. Like in 30 seconds, dude, that's, not more yeah. than Deshaun. That's for sure. Deshaun was kind of hit. <laughs> not more than any of these people, honestly. Like. Dude, it was funny because we were looking for somebody, and this kid Gavin Kish is apparently like skates for um, the soda company that's here. I'm forgetting the name, but anyways, yes. I was like, Oh, Haritos, Haritos, yeah. He's like, I'm on the Haritos skate team. I'm like, sick. Oh, sick! And he just came down here and just busted Bust out 11, 11 like perfect kick flips. That's that's more than one kick flip every three seconds. I know. That's good math, by the way. That's I was that's for that. so that's all I wanted. That, for you <laughs> Dave England for your next tutor. I need somebody needs some <laughs> a beautiful <help> mind. <laughs> Uh, a question about how someone's kid can get started in skateboarding. That's a good question. Um, yeah. Can you please tell my kid how he can start in this world? He loves skate. His name is Demian. Thanks. Yeah. I mean, I think, uh, I mean, first off, just go get a skateboard, you That's know, go to, lo go to your local shop, get a skateboard. And uh, I don't know, check out your local park. You know, people are always so friendly there. Just, you know, start a conversation. Someone will help you out, show you some stuff. Or even start it at the schoolyard, I think. Like yeah. Before you go to the yeah, skate park. Absolutely. Skate park's pretty intimidating and, and kind of could be dangerous. You just go to a flat schoolyard and cruise around there for a little while first. Yeah. Cars or anything. Yeah, yeah. Just push yeah, it around. It's always smooth and nice yeah. there. Basketball courts. In a dark room in your basement, nobody there, yeah. nobody's watching. <laughs> I asked the same question to Tony Hawk because I saw it pop up earlier on how do you commit to vert, and he said the first thing to also learn is sliding out on your knees yeah knee slides yeah for sure yeah. I, that's definitely the first thing with skating vert and then i mean anytime you learn a trick on vert the first trick is like learning how to bail it without that's getting smart hurt, you know? it's, it's good to learn how to bail yeah um and speaking of bails we just mentioned this earlier and we never pulled it up there's a little like battle versus victory s segment where us and all of our friends in the chat are going to guess whether this is going to be a make or a slam okay <laughs> And then you keep teasing it, but I don't see it. There's Come a, on, though. There's a good question. Let me see this Am thing. I guessing? There's we all good, guess. Yeah, we're all going to guess. in the chat. Jimmy, who's your favorite skater? Oh, okay. Here we go. Um, that's, a make. 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 that's a yeah. make. That's a make. Yeah. That's a make? make? Yeah. Definitely. You can just tell he's oh. gone. Yeah, he made that. Yeah. He made it? Okay. What do you think, chat? Although, I don't know. I didn't see any of Eddie's runs. Is it right here? Oh, come on. Come Eddie, on, show it to us. Eddie's good with the kickflip indie. I'm sure That's he waited a tough for that decision. one. It's close enough. He's just waiting. He means business. Someone saying bail. I see bail, oh, bail. Yeah, Someone's saying bail, huh? There's make. No, There's a, a make. make. That is a make. Slam. That. His Someone's hand's about to grab slam. it. He's going to put it under his feet. And yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. it's a make. Yeah. All right. Oh, into so the that, the rodeo. Wow. Rodeo. Yeah. yeah. My friend. Sorry, chat. Y'all were wrong about that one. <laughs> okay. Here we go. This one's oh, going to be a little gnarlier. I, I oh. hope it's a make. Just please be a make. Oh, my God. I don't remember seeing uh, yeah, any. Yeah, play. I'm with you. That better That's be a make. A make. That's a make. make. I don't remember seeing any bails from quarter pipe higher. You kind of remember those. Wow. I, yeah. I, I don't think I want to see it if it's and honestly, a And honestly, this looks professionally done. Nice drone shot, you know? It's a good point. Seems like a make. Yeah. Are you guys excited for quarter pipe high air going down here? Oh, yes. yeah. Yes. Have you seen that in person? No, but I was looking Dude. at the course or whatever you call it, and wow. That's what? insane. Come on. That's insane. I, that's my favorite event to watch. Do you, know, do you guys know how high they went last year? What the, like the highest? Like 30 feet um, or something, right? From the, 30, 35? From the lip of the quarter pipe? Yeah. 49? Um, well, I said upper 40. 49. 49. 49. Oh. 49. Are you kidding? 49 feet last year, and Axel was in first until Colby's last hit and went like, a foot higher or something. And then from the ground, oh that's another God. 20. From the ground, yeah. If you oh, yeah. let it flat from there, Crazy. you would just go through oh, well, the what, what, None of us were paying attention. What was it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Did he make it? or? <laughs> Shoot, that's sorry. a make. Come it's on. It's got to be a make. Is that Raha? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, please he make it, Raha. Yeah. Please don't fall. He just looks like he's falling from the sky. Easy, easy, yeah. <laughs> oh, they didn't even show the guys. <laughs> that was a make. That was a make. Definitely a make. <laughs> 
Oh, wait a minute, if you want to see me land, we'll never know. Yeah. We'll never know what happened after that. Battle versus victory, make versus bail on the crowd. Oh, this could be. Oh, uh, that looks like I'm something bad's about to happen. I'm saying bail. Yeah, I'm saying bail. bail. Yeah. That looks bail. good. There's I'm some saying, doubt. I'm going make doubt. on everything. You're saying make? No. I'm saying this is bail. No. I'm saying he's going to break his back tire and blow it out. Yeah. He should have grabbed the tire and spun it the other way. Should have done it on a mountain bike with some Ooh. shocks. Oh, you know, yeah. okay, Rincon is no joke. That thing's like seven feet plus off the ground, and then you're on top of the rail. That is that is yeah. some serious commitment. Uh, that's pretty heavy. We got well, bad's about to happen. We got Brett in the chat. Dave England it's a man. Shreds on the skateboard. Just oh, like all know. No. Oh, oh, almost to oh. make, almost to make. I win. See? <laughs> and all the right we got all, all of them? Yeah. Oh, Andrew Wilson, Vert needs to be in the Olympics. Why is it not? Um, you know, who knows? Um, IOC stuff, I'm not. That, that's why it's, I'm, that's why I'm it's not, not in the. IOC, that's why we got X Games. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure who whose decision that is, but um, I'd love to see it in there for sure. I think we're all keeping our fingers crossed that it's going to be in LA in 2028. That'd be amazing oh, wow. for sure. Oh, wow. That would be amazing. Yeah. Um, this is this a make or a bail? As a I make. hope he made it. I really I'm hope he made it. Yeah, I think a make. That looks yeah. deadly if he did. He's got both his hands on the bars. He, yeah. Oh, oh, oh got it. You my got it. Gosh. Billy Banks, thanks for the kind words. Got some good hosts on here. Thank you. You know, we love to see some positivity in the chat. Oh, this is the last one. It looks like a bird. Was that a bird? Oh, bail. Oh, that, oh, that was a bail. Jimmy yeah. already knows. He was, <laughs> I, mean, I, was, I was standing right there. We were <laughs> hoping like, it was a make. We were all I mean, hoping. I'm giving away the answer. It's a make. Huh? <laughs> it's a make. Are we putting money on this? Can we? It was really oh, wait close. Oh, you know doesn't really mean you know. Yeah, true. Yo, can we? <laughs> How much do any of us know about the lives we've lived? Can we quickly <laughs> shift this conversation to sports or, like, wagering on action sports? Oh, because oh, because Jimmy's got a story, huh? I'm pretty sure you told me that you bet on someone to win the Olympics. I did. Hit, I hit a I bag. Bet on, uh, <laughs> I bet on Keegan Palmer to win. And tell us the whole story, because I've heard it, but this story is pretty awesome. Um, yeah, so basically it was like the week before, and someone sent the odds in our group chat, like the whole sheet of odds, and Keegan was like 25 to 1 and in like the Caesars Group casinos or whatever. <laughs> And I was just like, That's some inside knowledge. and and we all knew Keegan was gonna win. Like everyone knew, and, and especially when the practice footage came out, it was just like, dude, this kid, like, if he makes a run, he's gonna win. And I was like, twenty-five to one odds. I'm definitely willing to lose a couple, like, thousand dollars. A couple thousand? Wow. You put down? You bet. <laughs> I put down two thousand dollars. Wow. You made fifty grand. Um, so the odds changed because I was apparently the only person who bet on it. No way. So I, I put a thousand down, twenty five to one, and then a thousand down, like fourteen to one or something. Ended up with forty two. Oh yeah. my goodness! Yeah. How much did you just win out there? Did you make more betting on? There? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, probably. On honestly, Dude. probably. <laughs> I think I probably made more than. I mean, that is because so Olympic legit. doesn't have prize money but unless you your just, country like, gives drive it to, you. to go place the bet. Yeah, so I drove. I drove to Vegas, uh, <laughs> placed the bet, drove back. Um, me and my friends watched it, and then I got a party bus back up, and <laughs> we went collected. <laughs> Had That's dinner at the amazing. Bellagio. That story rules. Yeah, it's pretty funny. So what do we think? Because like it's still not really like in yet. Like betting on action sports. Yeah, it comes up every now and then. Yeah. yeah. Like, what are your thoughts on it? Because I see it in like you know every other sport, and it creates such a like more engaged connection to want to watch. When you have two thousand dollars on it, you're like, oh That's yeah, my horse. Come yeah, on, yeah. No, I mean it was exciting. I'm not really like a better, so I don't really know. I, yeah, that sure. just seemed just like drove to Vegas. That, that didn't <laughs> seem like a bet to me. You know what I'm saying? Like I was like, this is oh, this is that. going. Yeah. Yep. Sorry. Um, and then, yeah, I, I think if there's an appetite for it and people want to do it, like, of course, you know, like. I, you should just be the bookie, dude. You, like, know all these <laughs> guys. But I also want to say that, like, dude, it's still, like, okay, he's skating well and everything, but it's the Olympics and there's pressure. 
and like anything can happen. But I guess, hey, nah. uh, trip to Jimmy, Vegas. I, I, I felt it. Dude, Jimmy, there's time, a question for you. Yeah. Uh, Spice Apple. Spice Apple really Spice wants to know. How do you feel going down that mega ramp? I don't know if they're talking about the mega ramp or the they're mega They're definitely asking you, not us. <laughs> yeah. um, well, I've only skated mega a few times. Um, and it's, it's pretty... Uh, big, <laughs> uh, but when you have the right setup for it, it, it really doesn't feel that bad, you know. Like if you have the right trucks and the like really hard bushings and all this stuff, like it doesn't feel that much crazier than a bird ramp, I think. Yeah. Did you do you set up that kind of board and just go for it, or do you try it in the flat for a while? Or what do you do? Yeah, you can go down the landing a few times and feel it, like to see if it's pulling. But yeah. once you go fast yard. enough, it's you know, yeah, it's it's the the you take it to the schoolyard, you do some laps. <laughs> Uh, have you guys had an opportunity to like go around and check out all the like l little mini experiences and everything they have yeah. set up? Yeah, yeah, they're super cool. They got a little pump track, huh? Yeah, yeah. I hit it. There's actually, I guess they just put together a little piece from earlier today of me uh, giving a little tour. For those of you who can't be here, our goal here is to make you feel 100% as close to the action and the experience as possible. So if you guys are ready, fire it up. They still want to know who your favorite skater is, though. Ah. Chat. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, I've, I've got so many. I don't know if I can uh, pick a favorite, really. Um, but, I mean, I, th I think for so much of my life, it was definitely Alex Berylson. Like, uh, the, the mark he's made on modern vert skating is, like, undeniable. You see it in the way everyone rides. And, yeah, he's just a legend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love to Got see the fans, fans giving here. Jimmy props. All righty, it sounds like they are ready to show this little tour guide piece. So without Check further ado, enjoy, and we'll be back after this. All right, welcome everybody to the Ventura County Fairgrounds, home of the X Games. I'm going to be your tour guide, Jack Matrani. We're going to go through and see all the amazing things set up, not only the venues, but all the fun things that make X Games experience that much more fun. Let's go. This looks like a blast. We've got Ninja Nation over here. As you can see, mostly populated by children under the age of six, but I'm going to try to get in there. Let's see. <laughs> Look, Mom, I'm on TV. This is really high. <laughs> I cannot believe that I just did that. Let's go see what else there is. Got the merch tent, everything's looking delightful. Got the skate shop vibe. I'm definitely feeling this old school t-shirt right there. If you're watching this and you're not here in person, you can go to xgames.com. You can cop yourself some of this super dope swag as well. All right, now we're here at the RC Traxxas course. We got these little remote control ripping cars and we're just gonna let her go. Here we go. What? Dude, that's actually sick. Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh, look, I'm doing a Smith. I broke it. <laughs> Thank you guys. Have fun. It's a blast. There you see our future X Games course builders right there. This is really the kid zone, but also really productive when it comes to training, making sure they know how to build the motocross jumps and all the dirt features here. Wouldn't be an X Games without a sand pit. All right, we're here at the Stay Sick little motocross track. Mainly for toddlers, but I think they got this. Woo! That was fun. What's next? What? This is insane. Flow Rider set up this little pop up standing wave. This dude works here. He's absolutely killing it. And I'm going to have to go home and get my bathing suit because this looks like a blast. Popcorn here, how you doing? Nice puka shell necklace, buddy, how you doing? All right, this food court is by far one of the best food courts I've ever seen at any X Games. Even Gordon Ramsay would highly approve. They got everything from pizza, tacos, french fries, you name it, and giant corn. What the f is a toner? Used after cleansing, Thayer's facial toner is clinically tested to visibly reduce pores and smooth texture for better looking bare skin. Over 100,000 five-star reviews. Thayer's, your natural remedies. 
We're gonna go all right, there was a little taste of all, not all, but a lot of the action here. That tasted at, really good. That tasted good, right? The yeah. giant corn especially. The giant corn. I'm yeah. actually getting kind of hungry, but I mean, I think so much of when you come to X Games, you know, first you get mind blown by, you know, motorcycles flying 50 feet in the air and then watching all these dudes and dudettes put down never been done tricks. But then there's also so much like fun to be had around when Dave, when you were watching that, you said your kids are going to have a blast. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow they're coming and they're going to love all that. I'm so glad they got to see that. <laughs> a little preview. Know about any of that. A little preview. Yeah. yeah. What, are, what are your kids going to love the most uh, of what you saw? I think that, I don't even know what you call it, that like surf thing where you could do the kick flips and plant your feet. Yep. I don't know if they'll be doing those moves. So. <laughs> Dude, that kid was but, so good. Ask him to do a big flip. That was insane. Yeah, he looks pro. That's but um, also the the e little e-bikes. Yeah. Come on. Six cycle, yeah. cycle, six cycle. Stay sick. Is Stay sick. Thank you. Stay sick. I just thought, Stability I and cycle. Thought, yeah. Yeah. They How old are your like kids? A Hot Wheels mini ramp. Oh, there's a Hot Wheels mini yeah, ramp. Yeah, there's a Hot Wheels mini ramp. Yeah, like Exposure skate park. No, real no, mini like ramp. A, a oh, real, real mini ramp. And then a real skate park. So you bring your board and, and skate? Yeah, you could come and skate oh, if you were great. taking a break yeah. between watching so contests. Glad. Bring a bathing suit, though, if you do want to try that little standing wave. In case you pee your pants when you're skating. Yeah. In case you want to invent the new shit twist or something, like bring a bathing suit and. You can say shit. Uh, shit, I think shit, already shit, said shit, it to shit. The shit, yeah, dude, YouTube we're on the internet. Okay. Hey, you know what? Speaking of shit, in the first Jackass movie, Johnny Knoxville says <laughs> to me, is this the worst you've ever had to go boom, boom? And I said, no, I shit my pants at the fair when I was a kid. Oh. This is where I was no at. No way. This fairground's right here. What? Yes. Can we hear story, more yeah, stories did, about the fairground? Oh I diaried my pants. I was 11 years old, and, and I didn't know what to do. So there was this oh, game with you. darts, and you could win a Mork and Mindy poster. And I won the poster and wrapped it around myself until I could find my parents. No. Oh, How old were you, like 25? 11. Oh, 11? Yeah. Wow. What was it like, like growing up here at this fairground? Oh, I like mean, rides yeah, I actually and just games. grew up in the fairground. That's yeah. where I'm not from just this area. Here's <laughs> yeah. the fairground. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I mean, they had all kinds of different events. They have a swap meet every Wednesday. I go to that all the time. I try to get myself not to go to it because I hoard things. But um, then, like, you know, like crazy stuff at Halloween and just so many different events. Dude, for yeah. sure. Brett Brett just chimed in with a pretty good point. Um, you all got the around stuff the for wrapping. I'm just nervous to start. Brett, you bring up a good point. We're five minutes out to Moto X Best Trick. This is by far one of the gnarliest events at X Games. Like, yeah. this is where they just kind of go all or nothing. I was talking to one of those guys, too. When they learn to do that, they just have to just do it. They, yeah. can't, they don't start on smaller jumps. They start. Yep. They don't know how to ride a motorcycle, and they have to start on these big jumps. Do yep. they do, like, airbags and stuff now? No, now they just they do extra hard concrete landing. No, I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. They just don't do landings. I, I yeah, mean, they do. Know. They have they They're have foam right. pits. They have they foam do. pits. They work their way up. Yeah, but I mean, still to like I mean, even to take the, from foam to actually doing it here yeah. is insane. Sorry, Honestly, what you say? if anybody's ever been in a foam pit, it's so hard to get out of. I would like hate trying anything into a foam pit with one of those bikes because it'd be yeah. so hard to climb out. And if it falls on top of you, you're going to suffocate in the foam. So, therefore, it's dangerous just to try them in the foam pit, I'm well, sure. You know what's gnarly, too? Snowmobiles would also train into foam pits, and sometimes they would light the whole foam pit on fire. So if you get stuck in there, it's, like, so gnarly. Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Go, go online and... Like, you fall in there, they just light it on fire? They're like, yeah, that's what you get? Yeah, because what happens is it gets painted. Oh, the snowmobile lights it on fire. I think even the people are just like, hey, <laughs> oh, yeah, you get tagged. <laughs> I, I like when a uh, street bike Tommy missed the whole foam pit. You know that oh, famous one? And he, he overshot it on the street bike and just, that's a great one. I've watched that many times. Oh, my gosh. That's oh, terrifying. man. SpiceX Apple, are you guys hyped up? Yeah, I'm hyped up, but I'm telling you, like, I really do get, like, nervous. Like, I'm going to go, like, completely quiet as I watch, like, the best motocross athletes do things that we've never seen before. Apparently, there's some new tricks. There's a new ramp. Um, and it's all going down. There's no wind. There was a lot of talk about wind being a factor. There's no wind. Yeah. Jackson Strong, um, most successful Moto X, best trick competitor in X Games history is here. He's got nine medals from 10 starts. He could pass Travis Pastrana and Ronnie Renner for most gold medals in a single Moto X discipline here at California if he gets his seventh. Um, and he also just is coming off of gold at X Games Japan. So let's see. Oh, yeah. If Jackson Strong can go back and break that record. And um, thank you so much, Dave, Amelia. Thanks, everybody in the chat for Jackson. hanging with us. I hope you enjoy what you're about to see. It is time for our minds to be blown. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Always a pleasure. You're the man. Thank Huge you. fan. Very nice to hang with you. Thanks, chat. Enjoy. You. So don't blink out. Here at the
the beach and as the sun prepares to set behind the waves here at the Ventura County Fairgrounds, one more order of business still to go on our first night here, X Games 2023, as we get set to hand out some medals here in Moto X Best Trick. Welcome everyone inside the booth. My name's Jimmy Coleman. Joining me on this adventure is Blake Vilko Williams. We've got Kristen Beat out there in the field. And well, you see the fans packed into the venue out here. It's been a couple of years since we've had them on site. And with that crowd, it kind of reminds me of the old days, the best trick at the Staples Center in LA. Yeah, the atmosphere is huge. And when it comes to Moto X best trick, you pay for the whole seat, but you only need the edge. There's eight dudes from four different countries, <laughs> three different ramps. And uh, I got a little inside scoop about what's about to go down. And these guys are really going to send it. You're going to be so seeing some never before done. Tricks. Well, let's talk about one of our riders tonight. He owns six medals in best trick. That's Josh Sheehan. He's on a new ride. It's the electric bike this weekend. That's right. It's going to say it might sound a little funny when Josh is out there, but it's actually no sound at all. He's bringing the Stark Bug electric bike. Man, these things have barely been debuted worldwide, and Sheeny's bought one to X Games, and uh, it doesn't seem to affect it at all. He loves the motorcycle, and uh, I'm excited to see it go down. It's that Stark Varg. I watched him in practice yesterday doing some double flips. It's got a little bit of noise. It's a little different, though, because you're used to seeing him on that four-stroke out here. That's not the only new thing here at Moto X Best Trick. And for more on that, let's check in right now with Kristen. Traditionally, the landing at X Games for Moto X Best Trick has been dirt. This year, they developed a hybrid landing, scaffolding foam resin and carpet not only is it safer for the riders but it's also more consistent and it has emboldened riders like Jackson Strong to kick it up a notch he just told me that for the past two years two years he's been working on a trick in the foam pit he landed his dirt for the first time just last week he said listen if the conditions are right he is ready to uncork it here in Ventura guys something to watch well since 2010 that's the last 12 contested events for Moto X best trick here at the X Games only four people have taken gold Jackson's got seven of them Rob Adelberg has three, Levi Sherwood's got one, and David Ronaldo. Let's take a look at that start list. We do need to mention Rob Adelberg not on that list. Tell us why, Bill Kill. Yeah, unfortunately, with the tailwind in that yesterday, Rob went a little long and landed so heavy, actually jarred his neck. He went to the hospital, got checked out. Luckily, it wasn't too serious, but unfortunately, your double gold medalist from last year will not be starting. So, all best of wishes to Rob. Well, Jackson's going to ride last. You got David Ronaldo, who wowed everybody with a brand new body burial and a backflip in Minneapolis in 2019. He's in the lineup as well. He'll go second to last in the rotation. Yeah, I'm so excited to see Dave Ronaldo go. You know, 2018 Minneapolis, no one knew what trick he was going to do, and he surprised everyone with that backflip Cali roll, and uh, it, it was quite a treat to watch. Look at the fans weighing in right there in the bottom left-hand side of the screen there. Moto X Best Trick is my favorite event in the X Games. Let's go. One of my two, and I... You, you kind of get the goosebumps, the hair on your arm stands up a little bit when you see these guys locked and loaded, ready to send it out here tonight. You never know what's going to happen. And as you mentioned, you're teased it, talking about some tricks that we've never seen before. Yeah, for sure. And I love this event, but it also makes me the most nervous. You know, I'm good friends with all the riders, and I know what they're about to do. Some, as you said, never been done before. And uh, best tricks, no joke. The consequences are huge, but you got the best in the world right now, and uh, they're going to throw down. Uh, it looks like Taka Higashino getting lined up right here. Now, he was an alternate for this one. As we talked about, Rob Adelberg had to sit this one out. Uh, wish him a speedy recovery, but Taka comes in as the first alternate, and now he finds himself in the lineup. He's going to set the bar out here tonight. You're going to get two attempts at it here. It's a 100-point scale. It is your best run that counts. Tucker there, rough solid backflip, arms completely off the seat, so he's floating upside down, not even holding onto the motorcycle. Best, first one to do it, and the best to do that trick. Take a bow, Tucker, son. It's just amazing to do that in the middle of a backflip, and the extension that he has on that, how he holds onto it. Well, let's, let's take out another some... look. Awesome shot from the drone there, as you can see, completely letting go of the motorcycle. Look at this. Grabs the seat with one hand, back with the other hand, gets settled, and then boom. Yeah, that is amazing. Like, once the hands come off, he just stretches those legs out right there, gets full extension on that one. He owns two medals total in best trick. He has a silver, he has a bronze. As I mentioned before, the best possible score you can get is 100. Taka Higashino sets the bar at 82 flat right there. Yeah, good, solid, consistent trick there for Taka. He's been doing that a long time. But uh, recently, that's the uh, the Levi Sherwood Next Generation Freestyle Ramp we should talk about. It's still 72 feet, but if you notice, the, uh, the ramp's a little taller. 
Similar to the 75, except the uh, top of the ramp goes an extra three feet, making it steeper and taller, and obviously a lot more height, a lot more time for their tricks. Well, you've got three different options out here. You got that next gen ramp on the rider's left. In the middle, you got the USA comp ramp that's set at 75 feet, and on the far right hand side, you've got that super kicker right there. We're going to bring in our first Australian into the lineup right here. This is Benny Richards. And speaking of the super kicker, that's what Benny's is going to like to use. So smooth. He was a little nervous. He did a couple in the foam pit at Jacko's uh, last week, and they were one of the best. So he yeah, was ha happy to get the monkey off his back there. Uh, we did best trick at X Games Japan back in May, and he missed that one. He had a broken left collarbone that he suffered a week before. So happy to have him back in the lineup. I mean, look how perfect that was. Yeah, you can see his foot off there a little bit. Elbows fully bent, tucked in. He was speeding up the rotation as much as he could, but landed perfectly on the wheels. And a lot of the riders have mentioned that landing is fairly steep, and it actually suits the guys. They're hitting the super kicker a little better. All right, so again, Taka set the pace there with an 82 flat. Judge is waiting to talk this one over here as we await the score here for Benny Richards. Where do you, where do you slide this one into the mix? Do you think this is going to come out? I think he'll put himself in the lead with that one. Put a smile on the dial, Benny. I just meant in the overall number-wise. I was uh, I was, getting, I was right. trying to get you to be a little more discreet there than you that. Go. Thanks, Eight. Captain Obvious. 81-3-3. So that's not. He's gonna. That's going to slide him in there behind Taka. So an 81.33 there on the double flip. Seems like the judge is rewarding the uh, next generation ramp a little bit better. He looked a little confused by that one right there. As we take a look at J.O. Archer right here, he ended up in sixth place in best trick here in 2021. Now a little nervous for this guy. He's about to do a trick that he hasn't done in practice yet. He did it about two weeks ago at Travis Pastrana's house. And uh, he's about to set it now, but I mean, Joe, he's built like a brick supermarket. He's uh, he's good to go for this one. Okay, here we go. J.O. Archer about to be under power here for attempt number one again to get two attempts. It's your best run the count. Second one around, and yes. there you go. Oh! That was an amazing save. I thought he was going down for sure. I, I thought he was going to slide out as well. That was a heck of a save by J.O. Archer. And that's the first 75-foot backflip off the next-gen ramp done in competition. See, he's stalled it out so much in the middle of that. When we get a slow-mo, we'll, uh, we'll talk about that. He's still over-rotated a little, but you can see how much he stalled that double flip out. By stalling out, I mean, they get their body weight, stand straight up, try and, uh, you know, make more of a less center of gravity, slow the rotation down. Got a little sideways a little bit there, but it's going to say he got a little off axis on that rotation. Here, right here from this angle, you'll be able to tell on the two box right yeah, here what happens on the landing. His legs fully straight, weight over the front of the motorcycle. That's to slow the rotation down. He was obviously coming in hot, still slowed it down, but little over rotate, then foot on the back brake pedal Whoa. there. Did you see that back tire slide? Just steezing that one out a little bit. Hang on. Almost runs into the top blocks right there, but rides away clean. Amazing save. Uh, lucky for that carpet there. I think that's about what saved him. The sigh of relief on that face right there. We'll see what the judges think of J.O.'s first attempt right here. Again, Taka Higashino in that top spot with that rock solid flip. It's got him in 82. We saw Benny Richards with an 81.33 with a double flip. And the judges like it, Bilko. It's an 86 flat. J.O. Archer finds himself in the top spot. I like Woo! that too. I and was really nervous for J.O. on that one, but he stomped it. ever Moto X best trick appearance. Some at X Games on this fine Friday night. I like that emoji right there. Yes, indeed. We're going to take our first look at a German rider here. This is Luke Ackerman. He owns a freestyle gold and silver. He also happens to own, or own a best trick bronze as well. It's another one of those fans weighing in right there. Moto X best trick. He's going Opting to use the lead by ramp and perfectly executed front flip there. And it's amazing uh, how much easier it looks to do a front flip off the next generation ramp as opposed to the regular 75. We've seen him throw down the double back flip and combos in the past, but taking it forward this time around, Luke Ackerman sending it into the front flip. Check out the weight transfer off the ramp there. Locks the rear and the front brake. Both tires stalled out, fully committed, coming down, and that is a pretty damn smooth executed front flip. I mean, look at the look at the height that he got. Look at how tucked in over the bars he is. And watch the landing just past that roller. He's lucky he's a big, strong guy. The handlebars would have been tearing on his arms right there. But amazing rider, Luke. Very young too. You know, he's got a lot of years left in him. 
Dowling, 25 years old. This is his fifth appearance here at the X Games in 2023. So we saw J.L. Archer with an 86. Look at that. Luke Ackerman finds himself in the top spot with an 88 flat. So it's Luke Ackerman, J.L. Archer, and Taka Higashino. You're one, two, three as of right now. This is the first round out of two for those of you that are just joining us here at Moto X Best Trick. Eight athletes, two runs each. It's your best run that counts. Max score you can get is 100. Bilko, let's talk about some of the things, the criteria if you will, the judges want to see in that booth. Well, one of the biggest things for Best Trick is innovation. You want to be the first person to do something, and like Ronaldo's technique, keep him what he's doing a secret. Nobody knows. The other guys, you know, we've got a fair idea what they're going to do, but so far we've seen a double backflip off the super kicker, a double backflip off the next generation ramp, a front flip, and a rock solid flip. So a huge variety in there. As you can see, Harry on the screen now, he's uh, sporting some battle scars on his neck. He had a crash in the warm-up about half an hour ago. Well, he was trying something new. He was going for a backflip body barrel. It was an Instagram clip of him trying that into the foam. And then he, he said, I talked to him yesterday. He's like, I wasn't even close. I decided to just go that. Let's see what he goes with here. He's very rotating very slow. He was Man. talking about a front flip variation maybe, but that was a super slow rotation on that front flip. Yeah, he did not get the pop he needed and the spin off the ramp. And unfortunately, with any flip tricks, front or backwards, if you don't get the rotation off the ramp, it's really hard to get that thing to come around. It's a lot heavier than a BMX bike, that's for sure. But it's good to see Harry on his feet. He's a tough guy, Harry. You know, he's built solid, trains hard. Puts in a lot of effort for practice, but unfortunately for Harry, that one didn't go too well, but he's up and back on his bike. That's good to see. Yeah, he got up from that one very, very quick. That was impressive for how he bounced on his back out of that one. I mean, but that guy is a machine. I mean, I've seen him get stacked up before, and for him to come back and take his second runner, I've seen him do that shows before. You have too. Yes. I mean, to, and get back, and then the next thing you know, he's back in the queue, and he's ready to go again. I mean, that dude is... is an animal. Yeah, he always surprises you. And tonight I'm actually surprised he's wearing a shirt for once. So good job, Harry. So we've got Josh Sheehan at do up next in the line. We talked about that electric bike. We're about to see it. But before we get to his run, let's check in one more time with Tristan. Yeah, so this is a bit technical, but the start electric bike can be tuned for any mapping. So instead of referring to it as a 250 or a 450, it has 80 horsepower, and it is tuned to have more torque than a 450, which when I spoke with Josh, he said um, it helps the bike in its rotations and actually is helping him in best trick. Okay. So uh, the Stark bike in some ways is an advantage to him here in this discipline. It's just so crazy to stand there and listen to it because you're used to hearing him on that four stroke and it's so loud. So to see him out there on that bike yesterday and doing double flips with that thing, I mentioned at the top of the show, he owns six total medals at best trick. He's got two silver, he's got four bronze. So you can see a little bit of course maintenance going on right now on the landing right there after what happened with Harry on that front flip. So. When he crashed in uh, the warm before, it actually tore some of the carpet. So I know the guys were out there putting a couple of extra staples, bolts, whatever you call it, to hold that carpet in. Yeah, and as Kristen said at the top of the show, I mean, this is completely different. Typically in the past, we've had just a solid dirt landing for that. So this one's a hybrid. You've got some scab, you've got some foam, you've got some resi there. But uh, here we go. Josh Sheehan is lining up. Again, it's Luke Ackerman, the German rider, sitting in the top spot with an 88 flat, followed by the Australian, J.O. Archer. And then you've got the Japanese rider, Taka Higashino, sitting in bronze medal contention right now with an 82 flat. I'm just excited to see this bike take off. It's like the silent assassin, the way it creeps along. It kind of, kind of sounds like an RC car when it's in the air. Oh. So what do you think? Yeah, we know he's got the double backflip on lock. We've seen plenty of double backflip combos out of him. Walk the plank. What do you think Sheeny brings to the party tonight? I think he's bringing a double backflip combo off the super kicker. Okay, so Ryder's right hand side into the super kicker. There you go. Take it back. It's on two roads. Oh, 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 oh. Very oh, heavy on the front end. Just got that rotation around. I don't think Sheeny was too worried about it, but it didn't land as cleanly as he'd like. But that... I was a little nervous. That was kind of scary looking right there. He squeaked that front tire around just in the nick of time right there. Ah, wow. But again, I mean, did you see where the hands came off and how long he kept them off? Watch. Right there, holds it solid. It's funny, there's no, uh, no clutch lever, if you notice on there. He's obviously got the green light, green means go. But uh, yeah, well done, shit. Oh, his hands nearly blew off the bars. If we see that in the slow-mo, yeah. right when he's about to land. You'll get a better look at it here in the flow motion, but watch, he goes, puts the hands back on, and then pulls back on the bars to get into that second rotation. Gives it a big rev with the throttle. You see his, his left there. 
And then oh, he, oh. Did, he nose dabbed that one. Oh my goodness. Lucky he's built strong. You only gave him a great for that, even after bringing that one around. Uh, yeah, that was great. That was good. You're, you're tough to impress. I didn't even. You're you're stealthy. I didn't even see you slide that one in there. So Josh is going to get in with an 86.66. So that'll slide him into that silver medal spot that bumps Taka out. So now it's Ackerman, Sheehan, and J.L. Archer, your top three. With two riders left to go in the rotation. David Brinaldo, we talked about that backflip body burial that he did in Minneapolis in 2019. It got him a gold medal there. I'm excited for this one, Jimmy. No one knows what he's about to do. I don't even know. You don't know. He was very tight-lipped about it. He kept that one close to the vest. Either way, we have heard that he has, does have something brand new that he's about to bestow upon us out here tonight under the lights. I'm excited for this one. We saw a variation of the Corolla. Corolla. We haven't seen that since 2004. Ironically, he's in the judges' yeah. booth. Chuck Carruthers did that in Moto X Best Trade back in the Staples Center in 2004. No one's done that again, including Chuck. And we just saw a variation of it by that man right there. David Ronaldo has once again made Moto X Best Trick history. And the fans here at Ventura are loving it. I'm loving it. Jimmy's loving it. That was amazing. I mean, on the first try, I couldn't really tell what was going on through that. I'm looking forward to seeing some slow mo It was hard to tell on the monitor here. Take a look. Oh, my God. He almost didn't get back around. He wow. Was, he was not holding onto the motorcycle for a long portion of the time. As you see it here, grabs with opposite hands, slowly, fully round. And right there, go, if we go back a little bit, you can see him fully disconnected from the motor. Right there. He's not holding on to anything, ladies and gentlemen. He is rotating his body around. That's for a good, solid amount of time. He's not connected to anything. Spots the seat, grabs on with both. One hand, one hand straight to the throttle. Man, that was amazing. Take your hat off, take a bow, David Ronaldo. I mean, that was absolutely insane. And again, to tell the tale of that trick, we haven't seen it since 2004. And, we and he just does attempt. a variation of it right here. We saw an attempt in 2005, and Chuck got hurt yeah. on that one. So, yeah, we're talking 19 years since anyone's attempted oh, that trick. I'm not sure. 97. So no, no, 97 flat puts himself in the top. That's it. And it's a we're flashing back to 2019 all over again. Oh, that is going to be very tough to beat. I mean, that might have just done it right there. However, it's not done oh, just yeah. yet. Our next rider owns seven gold medals in this event. Before he takes his run, let's see what's inspiring Jackson Strong to compete in Moto X Best Trick. Best trick moments that inspired me to compete in X Games was Deegan's Militia Twist in 2003, don't quote me on that. Best trick at X Games was kind of my, my entry into the sport. My first X Games was actually Staples Center LA 2011 and I got a gold medal there doing the first front flip. So to see where, what, what are we now, like 12 years later to playing the same game, doing the same thing again. It's just been a roller coaster of emotions. There's been so many bad years and so many good years. So I'm just looking to try and put another good one on that list. I mean, can you, to go back that far, I mean, 2011, he did that front flip all the way back in 2011. He just came off of a win at X Games Japan with a no-handed front flip. Jackson, and, definitely one of the best at this competition, clearly by the amount of medals he's won. He, he doesn't mind putting it on the line, and he has for years, and he knows what he's doing out there. I'm really excited for this one. What is Jackson going to bring to the party tonight? Oh, oh, bang bang front flip. Flip. Oh, 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 Amazing. The next gen ramp that was incredible. You see him get his feet up there, get him blocked, and uh, man, I'm speechless. It's the first time we've seen that in competition off a regular ramp. I mean, to do a front flip and then to go into that position with the cliffhanger where your feet are under the bars, you're letting go. You're totally upset, upsetting the rotation roll. To do the front foot, they have to get all their weight forward. And to do that, you know, he spreads out and, and raises the center of gravity to the point where it's going to slow the rotation down. I don't know how you have the time to do that while managing that front flip rotation. See, his front wheel is still locked up through that whole jump there. Coming down, he spots the landing and pretty damn smooth for Jacko. Well done. 
I mean, look at that. The judges have their work cut out for them here tonight. Man, I mean, that, that's two in a row. That's two brand new tricks with the last two riders right there. And we still have round two coming up. But again, I mean, what we saw with Ronaldo, that 97 is going to be hard to beat. But hold on, we're still waiting for the score here for Jackson Strong. And that's the beauty of best trick is never been done before tricks. And so far, we've seen three of them. He gets into the 90s. It's a 95.66, but that's not going to be enough to put him in the top spot for right now. So we have gone through the run order here for round number one. It's David Ronaldo and Jackson Strong creeping into the 90s, unleashing two brand new tricks. It was Ronaldo with a version of the Corolla here, and then Jackson Strong with a new front flip combo. We've got round two from Moto X Best Trick when we come back to Ventura. I'm here with 11 time X Games medalist in seven appearances. That's great. That's a great ratio. Tyler Beerman, tell me what this looks like through your eyes. You know this better than anybody else. What's it like watching two never been done tricks go down? Yeah, two, uh, two NBDs back to back was pretty unreal. And um, man, I would hate to be a judge up in that booth. It's crazy, Jacko, what he just did, and he's two points down or a point and a half. So uh, crazy to see, and uh, just really stoked to watch these guys do what they do, and just watch my friends land their tricks safely. So uh, yeah, looking looking for a good second run. No doubt, I, I really can appreciate watching your friends land these, land these tricks safely. I mean, do you get nervous watching? More? Do you get more nervous watching than actually competing? Uh, when you're competing, you're in control of your own destiny and your bike. So watching him compete is um, is definitely scary to a level, but just give those good vibes back to my friends and, and uh, just hope they land their trick safely and, and compete that mental battle in their head because I know it's not easy. And I do quarter pipe high air and I do whip and I'm not doing the crazy tricks. What I do, I still have to lock it in and be focused. And what these guys have to do is just a whole nother level. So mad respect to these guys and stoked to watch the second runs and, and uh, yeah, may the best man win. Exactly, mad respect. What do you think about uh, quarter pipe high air? How was practice and everything for you? Yeah, practice was good. We put in a lot of work for it and uh, yeah, and then the rest is, is the show the demonstration of the hard work. So I um, feel like we're right where we need to be and, and it's it's a mental battle in itself, that thing. So it's it's a uh, more or less a pissing contest who can go the highest. So we are, uh, we're stoked on, on where we're at. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a battle tomorrow. So we're stoked. How high are you going to have to pee? Are you going to have to break 49 feet? Last year, Colby Raha, 49 feet above the top of that ramp. Are you kidding me? Are we going to see heights like that this year, you think? I think so. The guys, everybody's looking good in practice. And uh, yeah, the world record is now 49 feet. Let's see if it goes to 50. but. Um, I mean, you put that on top of an 18-foot ramp, that is basically 70 feet from the ground up, which is pretty unreal. But like I said, we're in control of it, and it doesn't feel like you're as high as you are when you're on the bike. So It doesn't feel that high going 50 feet on a motorcycle? I haven't gone 50 feet yet, so I'll tell you <laughs> if I do. Well, I really hope you do. What about best whip? You getting excited for best whip or what? What about having the, this contest back in front of all of these fans? I mean, that... We were going 49 feet with no fans. Is that going to level up a couple of feet, you think, with that energy? I think so. Just the energy that the fans bring. Uh, I was really stoked that X Games was able to bring this together through that three years of the pandemic, and we still had a platform to be able to do what we do, but it's still not the same with the fans here and uh, seeing these fans and, and everybody showing up and showing out in Southern California once again is amazing and uh, just brings that energy, brings it for every event out here. and. Uh, I feed off that, so I'm really excited to see fans back, and, and I actually grew up just about two hours up the road, so this is basically my, my home area code, still the area code to this day, and uh, doing it for the hometown, so really stoked to be here and be back on the beach, enjoying the good weather, and thank you, X Games. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the hometown her hero, Tyler Beerman. Let's go. Woo! Yes, we got some more. Moto X best trick. This is going off. Must go lighting. We make it happen. Visiting Ventura? Check out the Grant Park. With the sparkling city below and the deep blue Pacific Ocean beyond, Grant Park is an iconic landmark in Ventura. 
Drive up or walk up, the choice is yours. But make sure you pause to take in the beautiful view along the way. For more adventure, take a walk down the Ventura Pier, California's oldest, built in 1872. You can walk towards the horizon and watch surfers catch waves along the shore. You'll start to feel that old school California charm kick in with each passing step. It is time for history. If you are not standing up at home, I would get off the couch. trick history books that was at the staple center in 2006 did you see that reaction by salima masakela that was travis pastrana doing the first ever double backflip man that was my first ever x games and just watching that footage i got pins and needles right now that's that was a 10 minute standing ovation from a packed staple center the whole thing was crazy who got third place that night I, as well yeah, I, that might have, I might have got third place that night so right now before we get into round two here for moto x best trick let's check in one more time with kristen a never-before-seen trick with clean execution by Jacko Strong. What is the emotional response after you land something like that? It's just that you got the weight of the world on your shoulders. It's such a such a, um, a such a physically hard and such a mentally hard trick. So to get it done tonight, I think honestly the fans are what made making it easiest for making it easy for us here tonight. Just the energy in the crowd here. We're on the beach. It's epic. Well, Jacko, thank you so much, and best of luck in that second round. He was over signing autographs just a few minutes ago for all the fans yelling Jacko behind him. Yeah, going back to what we were talking about earlier, I mean, that's part of the, the magic of tonight, having the fans back out there, and everybody's so accessible. Let's talk about this, though. There's a 97 for David Ronaldo, and then a 95.66 with Jackson Strong. Two brand new tricks. Let's explain this. Why the difference in the score? What made the difference there? Well, the Corolla Ronaldo did hasn't been seen for 15 years, probably longer, and he did it perfectly executed, and the time he floated above the motorcycle without holding on to anything was crazy. Jacko, the front flip cliffhanger, it wasn't the biggest extended cliff cliffhanger but if he can get that bigger in the next run he should tap, top Ronaldo but I think the fact that his cliffhanger wasn't huge is the reason Ronaldo is sitting on top right now. Did you see that last look in from the fans they're staying up late in Ireland to watch this one tonight we get ready to send it to round number two once again with Tarka Nakashino. Roll back flip from Tarka. Beautiful extension there. He's just having some fun out here tonight like we said earlier he was out here as an alternate and then after Rob Adelberg got injured in training they put talk in the mix. He's like, you know what? I'm going to go out here. I'm going to put on a show. He was in the top spot earlier with an 82 flat. He now finds himself in that number six position. Pulls as hard as he can off the ramp, just takes the legs off. You see those levers under his handlebars? That's how he gets his body weight back on the motorcycle. Huge from Taka. Huge roll and clip. He owns five total Moto X medals overall. Three. Three in freestyle, you can see there, two in best Right shirt. there on the handlebars there. He has his wrists on the, on the flip lever, as we call them. If we can go forward a little bit, he's nearly at full extension now. And there you go. Look at that. Coming back around. See that sunset as well? So one rider down, seven left to go. Again, Ronaldo and Jackson Strong sitting in those top two spots, a 97 and a 95.66. And then you got Luke Ackerman sitting in that bronze medal spot with an 88 flat there. Taka had an 82 that first time around. He's going to stick with that first run score. He gets an 80 this time around as we take another look here at Benny Richards. He had an 81.33. Got him in that number seven spot here. Going off the super kick to the rider's right. Another smooth double back foot there for Benny. Awesome to see out of the young guy. Competed in the last two freestyle events at Axel's house. Didn't have the best first year, but really redeemed himself last year with a solid bag of tricks. And here he is again in best trick. Lucky for Benny, he's got a lot of years ahead of him for all those old, old guys are on the way out, and Benny's right there to take the throne. Yeah, 2021 was his uh, rookie appearance there in freestyle, and uh, he got stacked up. He had, was one of the first riders to go, had to settle for eighth, but great job out here tonight in Moto X Best Trick. He also asked me to mention that he's single and looking to mingle. So. 
amazing. Nice and smooth. See that uh, shout out from the fan there. Huge airs going down on the vert ramp and Moto X best trick. Loving the beach in the background. So are we. Beautiful setting. I mean, the sunset, the background, I mean, you couldn't ask for a better backdrop to do this out here tonight. It is an absolute packed house out here. This is J.O. Archer currently sitting in fifth place. He had an 86 flat from that first go around. Now he Going for the double backflip. He does have variations for the double flip. Just depends how comfortable he's feeling. Did that off the next gen ramp, and he's under power on the left side. Did he did that ramp again. No handed double hand flip. Oh. Yes, no handed double backflip off the next generation ramp. That is a world's first. I thought he looked like he was maybe going to loop out on that one, but manages to save that one again. So two for two on the saves right there for J.O. Archer, and he is fired up. He's happy with that, and he should be. He's had a rough couple of goes the last year at Best Trick, but to stop that one, I know he's been real nervous about it, but take your hat off, Joe. That was amazing. Yeah, his only other appearance was in 2021. He settled for six. We're going to have a look at that one in the replay, see how far along he held his hands off for. On the first rotation, that is a huge no-hander. Huge from Jay, almost a little bit over-rotated, but he, yeah, check it out now. Watch that right foot Full, as well. Fully extended, no-handed double, tucks his head back in, spins, spots the landing once. You'll see him stretch out now to slow down that rotation, hit the rear brake. And he's gonna land pretty heavy there, pretty heavy on the rear wheel. You see the rear wheel's already down. And then, boom, foot comes off, but yep. he holds on to that. Yeah, that well done. Right foot just dabs a little bit right there, but he's able to hang on to the grips and ride away. That is two for two Whoa. on the saves right there. And breathing a huge sigh of relief right there. So he's going to end up with an 89.33. Uh, yeah. Guess what? That got you out of fifth. That puts J.O. Archer in the medals right now. He just overtook Luke Ackerman and put himself in a bronze Whoa, medal spot. That is awesome. That is innovation, getting him over the line. That is the first, first in competition, 75 with double backflip back and with a combo, the no-hander. That was awesome. I don't know if he's near a monitor right now. I don't think he realized he just jumped up into third right now. He was looking at the camera, but Luke Ackerman gets bumped down to fourth, but he's going to get a chance to answer back right now. Yeah, I wonder if he has a front flip variation he's been working on. No, no. No. Bit of a bonery there from Luke. I think he, uh, I think he's happy with his first run. I mean, sometimes you'll see these guys, the trick they're doing at Vestry is so gnarly and they've practiced so much into the foam pit and airbag and they're taking a huge risk to do it in competition. And if they land at their first run, hey, you can't sweat them when they don't do it in their second run because uh, these tricks are all gnarly. Good no footer though. No footer one hand though. What I do mean, you think, listen, Jimmy? That one's for all the fans right there in the yeah. viewing corral. I mean, good extension. You got a good look at it right there with the flow motion there. But yeah, going back to what you were saying, I mean, it's all about self preservation and some of these guys, you know, riding in uh, best whip tomorrow night as well. And like you said, I mean, it's just some of the, the stuff that they're doing nowadays is so insane. And to come out and get it done in the first round, I mean, you know, it's the pressure's off at that point. Why risk it? So Harry Bink. Ended up coming up a little short on the rotation there on the front foot the last go around. And we talked about just the toughness that this man has to get back up and get back into the lineup here. I, I, I'm surprised that he's even going to take a second run. Yeah, I mean, Harry's so strong mentally and physically. And, you know, he's got the eye of the tiger right now. He wants to redeem himself. And, uh, you know, he's he's definitely, I think he's going to pull this one off. Did you just get an eye of the tiger reference yeah, in I there? Yeah, I got eye of the tiger. But taking a look at your current leader right there, that is David Ronaldo, your 2019 gold medalist. He's looking at the potential gold medal here in 2023. He has a 97 flat. Jackson Strong sitting in second. J.O. Archer now in third. Harry getting himself psyched up for this. Come on, Harry. Lining it up here. Harry Bing under power. He's got it. Oh, heavy impact there for Harry. And he's up. He's on his feet. Need, to under rotate the first one and then to get thrown over the bars and just kind of ragdoll to your right hand side on the second one and to bounce back up like that. I mean, that is two huge knocks for Harry Bink right there. And he gets up like a trooper and rides away. That is the level we are at in Freestyle Moto X these days. It's insane what you have to do in to Moto compete. X best That's trick. part of the reason I'm here in the booth with you, Jimmy, but... It's a little it's, safer up here. It's much safer. So, yeah, you see Harry there, he under-rotated a 
little bit on his first one and maybe gave a little bit too much gas and he went a little long there. It seemed like he had the perfect rotation, but landing at the bottom of that landing is not good. So, well, I mean, in your experience, talk about what it's like after a crash and then try to get yourself into the mindset to come back and do it again after you take a heavy hit like that. Once you've taken that hit, that's all that's in the back of your mind about what happened on the last run. So you need the mental, mental strength to block that out. Harry had it done then. I thought he was going to land that one, but obviously went a little fast. This is the last rider in the lineup that can shake up our top three because the final two riders are already in. It's Josh Sheen coming in for his second final attempt. Big no hand up and smoother that time, much smoother. So remember, he kind of squeaked that one around in run at number one and kind of scrubbed the front tire a little bit. He's fired up there. I think Listen to that reaction from the fans. I think he's revving the box for the crowd. We just can't hear it. Sounds like a blender. It looks good, though, Sheeny. Arms off for a lot longer than the first one. Massive no-hander there. Grabbed straight onto the bars. Oh, you, you gave him an awesome that go around. I gave him an awesome. That's just awesome to see. I mean, some people are hating on the electric bikes, but that's the future of dirt bikes right there. I mean, there's no hate. When you can do a double backflip like that, put it down like a boss. But he was in fifth place pre-run with an 86.66, so an 88.66. That'll bump him up over Luke Ackerman, put him up into that number four spot. So you know what that means. There's only two riders left to go. J.L. Archer is going to earn himself a medal. Look at that message lucky audience the level today is sick it truly is we saw two never been done before with three now david ronaldo jackson strong out jail archer on that next gen ram david ronaldo your current leader I think with that 97. not sure what he's going to do if he's going to do it again what do you think jimmy risky some of these tricks are if they pull it off in their first run they usually don't do it twice so i think this one's going to be a celebration run for him he's just got a t-shirt on so definitely yeah. I think it's going to be a celebration run taking it to the right side there As your safety run again, just to going back to what I was saying earlier, the level that we're at right now. That was all for the fans, that was. That's awesome to see. Well done, David. And, it, and again, to tell the tale of what he did in 2019, that I was a body burial one. in a backflip. He wants another job. Going for more. I mean, that would look like a little bit of Mike Mason in there to a secret. Putting on a show out here. Obviously. That last one not gonna count, but look at this with the Cali roll right here, grabbing this cutout, just slingshot yourself around. <laughs> Forget the flips, let's see some body rolls by David Ronaldo. Well, guess what? He delivered. He's in the top spot with a 97 flat, probably walking out here with a gold medal. That was the trick he did in 2018 Minneapolis in a backflip. The backflip Cali roll. Can't remember what he called it. Can you remember Jimmy? No, he, uh, he comes up with these crazy names. He had the one that he did in 2021, he called the Bobby. I'll have to go back and look at the tape. But again, in the backflip with the body burial there. And then he brings a version of the Corolla to the party in 2023 and gets a 97 flat with one more rider to go. So, And not just any rider. We've got Jackson Strong, the most dominant rider in X Games, best trick in history. With seven gold medals. Can he add to that tally? He's he had a 95 point six. I mean, a, a cliffhanger in the middle of a front flip. He's taken gold seven times in this event. He's on the other go. You do it again. A little bigger. A little bigger. Yes. Okay. You teed that one up earlier about the extension on that one. That looked better than the first one. I saw you work in the slide that time around. You're giving him an awesome. Yeah, we give him an awesome for that one. And he's pretty happy with it too, as he should be. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, make some noise for the boys. I will happy to say that everybody's walking out of here nice, safe and sound. That's awesome to see. And we did see some gnarly stuff tonight. Yeah, and speaking of safe and sound, we got to give a shout out and well wishes to Rob Adelberg as well. Yeah, get well soon, Rob. We missed you out there. You see Jacko kicked his legs a little uneven there, but still got him up under the handlebars. 
The extension, I'm going to say, looked a little better off that one. I agree. I think he was a little more stretched stretch out. He was kind of bent in the hips a little more in the first one there. Yeah, I'd like to see a slow-mo from the side of that, and I wonder how the judge is going to reward it. He's a full point and a half behind David Ronaldo. You rewarded him with an awesome, if that counts for anything. I thought it was awesome. Hopefully the judges are listening right now. I mean, it's going go to it. it's gonna be a tough call. I mean, I'm glad it's the judges doing this and not me. I think that was pretty on par. Bigger extension than he did in the first run. I mean, to do that twice out here, I, I didn't think he was going to do it again. But then again, I had to stop myself mid-thought on that one and be like, hey, remember who you're dealing with here. So for him to do that twice out here tonight, so now here comes the big moment. The judges it's all on talking this one over. 96, it's, it's not good enough. It's going to be a full point behind. However, to do that and get a 96, that means David Ronaldo is going to walk out of here with his second MMX best or Moto X best trick gold medal. But how about the performance by all three of those gentlemen? Ronaldo, Jackson Strong, and J.O. Archer jumping up in the medals now on his second and final run. I'm stoked for J.O. and he's, he's been so nervous about this, but put in all the hard work as we check out another one of Ronaldo, the Cali Roll, sorry, the Corp. Corolla. Getting confused there. It's been a long time since we've had to talk about that one, and there it was, larger than life here in 2023. It almost stalls before he grabs on there. His, his legs are caught backwards for the last second. Man, that was amazing. Very deserved gold medal there for David Ronaldo. He's second in this discipline. I mean, to get that one out of the way on the first attempt right there, almost knocking on the door of perfection with a 97. That's Jared McNeil congratulating him. J.O. Archer in his second appearance gets a bronze. Let's send it down to Kristen right now with our winner. Guys, the energy down here is unmatched. Ventura cheering on the rider from France, David Ronaldo. How good does this feel, my friend? Hey, it feels good. I work a lot for these tricks. My wish was to bring that tricks, that 19-year-old tricks back. So I guess, yeah, it's cool. But... The funny thing is, I know there is some people talking shit about me lately, like Ronaldo is over, Ronaldo is done, yeah. But look, this one, yeah, surprise, surprise, motherfucker. Guess who's back? We apologize for the colorful language there, but uh, he's excited. So there you go, J.O. Archer in his second Moto X Best Trick appearance walks out of here with the bronze. It's Jackson Strong taking home the silver, and David Ronaldo claims his second Moto X Best Trick gold. What a performance under the lights out here tonight. We send it over now to home base at Salima Masakela. Uh, thank you, Jimmy, and uh, as you can see, the crowds are heading home. Uh, but they're satisfied. An amazing, amazing day one here at X Games. And we just got treated to a great best trick. I love the fire, love the passion of David Ronaldo. And we are about to shut it down here for day one. But before we go, we're going to check in with uh, Jason, Earl Jason Ellis from earlier today, taking the temperature here in Ventura. Welcome, everybody, to the Pacifico Update. It's a good one, too. I'm talking about Nigel Houston. This guy has 20 X Games medals. One of the greatest street skaters possibly to ever live on this planet. He just had a huge injury. He's bouncing back from a knee injury. And he was in the elimination earlier. And he managed to fall off all the way up until his final ride. But in his final ride, he set the park on fire. And that bad boy is qualified and good to go this weekend. So don't miss it. Don't forget to grab your Pacifico for tonight's main event. Head to orderpacifico.com to shop local delivery and pickup. believe what we just witnessed that was insane a front flip cliffhanger gets you second place at moto at x games best trick that is just insane you know every time that i see moto i'm i'm like scared while they're in the air because it's just it's 
This gap is huge. I, I wish that we could get all these fans to stand right next to it because it, it's, it's almost hard to fathom how much distance they're crossing. It's the one event that I was walking up to it to go do that interview with Tyler and literally everybody had their phones up. It was just like a Taylor Swift concert. Like everybody had their phone in the air filming. And that winner, that interview, <laughs> I got somebody, I think it was David or someone in the chat, the Connor McGregor of X Games, spot on. That was a pretty, that was, you know, you gotta let that French passion fly. Um, I respect it, but what a day. That wraps it up for night one here at X Games. Biggest shout out for everybody that tuned into this interactive way of experiencing and witnessing X Games. So thank you for jumping into the chat, for hanging with us, asking all the questions. Let's talk highlights. What oh. did you What did you enjoy today? A lot happened. Wow. So much went down today. Some of my favorite things that happened today included the women's street eliminations. We had Leticia Buffoni. She's the queen. Yep. But at this at this point, it's hard for her to stay in the mix, and she made it to the finals. Yes. So we get to see her skating again tomorrow. We already see her working on some upgrades, and you know, there's just some amazing new talent in the mix as well. So Shiloh Katori blew us all away her first run ever at her first ever x games and she just dominated so it's going to be a really good day for the women's final coming up and also the men's street skate today was absolutely phenomenal one of my favorite moments was just seeing ryan desenzo who's 36 and he just jumped down Rincon like 27 times the other day, which is, stop. you know, eight feet tall and six feet wide. It, it hurts the body. And he was here and landed two amazing runs and made it in the final for tomorrow as well. So we'll see him along with Nija and Jagger and Yuto. And gosh, I mean, that was one of the best Burke contests I've ever seen in my life. Everybody was one-upping each other. Moto did the stale seven. Jimmy did the tail grab nine. And, you know, Mitchie did some switch fives in the middle of an amazing run. Yeah. How about you? What are some of your highlights of the day? Man, I'll talk highlights in, in just a second. Thank you for sharing yours because so much amazingness happened today. But what we're looking at here, just to quickly give an honorable mention again to these guys who just absolutely put their bodies, life on the line, so much hard work, blood, sweat, and tears to be standing on that podium. And for, yeah, for all the fans that have to sit back and be nervous, like every time they landed, my hair would shoot straight up. It was crazy. I got this like rush through my body every time they would land. But yeah, looking forward to tomorrow. There's our schedule. We kick things off. Women's Skateboard Street Final. We've got the BMX Dirt Final. Maybe Kevin Peraza can back up his gold medal. Moto X Quarter Pipe High Air Final. I talked to Tyler Berriman. He said that they're pushing what he thinks past 49 feet, so you're not gonna wanna miss that. And then Men's Skateboard Park Final. I cannot wait to finally see that epic course get destroyed. Maybe even pop in the hot tub. There's a hot tub, that's hey, right. You should just report from the hot tub. I will be, I think you should. I don't know if people wanna see me in the hot tub. Maybe my wife. Uh, and then we got to close out the night, BMX Dirt Best Trick Final. Okay, that's gonna be great. That's not it though, guys. That seems like a short list, exactly. We got Pacifico Women's Skateboard Vert Final, BMX Park Final, Men's Skateboard Street Best Trick, Moto X Best Whip Final. If you have plans tomorrow, I highly recommend, if they're not sitting around or doing what you're doing, we'll just watch X Games all day tomorrow. We're gonna be hanging out. We're gonna be chatting with you guys. Watch parties. Any watch parties going on tomorrow? Yeah. The Any best first day in X Games in about 20 years. Glio Kid, I agree with you. That was phenomenal. You know, it's been a long time since we've been in front of a big audience, and it truly makes a difference. Yeah, I agree. Um, I was standing. You asked for my highlight. I think my highlight was I was standing looking up at the vert ramp, and there was this, like, golden glow. And then I, like, see Tony, and then I see all, like, everybody just, like, smiling. And then I turn around. There's thousands of people. And again, like, I, my hair has been standing up a lot today. Like, I get the chills. Like, it feels like X Games is finally back to where it needs to be. It feels really good. And it's all thanks to all of you guys for tuning in, for watching, for everyone that showed up, for your wonderful input and expertise. But this is my biggest passion, my dream come true. And it, it was really this special moment out there, just, like, 
hit me. I'm like, we're living in a memory. I can feel it. I'm going to be looking back and remember that moment. Absolutely. I saw a question come in, though. What's the difference between the street final and the park final? Well, technically, I know it's not a true street, but there is the street course that is separate from the park course. So park is mostly transition, gaps, quarter pipes, box jumps, and street is a little bit of what we saw today, you know, handrails and hubbas. Yep, 100%. Make sure to subscribe. All right, everybody. Thank you. Thanks for all the chat. Yeah, Anna Maria Flores in the chat. She got her question. I did ask your question to Tony Hawk. I'm sorry that I did not call out your name because the chat, I couldn't go back far enough to see who wrote the question because I saw the question, but I couldn't go back and get your name. And I'm sorry, but I did ask the question and Tony had a great answer. But um, let's do more of that tomorrow. We're going to have incredible guests. We're going to do more of the kickflip challenge. We're going to give you the storylines. We're going to get the athletes up here. Who knows what's going to happen? You know, this is what the most exciting way to watch X Games, in my opinion, because it's community. You guys can chat to each other. I love looking over here and seeing you guys just, like, having these side conversations. That's what it's all about. Action sports, culture, community, progression, all the above. Um, anything else? Well, I certainly agree with you. It certainly feels like the olden days of X Games are making a return, they're making a comeback. We got the vibes, we got the chills, we've got history made already with Jimmy Wilkins, the first ever to put down a 720 tail grab fakie in competition. And I think we're, it's just a taste of what's to come because it's a, we got a long weekend ahead of us, Jack. We do, it looks like some people want to see Bam Margera. I'll try to, I'll try to um, find him for sure. Awesome. You gotta ask Dave. I'm sure Dave's got a direct contact. I'm sure he does. <laughs> Well, I think it's time to say goodnight as we wrap things up here from day one. Action Pack Day tomorrow. Congrats to all of the athletes and much love to you, chat. That's a wrap from X Games. Thanks, I'm Jack Ooh, Thank you, That's Day one. Broadcast. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>